Beautiful. Okay. Game? Button. Oh, button works. Great. Okay. Somebody asked, you've never played a Digimon game before. What's this one generally about? You get sent to the digital world and you have to raise a Digimon by yourself and you're 10. That's what the game's about. <laughs> Digimon is a franchise that started as a little virtual pet, like a little Tamagotchi. So this game is basically just Tamagotchi, but big. Um, it's like a full game Tamagotchi. And this was early on in Digimon's life cycle. Um, so there really weren't any other things going on at the time. And this was kind of the entire franchise. And then, and then they branched out from there and they added like, you know, the anime and stuff like that. Okay. 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 Yes. It's, it's, it's going to work. It's going to be good. It's going to be so good. Okay, here we go. Video game. It's Gigimon, guys. This is Gigimon. From Oji. Oji-san. As an old man. He's an old man, Digimon. Was this game before the anime? I actually don't know. I don't think so. Well, at least in the United States, the anime was out already. Tell me about yourself. Do you have a Digivice? I do actually, Gigimon. I have one of the anniversary Digivices. Yes. I see. Uh, next question. Which do you like better, day or night? I like nighttime better. That's when I stream. And that's when I have the most energy. All right. What's your name? You better believe my name is Vixen. Let's go. Vixen, right? Yeah, that's me. What's your Digimon's name? Oh, what is my Digimon's name? Hello, hello. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. You just missed all of the scuff. <laughs> what? I, oh, I was having trouble. Oh. I was having difficulty, but I got it. I got it working. Everything's oh, good. Okay, and that's good. Thank you for helping me with that the other day. <laughs> welcome i would feel so bad if i went and like did my best to help you and then you're like it's not working it's not working no it literally it worked but it goes full screen and it ate my model the first time so i had to move the model onto vtube studio onto my other screen okay. and then when i rebooted it the controller was not configured but oh. i i got i got the controller working it's good it's great okay that's good all right, options, options, options. Everybody wants me to name him Jello. That's fine. We could start with Jello as our first Digimon. Wait, this old man? No, no, no. This old man is giving me a Digimon, you see. Okay. <laughs> Hello, chat. Chat, it's Yim. Say hi. Hello. I found okay. an ice cream. Ooh. It's a creamsicle. Let's see what color it is. My personal favorite Digimon is Bancho Leomon. He's so cool. I like Greymon. That's a good one. That's a good one to like. Yes. Good name. Thanks, Digimon. That's all the questions I have. See you later. Does he not ask if you have friends? I swear I remembered him asking if you have friends. You got friends? You got friends, kid? Cutscene. Aww. These PS1 FMVs. Yes. Check out sweet PS1 graphics. Yes. Uh, Odaiba looks beautiful today. Yeah, it's a nice apartment. I'm home. Oh, he asks you friends if you say you don't have a Digivice. Got it. Too bad I do have a digivice. Oh, that wobbly letter. Don't forget <laughs> had to, to put wash the English your text. hands. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? Whoa. Digivice going crazy. Oh, that's your digivice? 
a that's a V pet. So that's the classic like '90s V pet. Oh. That's wow. like the first thing that ever came out for Digimon. Little V pets. Wow. It's Digimon. It's Digimon. Huh? He's something. He turns into Greymon. That's him. That's Coromon. It's Coromon. Oh, he's got a Clockmon clock. This kid's cool. He's got a Mamemon backpack. He's branded. Sometimes you just get Monster Ranchered right into your V pet. Yeah, you could connect the V pets together and fight them. But they were they were like little Tamagotchis. They were Tamagotchis that could fight. Wow. Oh, this music. This is the classic baby. File City. Oh, it's like slightly off to the side. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try and get. Oh, got Gabumon. Let's go. Oh. Dude. He, yeah, Gigimon. <laughs> very simple. It's Gigimon, and his wife's name is Babamon. So you know, Hilarious. very, very straightforward. <laughs> it's a human. That's me. Wow, oh, look at your dudes. Welcome to Digimon World. Before they decided to call it the Digital World. What? Yikes! Those sure are monsters. Bro. Yikes. Oh, that sure was audio. Yeah, you're gonna hear that noise a lot. <laughs> These are Digimon. I thought you knew about Digimon. Do you not know about Digimon? Idiot. I got it. This is a dream. Tokomon's pissed. You're Tokomon. This is a realistic dream. I know Tokomon. This isn't a dream. It's not real either. What? <laughs> I'm Gigimon. I don't know of any Digimon by that name. Is this Gigimon's debut? I don't know. I mean, that would make sense, but also like crazy to think if of that being his debut. If you're asking, then I definitely don't know. <laughs> you don't know? There are more Digimon than you know of. This is Digimon World. Digimon World, that's the name of the game. Whoa! <laughs> Only real Digiheads know Tokomon, yeah. <laughs> this world is not a dream, nor is it real. It's our world. I think that would make it real. But all right. Looks too real to be a dream. Look behind you, you'll see what I mean. Whoa, it's Gabumon. Is this Jello? Jello's Gabumon? Jello's Gabumon. Is that random? No, I, na I named him that. No, uh, I mean, do you oh, getting start Gabumon. With Gab you Jello. either start with Gabumon or Agumon, depending on how you answer the personality quiz. Aw, uh, boo, could have got Agumon. Damn. I like Gabumon, though. Gabumon's fine. <laughs> And just because I have Gabumon does not mean we're getting Garurumon, by the by. And getting Agumon would not guarantee Greymon. Um, because Digimon evolution is all about branching paths. And in this game, if you fuck up too much and uh, have too many care mistakes, you will get a suboptimal Digivolution. Oh no. Yeah, so you gotta be careful. You'll get not very good Mon. <laughs> yeah. Come to my house. I will explain everything. Great. I don't know if two questions warrants a quiz. Oh, fair. <laughs> There's only two options. You can only get Gabumon or Agumon. Digimon World was Gigimon's debut. Oh, that's crazy. He's such a staple now. Like he's in he's in tons of stuff, so it's so weird to be like this is where he this is where he well, first was. Look at the V pets on the wall, and on the floor, and over here in the corner. 
So what you're saying is we can raise Jello wrong on purpose as a joke. Yes, you can. <laughs> you sure can. Uh, save you from what? We are in File City. It's the center of File Island. This is where season one of Digimon takes place. This island. Wow. Until they go to until they go to the different continent. But it starts here. This is where it all begins. It was a city. There used to be all kinds of Digimon who lived here. Digimon started to lose heart and moved out of the city. You know, like you do. What do you mean? Not sure what caused it. Digimon started losing their speaking skills. Some of them still talk, but they all forgot that they lived here. That's what you meant by losing heart. It's not very descriptive. It's dangerous if we do nothing. Why me? You're good at raising Digimon. <laughs> yeah, I'm the best at it. Don't you realize that you're speaking Digimon? I'm speaking plain old English. No, to us it sounds like Digimon. This is actually an interesting detail that they've never touched on in the anime. Why do the Digimon speak the same language as their respective kids? Because there's kids all over the world, so it's not just Japanese. The, the digital world is kind of an allegory for the internet, right? Yeah, it would make sense for them to be multilingual, but then you'd think every Digimon would be completely like a polyglot, but but they're not. Are they not? Uh -uh. No. Like, there are instances of people meeting other people's Digimons and they don't speak the same language. So it's like, oh. hmm... Hmm. Your love for Digimon will give you strength. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Save the whole village. Where do I start? Take Jello and explore the island. Find the cause of this danger and get Digimon to come back. Easy peasy. Let's go, Jello. It's me and you. Wait, I haven't finished yet. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, Gigi Mon. I'm done talking. It's time for 12 hours of Digimon World. Yeah. All right. Man, he's stopping. Yeah, he, you're gonna be hearing a lot of that. I would like some meat. This is a meat farm. We grow meat for everyone. <laughs> yeah? You, you grow meat on a farm? Yeah, what's wrong? Nothing. It's all right. Please continue. I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Gigi and I decided to give you three pieces of meat a day, Vixen. So here's today's meat. I got three pieces of meat. Thank you. Yeah, so over here, there's like a place. We're going we're gonna to get rid of that waterfall eventually. There's other uh, plant Digimon who will come and upgrade the farm that will live in these planters eventually. Oh man, I miss this PS1 era of games where right? everything was just like JPEGs. I and wish then... more like indie games that are going for like the old aesthetic would go for this. Yeah. Like Final Fantasy VII looked like this. A lot of JRPGs. Ah! All right, we're gonna train. I don't know what to train a Gabumon in. I don't know what our ideal is here. HP, MP, offense, defense, speed, and brains. We got. Oh, sorry, can you go back? We got life. So much happiness is going off the screen. Disc and burr. So, dis. I believe that's discipline. And okay. the last one is virus. So, the more care mistakes we make, that goes up. The happiness, I think, is okay. actually just about at half. Um, okay. I think I think the blue is good, not the pink. Um, oh, Joe has no discipline whatsoever. No discipline. We just got him. He's a baby. Oh, he's, he's groggy. He just woke him up. <laughs> he just got up from a nap. Man. <laughs> Why is virus just a shit icon? Because you're doing a shit job if you let I that mean, meter go up. Have you ever had a virus? That's what you feel like. If you let them poop on the ground, that will make that go up. Also, if you don't feed them fast enough, and if you make them keep training when they're tired, it'll all go up. 
Jello weighs 15, just 15. Yeah, so weight, <laughs> care mistakes, discipline, happiness, um, and stats all will have a influence on what he digivolves into. All right. I could look up because I feel like Gabumon evolutions. I feel like going completely blind will be a little boring because we'll get something bad. <laughs> We can at least try for something. So our options are Centaurumon, Monochromon, Dromogemon, Tyrannomon, Ogremon, or Garurumon. Monochromon's pretty fucking sick, I, honestly. I don't know any of those except Garurumon. <laughs> That's all right. You'll get to know them. Does it say what we need? Digivolution conditions. A thousand HP, fifteen hundred MP, one hundred and fifty offense, one hundred defense, one hundred and fifty speed, one hundred brains. Less than three care mistakes, thirty-five to forty-five weight. Over five battles and under thirty-five techniques learned. Okay, okay. I'm fine with Dromojamon. Gururumon is obviously like the one that everybody's gonna go for. <laughs> Less than one care mistake. Okay, okay. Okay, sure. It looks like a lot of them have a target of like similar HP and MP. So we could start there. We can start with that. 1500 HP? Sure. Hold on. Hello. Hello. Game. Did it freeze? There it is. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. It's fine. For a second, I thought it had. This is life, right? Boost power. Boost max HP and defensive. Okay, great. Go for it. Normal. There you go. And you do it again. We want to be careful. We don't want him to get tired because that's a care mistake. I don't know how you um, track that, though. Okay. Now we give him some meat. He's got food. And he's hungry. Real PS1 is working fine. No problems. <laughs> yeah, this game does not explain a goddamn thing to you. It's just like, all right, you've got a Digimon now. Don't fuck up. You're still hungry. Have another meat. Are you still hungry? Yeah, you are. Jesus. Jello is voracious. There we go. That's all of our meat for the day, dude. We gotta go find we gotta go find mushrooms, or else you're gonna be hungry again. Being over six feet, be like, yeah, he's just eating all my meat. Ah! Oh no! It's time to fight. Oh I can't, shit! I can't make him do anything. He's just gonna do what he's gonna do. You got it, man. Get him. Oh, 
Oh, we're good. One more. One more. You got him. Yappa! Dead! They dropped something. Small recovery. Great. I lost. Rats. I should invite him to the city. Um, excuse me. Could you come to the city? What city? You mean that old place? Well, um, okay. I'm Agumon. Nice meeting you. Okay, bye. Just a floppy disk. All right, paste to try. I'll keep on asking. Should I praise you? I don't want to overly praise you, but... Oh yeah, your discipline just went down. <laughs> That's fine. No mushrooms on this train? There's one. There's one. Man. Oh. This is my childhood, dude. <laughs> I used to play this game for hours, not knowing what the hell I was doing. Ah! Look at that. Drill tunnel. Doritos. I think it actually says drill tunnel. Yeah, doritos. Got it. You don't want to go in there right this second. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, he's hungry. This is what I was worried about. My gosh, it's so expensive. 300 bits for meat. 600 for digimushrooms. Oh, are digimushrooms more filling than meat? Okay. How many bits do I have? 100. <laughs> well, that's not good. Medium MP, let's go. fishing rod, right? I gotta get fishing rod. How's the Digimon been treating you? We just started. So not terrible yet. Oh, but there's... It, it could go... All, it all could go wrong. <laughs> I don't want to go over there. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. No. No. I don't know if we're ready for for all this. I don't know if I'm ready for this smoke. train more we already did three i don't know when so there's like a sweat bubble that pops up when he's tired oh damn. i ran right into him 
There's like a sweat bubble that pops up when he's tired. Um, but once that pops up, the care mistake has already happened. No. Once they happen, it's basically on his record until he did you golf. And it's not like the end of the world, it just changes what he could possibly turn into. Got it. I believe in you. It was that the red Vegemon? I'm like their biggest fan. <laughs> this isn't just Betamon, this is Madoki Betamon. Got some bits from that. Uh. Okay, give you mushroom. Good. Madoki Betamon, that anime about magical girls that gets dark? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Will we ever do more Digimon games? Probably. Most How you definitely. feeling? How you feeling, Gabamon? Can we do one more of these? We're hungry again. Yeah, digi mushrooms are just way better than meat, I guess, which is crazy. Yeah, me, known Digimon hater, will never play another one after this. <laughs> Let's see. How do I know when you're getting tired? Well, he's groggy. He's groggy, but he's been groggy this whole time. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, it might mean something. We got a thousand HP, which is mm, not quite what we need. It's like okay for for monochrome on. Hmm. Are we EP yet? How are we feeling about life? How you doing? Ah! Wish I could ask you. So, how is this Hi. going? Hi. It's, it's going okay. I'm just, uh... I got Jello the Gabumon, you see. Yeah. And uh I'm trying I'm trying to be strategic about this, but this game tells you so little. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do my best. Alright, which one of these is MP? I think it might be the waterfall. Boost maximum MP, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for one. Gotta poop. So a lot of this early game is just bringing him around these same few places. There you go. You're fine. 
Don't freak out. Are you tired yet? Are you still good? I'm worried about pushing you too far, but he's not sleepy or anything. Jello is an absolute machine. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little bit. Hmm. Aha! There we go. It's bedtime. Oh shit! You're also hungry. Come on, become gobble, man. Eat. Are you still hungry? Now that it's morning, or did sleeping... Is that fine? Is that a mistake? No, I guess not. Alright. This game tells you nothing. It's just like, alright, figure it out, idiot. Right. And I never oh, saw him again. Me. Not like long. <laughs> uh, Yam had asked if he was meditating. It's like, absolutely not. Oh, I mean, it goes as long as you let it go. Is this better for him? No, it doesn't change anything. Oh. <laughs> Good? Nothing to complain about? Damn, time moves so fast in this game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like I mean that was a whole day, right? And most Digimon only live for like a couple days. So Jesus. You gotta be very strategic with how you spend your time. Alright. Oh, relentless. We got Monochromon, Dramojamon. Dramojamon would be cool. A Gururumon would be great. Um, hmm. Hmm. I mean, I guess if we get Tyrannomon or like Centaurumon, that's fine too. I really don't want Ogremon. Sorry, Ogremon. Sorry, Ogremon. You're not as cool as all of these other options. No, I get it. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. It's like 1,500 across the board for HP and MP for all of the different Gabumon evolutions. Still good? Okay. You know, Ogremon wouldn't get that tired so fast. <laughs> Just, I mean, once know. we got a champion, we're gonna be in good shape. I guess you're fine. Man, I wish training was this easy. Yeah, just get in the waterfall. Just get under the waterfall for like half a second. Like, ooh, that's pretty cold. I'm stronger. <laughs> Can Digimon devolve in this like in other Digimon games? I do not believe so. Once they digivolve, they're pretty much stuck there, and you only get another shot when they um when they are reborn, which will be happening a lot. Basically, you have a champion or an ultimate for a little while, and then they die, and then they reform, and then you have to train them up all over again. But every instance of them theoretically gets stronger if you did a good job on the previous life. Yeah. You good, man? Okay. We're, we're doing fine, I think, question mark. Oh, it's a new day. I should get more meat. Me every day. 
<laughs> I always be like that. I really could use more meat. I'll give you more tomorrow. Thank you. I gotta, I gotta like find this meat. I can't just keep giving it out. Yeah, you only get three a day. No, it doesn't exactly just grow on trees. Unless. Apparently they do. What? <laughs> they grow in the ground. Oh, so it's ground beef. What's up, Sunamon? Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Go check the west and south sections, then come back and see me. Okay. Yeah, so the end game of this is you get everyone to return to the city. Because the city's empty right now. Look at all this empty mm. city. Look at this empty city. These, like, little plugs, this is where shops are going to end up being. Oh, that's cute. Native forest. Native forest. As opposed to foreign forest. No, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. I want to make sure I have enough food for him, but there's no digi mushrooms, and I want to be training. My man is just stomping everywhere he goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gabumon got to get in the wash, man. He's stanky. He's Look stanky. Out. He got that pelt on all the times. Bro, we can dry clean that. No. All right, we got 1,500 MP. That should be pretty good. He's good. He's doing all right. Okay. He's still good. He's still good. Uh, 1,500 MP, 1,500 for pretty much all of these. Wait, you gotta, get, it, you gotta get to 1,500 for all of these stats? No, 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 no. Oh. Um, all the different digivolutions all need about 1,500 MP. Uh, I see. Got it. Yeah. Wow, he's really light. He's His weight is one. Yo, what the hell? You, it was 15 earlier. What happened? Uh, we've been training and not eating. That's what, that, that's what happened. Oh, no. Do I have to feed you even when you're not hungry? Get your that, weight up? That doesn't seem right, right? Man, I don't know. That seems so involved for like what is supposedly a kid's game. Oh, yeah. This game is mean. I'm telling you right now, it is not a kid's game. Okay. Almost all of these guys can only turn into Metal Greymon. <laughs> like Metal Greymon across the board. That rules. Offense. 150 for pretty much all of them. Oh, 250 for for uh, Dramodramon. Damn. Yes, there's no Megas in this game. This is pre-Megas. Ultimate is the final form. So should I feed you even though you're not hungry yet? Worried about how light you are. No, he doesn't want it. Okay, well, I guess he's weight one then. I can't do anything about it. That means he's this, winning. This offense? Yeah. Alright, go for it, Gobamon. Nixon, this is hard. <laughs> Gabumon. Gabumon. I love Gabumon's voice. He's so cute. This just sounds so dopey. Gabumon. Gabumon. Did you love to? No, I'm tired. I won't. Oh, no. Oh, okay. no, he's tired. Yeah, that's what we were trying to avoid. Well, I guess we stop. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that, though. Do you want the meat now? There you go. 
Is this good? He's sleepy. Go sleep. Oh yeah, Sumi. Oh, you can just sleep wherever? Yep. You can sleep wherever, but you cannot poop wherever. Interesting. That's gonna be an issue. That's gonna be an issue. <laughs> You okay now? How you doing? How's this life? restrictive behavior will compromise this entire operation. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Should we go fight some people? Is that what we should be doing? College guys late at night be like... <laughs> I don't know. Should we just like go fight? And there's a should Denny's we just nearby. Go fight some people. I don't know. You know, like should we should we like stir up trouble that's clearly our fault, and then like we'll take off our shirts, but like we we won't engage any further. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the meat. Abumon won't eat it, so I don't know what to do about hey. the fact that he weighs one pound. I mean, hmm, are there other things in meat? Maybe he's a vegetarian. I've got digi mushrooms, but those are even more filling than meat. Oh. That's kind of surprising. That's what I was saying. Yeah, it's weird. You did it. Agumon came to the city. He started a business. Great. <laughs> he started a business? <laughs> Oh, thanks for the items. What did you give me? Ooh, thank you. What about you? I'm Poonimon. One hour rest recovers HP, MP, and lowers tiredness. Uh, no, that's fine. I'm fully recovered. I'll tell you about a Digimon's life. When Digimon gets hungry, he'll tell you. He also needs to go potty. Make sure he does it in the toilet. Digimon gets sleepy and needs sleep, but you have to make him sleep. Don't try to keep him up for too long. He may get tired, sick, or just kind of upset. He's kind of delicate. Since Digimon <laughs> are wild creatures, you should praise or scold them. Whatever you do, pay attention to what your Digimon is doing. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're like, they're kind of sensitive. Like, I'm, like, I'm right here. What the hell? What's this See machine? what I mean? That is a safe machine for memory card battle data. Using that machine, you can save your current partner's data for battle. Just press X and the machine will tell you what to do. Okay. Uh, I can't do that because I do not have any friends who have genuine PS1 hardware Digimon World disc data. <laughs> Aw. What a shame. Oh yeah, he opens the bank, doesn't he? The bank? Hey, Mark! <laughs> yes, the classics. I heard from Gigi that Jello will digivolve. From fresh Digimon to in-training Digimon, it only takes six hours. From there to rookie Digimon, it takes about a day. Then to the next champion, it takes about three days. And what about the next generation? I forgot, but there's more. <laughs> Digivolution is related to weight, parameters, and care mistakes. I don't understand very well. I'll ask Gigi my next time. Yeah, I am not optimistic about um, what we're going to digivolve into. Oh, come on. You got this. Okay, we're happy. We're good. We're fine. Those were happy noises? Yeah, that little meow, meow means that he's satisfied. It sounds like a very upset cat. I will stretch, thank you. Oh my god, I was kidding. Oh, in Quebec, you didn't know that he actually opens a bank? <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Welcome, my new business is Item Keeper. I keep items for people. I'll take your items for free as a special service. Thanks. That sounds like he's stealing. Based on everything yeah. he said so far, he's like, I'll take your items for free. I'll take them. Do I get them back? Oh, you're oh. one of the clever ones. I'll give them back only because you asked. I mean, I guess we keep training. I, there's no way we're hitting any of these parameters within three days. Like, no way. Got 
poop. Got poop. Got poop. It's a lot of this game. Bathroom. Bathroom. <laughs> Oh, good. Because I feel like it's not really safe to go and start doing, like, story stuff until we at least have a champion. You know, that's, like, just the next Digivolution, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, no, no donation incentives this time, guys. Um, just because I want to focus on actually playing the game for the twelve hours, like I promised I would. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit here for twelve hours <laughs> for your amusement. And if you're willing to dono, I would much appreciate it. Cause uh, once we raise the money, I can get the new model started. Ooh. Yeah. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Have you already like figured out a design and stuff? Oh yeah, I've got an idea. Ooh. Great. Great. He's happy. It's strange that they would let you do the uh, the animation and whatnot longer, but it doesn't seem to reward you. Nope, that's just a thing you can do. Oh. I guess it's better than if it did, because then the game would be much longer <laughs> for really no reason. Yeah. God, he's so skinny. I don't know what to do about that. I have seen Oz's new model. It looks really good. Uh, yeah. I was watching him work on it for a while, too. 12-hour Digimon stream. That's kind of long. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to sit here and Digimon hunger strike until you <laughs> we raise all the money for the bathing suit, basically. <laughs> Okay. How you feeling? You fine? All right. Keep it up. Let's go, brother. Oh, we're almost there for offense. Hmm. Okay. There you go. Oh yeah, menu sounds, music, sound effects. This game is so classic. Takes you right back. 1998 or whatever. 1998. Holy cannoli, that's a while ago. That was a year. <laughs> they like, that was a year ago. I was like, yeah, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> I know you're I think... smarter than me, but I gotta double check this. <laughs> right. Good thing it's not what I said. <laughs> you're right. Okay. Uh, all right, we got 150 offense. Um, Ooh. We could go for. Let's see. Defense, also 150 for most of these. 100, 150, yeah. This should be defense, right? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Again. I'm sorry, man. You want me? Mm -hmm. 
You want more meat? He's still tired. Oh, he's at six weight now. Yeah, I'm getting his weight up. And uh, it's... So I read online that the sweat bubble counts as a care mistake, but it's not raising his virus meter, so... So... <laughs> Maybe they're wrong? Right? Man, he can just eat forever when he's tired. I know that feeling, brother. <laughs> well, really now his weight tired. is nine. That's good. Okay. That we're Can't almost really, back where we started. Can't really do anything while he's tired. I can go look for mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom. Sweat bubbles an 80% warning? Really? Oh, ah. Don't attack me. No, 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 no. I, no, no, no. Mark, I am watching my meters, but I don't understand what they mean. <laughs> like, is his happiness good? Is it bad? Would it? Do you see? Yeah, it's hard to. It's like, is red good or bad? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So oh, if you feed him when he's not hungry, his happiness and discipline will both drop. Oh, but his weight is so low. He's got to eat something. My little dude. He's just a little guy. And that's got to be fixed. Well, he's a big guy. Okay, well, he's sleepy, so let's sleep. Okay, there he goes. How you feeling, man? You feeling better now that it's morning? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it means I, like, do stuff. Like, I gotta go get my tabs for my car. <laughs> Sucks. Basically, there are two levels of meter. The full pink is, like, normal. The icons will change. So right now, he's pretty happy. Uh, but he's a bit of a rebel. The sunglasses and blue face. Yeah, he that's, hasn't... that's what we were gonna figure out. <laughs> He hasn't done anything that I feel like justifies scolding him. He's doing his chores. Eating. Get him. Anything you got, Bumon, you got this. square because that would be a bunch of MP just to d do like there wasn't that much left in his meter. Give me 
this. You'll, you'll see him do his final attack at some point, I'm sure. And it's gonna be freaking sick. It's gonna be so cool. He's so cool, guys. He's the raddest thing you've ever seen. You can praise after he wins battles, but if he's a rebel, should I be praising? I mean, if he's a rebel and you praise him, he might be like, yeah, I'm a punk to everyone, except my mom. <laughs> mom rules. Because if that's the case, then I'll go do another battle and praise him. I don't want to spoil him. Come on, you can spoil him a little. A little bit. is just a big Tamagotchi. <laughs> a Tamagotchi where I gotta go between loading zones in order for him to poop. <laughs> just, just an awful little sound. <laughs> Goblin. Okay. We're really close to 150. Good stuff. Oh, I think he's digivolving. What? He's digivolving. Whoa. It's been three days, so this is about when it was going to happen. Whoa, let's go! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, Tyrannomon! That's not bad, baby! Oh, he's big! Oh, he's a big boy! Hell yeah, good job! Oh, shit! Oh, oh Jesus! He's big. Look at him. The very doofy oh. picture. Ooh. He's sleepy. Ooh. He's sleepy right now. Are you sleepy? You want to go to bed? I I just metamorphed into a dinosaur. <laughs> that yeah, makes you I'm pretty sleepy. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little tuckered out. Like not to be <laughs> that guy. So Tyrannomon can become Metal Greymon or Megadramon from here. Hmm. So Metal Greymon, 4,000 HP, Oof. 30 battles. Oh boy, okay. Metal Greymon's not the same as Greymon. No, that's true. These are facts. They are different things. <laughs> Should I praise him for Digivolving? I don't have no idea. Why is Tyrannomon even a branch in the Gabumon evolution line? Welcome to Digimon. <laughs> so many Digimon don't turn into things that make any goddamn sense. And um, that's just like kind of how it is. Yeah. To be fair, though, 
Um, Gabumon is a lizard, so it's not that strange. Why can't we have Rust Tyrannomon? You're getting a little ahead of yourself. This is the 90s. There's only so many Digimon. Yeah. Can we just beat the hell out of this guy? What do you think, Tyrannomon? <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll see how this goes. I'm feeling yeah. optimistic. I gotta retreat. I love that you're training this creature, and every time in a fight, it's like, I don't know, man, just fucking try something. <laughs> oh, I've got attack now. I can tell him to attack specifically. Who's here? Hello. Hello. How you doing? Good. I, <laughs> I feel that. Oh, I gotta turn you up. You are quiet. Sorry. I move my mic closer too. Hi everyone. This is technically my first time joining. Yeah, this is your first time here. Yeah. Oh, because when you this is stream so late at night. <laughs> Yeah, this is Bolts. Bolts is also a VTuber. I'm going to turn you up so everyone can hear you. And this is Yam and Will. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, is the game too loud? I can turn the game down a little bit. I've seen your guys' stuff before and big fan. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll try this. See Hi. how this goes. And Vixen, I sent you my reactive thing if you wanted to use it. Oh, I do. I do. Hold on. I wasn't even looking because I've been Digimoning for a good minute. Yeah, I've been lurking and this game really takes me back. Right? Like the, the PS1 era of, RP, of 3D RPGs. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get you. Oops. Don't do that. Waltz. There you are. Oh, look at you. I'm cute. I'll put you right in the corner. <laughs> Aww. A friend of mine made this for me, like just on their artist stream. Oh, it's so, so cute. To use it. It's I love it. Oh, let me also put you here, and then let me put you on the BRB screen, and I'm gonna go refill my water. Okay. Is is that the cartoon set? Yes, that is. <laughs> I am from the cartoon cipher. Hello. I'm reading chat. What is the cartoon cipher? So, believe it or not, the cartoon cipher is how I met Vixen in the first place. Oh. Um, years ago, it's probably been like five years now. Um, I started, I'm a freelancer. So, I am a freelancer. I do a lot of writing and editorializing for some websites and content creators. But before that, before I was a cute little Lombax, I did YouTube videos on anime dubs. Oh. I still kind of do videos on anime dubs, but you know, life makes work on that very slow. But um, I met Vixen because Vixen reached out to me when we posted our first video on like the history and background of the Cowboy Bebop dub. And I've we've been friends ever since. So well, that's really neat. So you did like reviews and stuff, I guess? Uh, more like editorial documentary style videos that kind oh. of myth busted a lot of very common misconceptions about the industry, like some people thinking Cowboy Bebop had the best of because, oh, it had like so much more production around it compared to others. It did not. Um, or <laughs> the whole why do why do they change the script sometimes when translating something from japanese to english or why do dubs use the same 12 voice actors when they don't or um i even did to stay relevant to this i even did an editorial on the history and background of the digimon dub and how they got yeah. away with keeping a lot of 
surprisingly dark things in there that you wouldn't expect from uh, from Fox Kids back in the day. So yeah, that's another thing. Me, me and Vixen you... geek out over Digimon a lot. Yes. <laughs> Are your videos still up? Uh, yeah, they're off still later. up. I, I can post them in the Discord if Vixen doesn't mind. Yeah, go for it. Okay. I love yeah, you guys' videos. Totally. We, we Imagine did one if on... they said no. Yeah, just, <laughs> fuck off. No. Thanks for joining, Bolts. Jesus. <laughs> well, someone in your chat recognizes my voice. Isn't so that funny? That's really funny. Like, it's funny when I go to a convention. No, when we were at, um, when I saw you at, uh, in DC, um, when we were at the discotheque panel, before, when the panel was over, someone did walk up to me and be like, are you from the Cartoon Cypher? And I'm Aww. like, what? I, it still blows my mind when people, it's my voice because I narrate most of the videos, but, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's still surprising. Uh, we did a video on, um, on unionization was the last video we did about a month ago. Uh, but yeah. Led to a lot of interesting opportunities and a lot of good friendships, including with Vixen, who yeah, consider now a great friend. Both V tubing. Yeah, now we're both V tubing. So. Hell yeah. But yeah, that's that's how I got to where I am right now. And me V tubing is just I want to work in data management, social media management, and content creation. So V tubing is just kind of it. Yeah, I uh, I made friends with Bolts the same way I made friends with Jello, which was just I saw a video and was like, we should be friends now. Actually, <laughs> I still love that. I I, rem I remember distinctly I was at a convention when the Cowboy Bebop video went live, celebrating my girlfriend's birthday at the time, and I just woke up to so many tags on Twitter and DMs, one of which was from you, and it's like, I like this person. <laughs> They're really cool. And, uh, Yata. I, I owe a lot. I owe a lot to Vixen. They're great. Duh. Vixen's great. They are great. Let's let's all just praise Vixen for like a solid <laughs> minute. Vixen is better, great. Better than praising Vixen. Chat, consider donating to Vixen right now for a new yeah. summer outfit. Yes. Yeah, I'm <gasps> raising money for a new summer bathing suit model. Also, mm. there's a raid. Hello, raiders. Thank you so much for oh, coming hello. in. Woo How was your stream? Jermojoman got weird because of the heat. I know it's hot, but be cool, man. The more we dig, the hotter it gets. The tunnel is I can't be cool. I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the only reason. Maybe there's a fire nearby. Mm. <laughs> I don't got a choice. I must bear this heat and keep on digging. We'll check out the cause. It'd be great if the tunnel goes through. You are a nice guy. I'll hurry and dig this tunnel. Okay, bye. Okay. I gotta go. Sounds like there's a fire. Come here. I'll give you a food. Good stuff, man. Good job. Also, I'll praise you. You did a good job. Yeah, I really don't understand how discipline works. <laughs> does, does anybody? He feels bad, man. <laughs> oh, he's eating so much. He's like, what do you want from me? <laughs> he's a growing boy. First, so first it's like, what, do you, what, am I, what am I supposed to do here? I'm getting mixed, mixed signals. Not eating enough, eating too much, still hungry. There we go. Okay. Bolts, thank you. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. I know I didn't have to, but I, I don't do things because I have to. <laughs> I do them because I want to. Jermojumon, you're in charge of cooking. That's great, Jermojumon. Can you give me some food? I, I've got a dinosaur that I have to feed now, actually. I mean, I must have bits. I gotta be able to go to like the um, vending machine and just get food that way. Cause I got 500 bits. That's not nearly enough. 
Oh boy. Made yes, you need he... for food. Well, it's random, I think. Val, thank you so much for the dono. Much appreciated. Also, look at look at the new animation. I know I pointed it out already. <gasps> oh, but... oh, that's so cute. Isn't it cute? I wanted to make sure that we had it for this stream because I'm like, if I'm going to be asking them to dono, I should have a custom animation by now. So Very I got that cute. Done. Really cute. I, got that done. I like that a lot. Yeah, he seems very happy, but I, I don't know how to discipline. I don't know what's going on. I don't know life. Mm -hmm. I want that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't know discipline. I don't know life. I don't know life. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Bolts, are you going to do a video on my Digimon redubs? I would very much like to. I actually do need to message you about some things regarding the channel uh later but mm. definitely at the very least want to try watching them on stream or in discord i tested a i did a, a retro cartoon stream Ooh, on the go. channel last week well my channel didn't get nuked so that's <laughs> probably a good sign oh uh, um, yeah we watched all of beat x and i just deleted the vod immediately afterwards well, you can set it so that Twitch never records the VOD for your next video. Hmm, I see. So I did that, and I watched the OG Yu-Gi-Oh! of you and the old Deke dub of Sailor Moon. Okay. And no issues, no issues with that. So hmm. I'm still going to experiment with it, but I'm kind of trying to approach it. Remember Cartoon Car From, like, oh. Cartoon Network? Oh, yeah. Cartoon yeah. cartoons, yeah. yeah. That, that's kind of what I'm trying to emulate. But so far, I think a lot of I sent you before. So we should be fine when you want to do the Digimon thing. But I really mm. do want to talk about the 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 Digimon dub, the Digimon redubs in some capacity, whether it's on the websites I work for or on our channel. Mm. Um, but our channel might be our channel might be a bit tricky. But I'll have to talk to you about that in. Sure. Yeah. Like, I can't... When do they come out again? There's no release date yet. Right. Okay. That's the thing. Is, uh... I mean, they're done, right? We, we right. streamed them at... Or right. Them. I saw we them. We showed them at Otakon. <laughs> so they, they are complete. It's just, you know, they gotta, they gotta put the Blu-ray together, and they gotta... If there's any extras, they gotta get the extras ready, and it's like a whole thing. Yeah. Oh, it was so fun. The, the hall was packed. Oh, yeah. It was such a good for me. Like, ugh. people were reacting and singing along and laughing. I was having a great time. Yeah. It was really, really good. You did a great job with that. Thank you. That's all I could have asked for was that people actually enjoyed the dubs because I was, I was so nervous. Well, you got that in spades. And it was, it was kind of fun listening to it and being, and seeing how like seamless certain things still work um compared to like the cut up dub from before mm -hmm. uh i can also now see why the recut like the the digimon movie leaned into the tie shipping thing because it's sort of still there in the old it is yeah just not super pronounced comparatively um and then you know shipping wars for forever yeah i mean it it's it's in that movie like, it's, it's, it's in the movie yeah it's it's definitely there like the misunderstand which also still makes me impressed with like jeff nimoy and the editing team where it's not like they completely rewrote everything they retained as much as they could and rewrote things and edited things so that it could cohesively work as a movie which you can you can love or hate that movie it's still impressive that they got a that they managed to do what they did with yes. everything. Yes. I mean, I I still love the original movie's cut. I think it's so funny. Oh, but no, I it love is, it. You know, it, you could say it does a disservice to Hurricane Touchdown, but Hurricane Touchdown is also a strange movie. So, like, I don't, I don't disparage them for having to edit it the way that they did. Wait, what's Hurricane it's, Touchdown? It's the third movie. The, oh, um, okay. That's the name of the, the OVA. The Terrier Mon one. Yeah, the full name. <laughs> Digimon Adventure 02 Hurricane Touchdown Transcendent Evolution The Golden Digimentals Too long 
Thank you. That was the one that kind of got shafted and rewritten the most, so I can see Yes, because it's an, it's an hour-long TV special, and there's only about 20 minutes of it in Digimon the movie. Because it's it's a long, introspective movie with a bunch of close-ups and, like, it doesn't make a lot of sense. shots. Yeah, oh, there's a real. lot. There's a lot going on in that one where it's just like, all right, I understand. And that's before they all turn into children again. Yeah, and they completely cut that. <laughs> they were just like, no, that's not gonna happen. We're no <laughs> for that. Nah, <laughs> we're not doing that again. No, we're not doing, not doing that again. Um, I really don't understand how you're supposed to decide between like pushing forward with story things and like just training because I could just keep training him until he becomes a um, ultimate but I feel like that's a waste of time when there's so much to do around the city I feel like that's been a, a balancing act that a lot of the Digimon games have had a problem with it's like what do I do what am I supposed to be doing oh hold on I have to take a call okay Okay. Hello, whoever joined. It's Piff. Hello. It's Hello. Piff. Hello, Piff. Hello. Piff, you're so far away. Let me move you over here. Ah. Uh. There you go. <laughs> oh. 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 Biggest surprise for the redubs was getting back, back uh, Matt's original VA. Yeah, I um, really wanted him to be a part of it and uh, was not not excited about a possible the possible future of me not being able to get him so i was really glad that he was willing to come back Vixen is dedicated mm -hmm. get the job done especially when it comes to digimon i mean yeah sure but i just mean in general yeah, I do. I do like to get people back. If if the character is like a legacy character, a reprisal, I don't enjoy um, recasting if I don't um, have to. Yeah. They even thank like you necessary. for the dono. Much oh. appreciated. Yeah, unless it's absolutely necessary. You know, people pass away, people retire. It it happens. But if there is any possibility that someone might be interested in coming back for their character, I always want to ask at least. Yeah. That makes sense. Sorry about that, man. We were in the middle of feeding you, and he just attacked us. Very rude. Fucked up and rude. And now I'm out of food. Okay, but he's happy. That's good. So now we just gotta we gotta go look. We gotta go look for food, man. Oh man, sorry, we're out of food. He's like, thank God, you can stop just stuffing my face. Okay, we got that. We'll go look for more. When the morning comes, we'll go back to the city and ask for more meat. I gotta get um, Palmon to come and we can get better meat. Lucky you got some Tyranimon, parties. thank you. I'm a little shocked that I got Tyranimon on my first Digivolution. Is he like notably strong in the, the series or? I mean, he's just a good, like, a solid champion. Usually, your first Digivolution is going to be kind of shit if you don't know <laughs> what you're doing. So I'm just, like, I'm, I'm happy it worked out, but... What the hell? Welcome back. Hmm. That awkward feeling when a family asks you to download digital coupons because they don't know how apps work. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> It, it, it could be. I hope so. I hope it could be. Yeah, here's Palmon. Palmon. I'm a flower. I said I'm a flower. Aren't you listening? What the fuck? <laughs> Did I stutter? I mean, she's not wrong. Get her. I have put myself in a pretty good spot where I've got a champion and I'm doing all these like rookie battles. Rookie battles, yeah. My favorite Digimon is Bancho Leomon. He's my boy. Boncho. I mean, like, yeah, we did the same thing with, like, the Cutie Honey dub where we got all, like, reprisals and even for the, like, cameos down to, like, the Devil Man guys that show up. 
Um, but Digimon, I mean, it was just even more personal for me. Oh, Boncho Leomon from, from uh, Data Squad? Yeah. Fucking love Data Squad. Data Squad's awesome. <laughs> Get him. Oh, she interrupted me. Rixon definitely goes above and beyond when it comes to, like, the dubs and adaptations. Especially nowadays when... Like, you'll actually try to get as many... Yeah, I mean, I think it's become kind of more common to recast things these days. Yes. Yeah. Um, where people will just be like, ah, it's a new adaptation. I'm just going to get a totally new English dub cast. And like, I understand when people go that route. I just don't like it. I agree. I mean, that kind of makes the stuff you work on more special. It gets people excited. People love when the original cast comes back for stuff. Yeah. I hate fighting. Like when in that you case, got Matt city. back because all you had to do is make a phone call. Yeah, I really did just get him on the phone and be like, do you want to play Matt again? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> Great. Uh, it, it was nice to hear him. He, Even though he didn't have a bunch of lines in the second OVA, he, he really didn't sound that much different from... Yeah. Like, nothing has changed. That's kind of the wildest part, honestly. That, like, oh, he yeah, can still a lot of these guys sound years. exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, and he hasn't acted that much in a long time either, so I'm curious, what was it like kind of having him slip uh, directing him to kind of slip back into it? Should we get out of here? Sorry, I'm no, no, Oh it... god, run. Protect protect your bit. Protect your boy. Run. Uh, yeah, it, it was, I mean he was right back into it. It was really no um no effort at all to get him to do the Matt voice. It was cute though. He would before every line he would go, "I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Matt." And then he'd do the line. <laughs> oh yeah. Just staying in voice. But I mean, he's a great actor. It was really easy. And I was just like, "You remember this scene?" He's like, "Yeah, I remember this scene." I'm like, "Great. Go ahead." <laughs> I don't need to do anything else here. I tell you what. You you know when the beeps come, I'll be back. <laughs> It's funny, with the trailer, a couple people are like, oh, Matt and Ty sound noticeably older. And I'm like, no, that's just my style of directing where I like to have people like go quiet and low when they're being like in awe of stuff. And I'm like, oh, no, sorry, that's my fault. That's just my, that's my directing style. They both <laughs> sound exactly the same. Uh... Oh, sorry, I'm just a good director. <laughs> it's just my style. I don't like... um. And this is something I think happened a lot with 90s dubs that is one of the elements that I don't like is like everyone kind of speaks at normal volume all the time. Mm -hmm. they're, they're just always kind of speaking out loud um, and there's no like quiet moments. That's like one thing that I don't keep from older style dubs when yeah. I do like a quote unquote 90s style dub. Um, but otherwise, I like pretty much everything else that 90s dubs do. And so I'm just like, yeah, we'll just make it like the old dub. Wait, are you one of the Digimon VAs? Okay, I'll I'll do a little uh, explanation of what we're talking about here. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, context. Uh, so I just recently directed three redubs of the original three Digimon movies. So that's Digimon Adventure, uh, Our War Game, and Hurricane Touchdown. Um, I was not involved with the original Digimon dub. I just, uh, I stepped in to do these movies and I reached out to the original cast and I got them, for the most part, back. Um, I am in the new dubs a little bit. I play a couple of bit characters, like the cashier girl, and also Sora's mom, I voiced, um, because we could not get that original actress back. Uh, but for the most part, everyone else is the original actors as far as I could manage to get in contact with them. And I wrote the, the new scripts, um, but they are highly based on Jeff Nimoy's and Bob Buckles' scripts. So they're also credited for script writing, and I'm credited for script reversioning, where I just, I wrote all the new lines um, for all of the cut scenes and scenes that are different. Um, so yeah, I technically I am now a Digimon VA, which is awesome. Oh um, yeah. But I, more than that, I was the director. Like, that was my main job. 
There you go. You got to do it. You got to do Digimon. I, to, I got to do Digimon. It was, it was so cool. It Aww. was so cool. I hope I get to do more. Um, but you know, if this is like the only thing I ever get to do, I'm still pretty happy. Digi Dustin. There we go. Okay, let's look at. I think we're gonna go Mega Dramon because there's no way we're gonna get anything else. Oh, hold on. Now we just need you in Ghost Game, please. I would, I would kill myself. Being Ghost Game. <laughs> ghost Game well, is such a weird show. <laughs> I don't even care. I just want, I want to be Jellymon so bad. Jellymon. Jellymon. She's a little oh, jellyfish. You would be really oh. good as Jellymon, both. In Thank her you. young and older form. Oh, isn't she cute? Okay, yes, I could definitely see you as this this little creature. A little, she, she's a little, she's a bit of a little shit. I heard that. I, I haven't seen much of her episodes, but I heard that she's very like Lum esque with the darling kind of thing. She is. So I reviewed it. Like I reviewed the the first like uh, first season, and. She's basically, what's the word? What's the best way I can describe it? Because her partner is a Chuni, so oh good, she, she gives him a lot of shit, in uh, <laughs> in the sense that like like what what is wrong? Um, but she does like hold, on. and it gets more and more. Obvious. She goes Excuse from me, like you're a brat you're coming in and out girl. quite a bit. Am I? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't maybe... know what your noise threshold looks like, but yeah. it, is, it is killing you. Damn it. Uh, hold on. Let me let me tweak some settings. Give us. Yeah. Yeah, no prob. It, it could very well just be a Discord um, sound threshold thing. It could. I mean, Discord's got a Discord. Yeah. Um... Still the best option, though. Yep. Even though Discord has the very fun habit of like, I'm going to curse every single person with a different tech problem. No, they are not solvable. They just kind of go away sometimes. I will refill water. Thank you. Be right back. Getting a, getting a little real right now. Okay. How, how do I sound now? Uh, so far, so good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm it like, was weird because it was like, it was fine for a while and then occasionally it'd like dip out in the middle of sentences. Not sure why. Huh. Sometimes Discord also reacts to pitch uh, weirdly. So uh, I'll try to talk at a more even tempo. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Jellymon from Digimon yeah. Ghost Game. She goes from like a gremlin to a literal gamer in like Digimon Evolution. Oh, it's cutting you out again a little bit. Maybe it's just when I talk about Digimon Ghost Game. <laughs> <laughs> You can't talk about this on the stream. I can't talk about this. You doing talking about Digimon here? You crazy? No. <laughs> yeah, that's literally the theme of the. Of also, the stream. take a look at how Tyrannomon is still animated on the pause screen, but Sunamon's not. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's just. He's just down there. <laughs> he's just down not there. Moving. Not moving at all. Wait. Yeah, he's just. Yeah, he is doesn't weird. animate. <laughs> We're fixing the digital bridge now. Please wait a while. I hear that there's a rare Digimon at uh, Sela Point in the south. Rumor has it that he shows up late afternoon every day. And I guess I could do that. Man, I guess. I guess. Oh. That's oh, hard. someone in chat asked me what my favorite Digimon is. It's Dark War Greymon. Fair pick. Black War Greymon? Yes, specifically Black War Greymon. <laughs> That's a good one. That is He's a, great. He is, he is a, he was the one who taught me what existentialism was at like seven years old. Shadow the Hedgehog ass motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, he was the, he was Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog voiced by Steve Bloom. That's some good shit. That is some good shit. Now I want to hear Shadow be voiced by Steve Bloom. I think he'd do a soft mushrooms. Hmm. 
Who is his Maria? Oh, I guess he doesn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he the one that's like, oh, this little flower or whatever? Yeah, the flower. That's his Maria. There you go. Problem solved. There you go. And then he gets to talk to Agumon about it. And Agumon's like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, do this. And he's like, I don't have a purpose, Agumon. You don't understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for totally just blowing me off. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh. There's Goblimon over here. Goblimon? <laughs> Gobbly? Yeah. Love it. Okay. Mushroom. Good. What rookie would you want as a partner IRL? I don't know. That's such a hard question. You don't want our lord and savior, Gabumon? I mean, honestly, Gabumon or like Psychmon, I would be fine with. Here, have a giant meat. I like Patamon. Little potato. I, I love potato. my little potato with wings. Oh, he's a good little potato. No question about it. He's, he's the goodest of boys. <laughs> oh, Ramon, fuck off. And he's also, like, kind of the son of God, so, yeah. Considering his, like, digivolution. My little priestly potato. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be fine with a lot of rookies. Rookie Digimon are all so fucking cute. They are so cute. Oh, no. Well. Oh, shit. What happened? Got turned into a pixels. He's a, oh. he's, he's a literal 2D sprite. Did a move do that, or...? Yeah. You got no. it, Tyrannomon. But, like, I love Vimon, I love Armadillomon, I love Hawkmon, like... You what show me any Wormon? rookie, and I'm pretty much like, I would love Wormon too. Wormon's a great Worm boy. Wormon, Wormon is like the best good boy. He's trying so hard. So hard. Oh, Ken. Oh, kid. It's okay, Ken. You have the crest of kindness. <laughs> Ooh, I got a lot of bits from that. Find yourself a bro like Wormon. <laughs> I was gonna say, where's Dallas so he can come in and do his worm on voice? Go, which worm on? Which worm, bud? Move. Okay. We're good. I legitimately I cried when, um, slight spoilers, but we're talking about a kid's cartoon from 25 years ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when worm on quote died in O2. That was like the first time I cried. Mm -hmm. Legitimately watching Digimon. I was so happy when he came back. <laughs> I, they were tears of joy. I was happy when the fucker got it. No, they were not tears of joy. <laughs> I was like, no, you tried so hard and stuck with the He yeah. was like the OG uncle from like like the like the relationship between him and Ken. It was you're talking about like Avatar. Yes. You just said uncle, and it's like, what kind of uncle? Right, uncle huh? from uh, Uncle Iroh from Avatar. Oh, he's, sure. He's just doing everything he can to like put this edgy, angry boy. Digimon design you'd submit to a fan contest? Why don't we have any reindeer? Think about that. Now, that's a very good point. Hmm. I mean... I'm going to look this up. Are there any reindeer Pokemon? No. But it's got to be like a gun. So what you got to do is you got to have like the size of like the antlers be like howitzers. So it's like... You guys ever see those like charts that it's like evolution in Pokemon versus yeah. evolution in Digimon? Oh, it's God. It's got to have good. a gun. 
let's see. I only have MP recovery. Oh, shit. Huh, okay, there is a reindeer look. Don't let him attack, don't let him attack. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a moose. It's a moose. It's yeah, there's moose. Moosemon. Moose I, I feel like I was lied to just now. Yeah, Bolt's voice does keep getting cut off by Discord. I don't know why. Uh, hold on. Let me let me play around with some things. Here, this is actually the part where I am going to dip out. I got to wrap up a couple things at work, but I will try to pop back in a little later. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, have fun. Bye-bye. I'm sorry, Tyrannomon. I didn't think that Kunamon would be able to kill you. Might have crisp turned on. I don't know. Is that like a setting in Discord? No. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. We try again. We gotta train more. Also, we need more healing items. Three thousand HP. Okay, if you say so. Just leaving and coming back might help. Okay, let me bounce out and back in. Stream still going or is it about to end? I've only been going two hours out of 12. I'm here for the long run, baby. So for those who are just coming in, this is my Donothon. I'm trying to raise money for a new summer swimsuit outfit and I'm gonna be going for 12 hours. For your amusement. How long is this game? I could not quantify it for you. Because how long it takes depends on how good you do at raising the Digimon. <laughs> I'm not doing great. What are you going to do if you beat the game it before the 12 hours are up? There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> this game definitely takes more than 12 hours. That is an old school RPG, so... Right. How do I sound now? Right now it's not cutting you off, but you're not talking like for long stretches yet, so. True. Maybe maybe that's just Discord telling me to not talk too much. No. It, I think it's just being weird, but hopefully it's fixed now. It's all good. We will see. We will see. We shall see. So I got Dramojamon. I got Palmon. I didn't get Kunimon because I gotta try again. Discord, let him cook. Oh, just a heads up to everybody. My pronouns are they, them. Get that Digimushroom. I need it. <laughs> My Tyrannosaurus eats a lot of food. <gasps> Three of them. There's three of them. <laughs> There's three of them. Yeah. Yeah, I need some healing items. 
Can I get them from the vending machine? Oh, okay. Hold on. 100% record for this game is three hours? Oh my god. Get the fuck out of here! How? How? You need insane knowledge to go anywhere near that pace. Yeah, I can imagine. That's <laughs> that's ridiculous. Okay. Leave me alone, my dog, your beta mine. I'm trying to find food for my dinosaur. That's something that a lot of modern RPGs are missing. Let me see my Digimon shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag let Digimon shit. Okay, let's see. Outdoor intro. 300 bits for me, 600 bits for Digimushroom. It's 500 bits to buy big meat from Palmon directly. Hmm. I don't know. I need healing items. I don't know where to get those either. I can't buy heals until I get the item shop. I think Kunemon is the item shop, so if I can't beat him, which I think I could, I just need to go to him with full health, I think. Um, but I think Kunemon is the one that's going to have the healing items, if I remember correctly. So I might keep training a little bit, and then... Go fight Kunemon. Once I have a full, like I've I've just rested, so I have full HP. Maybe. This game is so mysterious, and I I don't know what's going on. Okay. So many mushrooms. Please don't need more food than I have. Still, it's the last one. Okay, good. Oh my god. Are you sleepy yet? No? Favorite season of Digimon? I'm particularly partial to O2, even though I know O2 is a mess. Um, and also uh, Data Squad. I love Data Squad. I think my favorite season that I also think is really, really good is season one. Hmm. I have a lot of sentimental attachment towards Data Squad because that is... My brother was very young when that came out, so we I watched it together with him. Aww. And we bonded a lot over that. It, just seeing Marcus punch a Digimon in the face. Yeah. Very satisfying. <laughs> Marcus is the best. I He's love the him. the best. Um... I'm a bit more partial to... I know O2 is also a mess, but I feel like... I think the the really emotional moments were... Like, stick stuck out with me as a kid for some reason. Mm -hmm. Like with Black War Greymon and Ken's whole story. 
Yeah. Like mm -hmm. everything that that boy went through. Um, I would say Tamers was probably my favorite though. Tamers is a popular pick. Mm -hmm. I uh, I just I really like Tamers. I mm -hmm. I like. Um, if I was going to tell someone like, hey, you know, go watch Digimon, I'd probably tell them to watch Tamers. But if you sat me down and were like, we have time to watch a single random episode of Digimon, what season do you want to watch? I'm not picking a Tamers episode. No. You know what I'm saying? No, I get that. I think like, Tamers I is... Pick O2 or Data Squad, probably. I think Tamers is my favorite now. As a kid, I think it was closer to like O1 and O2. The classic. Yeah, you just can't beat the classics. <laughs> and again, as I like do more research on it and re-watching it, like when I did that editorial and realizing, oh, fuck, they, they kept this. Oh, damn, they kept this. And it, it makes me respect it a lot more, at least the mm -hmm. dub of it growing up. <laughs> also, sorry, I cursed. I, I'll... No, we curse on this stream. Okay. <laughs> We do worse than curse on this stream. Okay. <laughs> you can fuck here. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, you can. Because I always I I lurk just... so much, so I have almost 5,000 points for you. Oh, uh, yeah. But I, I always try to keep the... So as far as lurking goes, I keep the volume low, but I don't turn it off because I think Twitch sometimes has this thing where they won't count the view if you completely mute the stream. Uh, mm. But... Yeah. If you have that Chrome extension that lets you mute tabs, it'll count it. It'll count? Okay. Good to know. For future reference. Definitely good to know. I'm going to make a note of that. Give me that mushroom. Give me that mushroom. No. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. I need to fight Kunimon with full health. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Here's a digi mushroom. All right, all right, all right. Full health Tyrannomon should be fine. That on the bug. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Don't let them poison you. But yeah, I'm really hopeful that we could do more Digimon dub stuff. Uh, there's a couple movies that haven't been dubbed that I'd really like to do. One of them being the Savers movie. And I don't know if anyone would want this, but... I would love to dub at least the crossover episodes of Young Hunters. Ooh. Which is kind of just the finale. I'd be interested. Like, that'd be cool, right? And you get all the legendary tamer voices back. Because Kai shows up, and Davis shows up, and Takata shows up. You're talking about the, the big crossover where all the, the leads pop yeah. up, right? That would be really cool. The nostalgia I mean, if you had the money, be... you could also do, like, the episode where Mimi and Rika show up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Give, give, the, give the new Mimi voice actress more work. She sounded great. Yeah. Oh, my God. She's so good. Her, her little see. message was so cute. Yeah, oh. Elsie is a doll, and I mean, she was just like, you know, straight up Mimi was always her favorite, and she's just like, I have this great Mimi impression, and I was like, it is great. You can be Mimi. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Young Hunter's crossover would be neat, but I feel like it would all need to be dubbed. Yeah, the problem is, um, Discotech is the one who I'm working with for these, and, um, they do not have a lot of money to put into each dub project. Like, they, they need to be kept relatively small. Um, so at the very least, I'm like, maybe we could dub just a couple episodes of Young Hunters, and it could be the episodes that I feel like most people care the most about. Um, 
there's no way they could pay for the entirety of Young Hunters. That's just never going to happen. They do not have money like that. Which is why, like, I'm so grateful to them that they went union for the dubs that we did do. Because that did make them more expensive. Um, but it meant that we could get Steve Bloom back and Laura Joe Miller back and Michael Reese back and basically everybody. So they, they allocate their money, you know, appropriately. But it does mean that, you know, there's just some stuff they can't do, like dubbing 50 plus episodes of anything. <laughs> That crossover where Marcus still just fucking punches the bad guy while all the MCs use their big mons? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I feel like Shine Greymon, Shine Greymon gets to do something. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave me alone. Nope. Oh my god. I ran right into him. That's okay. We'll fight him. Yeah, dubbing scenes that were cut in the dub would be kind of fun. But again, it would have to it would have to provide some sort of value to the the Blu-ray release that it's going on because if there's no value then it's just money that's kind of going down the drain, which is why they don't redub things very often. Hmm. When, when Discotech re-released the Blu-rays of Hajime no Ippo, there was a part of me that really wanted, like, a redub of that. Yeah. But I knew so it was never going to happen. <sighs> oh, good. A recovery disc. That's awesome. You did it. You did it. Have a praise. Na 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 You did it! You did it! <laughs> I've made that joke so many times, I should just get a sound alert for it. <laughs> yeah, not everything can be Dragon Ball and get a million redubs. It's, uh... Not likely that things will, uh, get redubbed. Twins play egg, first time chatter. Hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, I am uh, Vixen. I'm a Christmas themed VTuber, and this is my 12 hour donothon where I'm going to be playing Digimon World the entire time. Oh, that's egg. They're from my server. I shouted out your stream in my Discord. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming over. You deserve all the love and attention. Oh, thank you. I guess we'll just keep training because we got Kunimon now, which I think means we should have the item shop. Is it Kunimon or is it Patamon who opens the item shop? Here's Kunimon. What's up, man? Oh, right. You open this this up. Okay. Not quite what I was hoping for, but that's okay. Where is Patamon? I feel like it's Patamon. Or is it or is it Selamon? Is it Selamon that opens the item shop? <laughs> Bolt's forced me to come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a tyrant in my garage. I force people to go check out my friends. You will love them. That's not good. Okay. No, no, leave me be. Nah, e Egg is actually the person who made my uh, reactive. They're an oh, artist. Oh, really? Yeah, they're they're very good. They're good egg. No pun intended. Well, thank you for that. As you can see, it's in the corner of the stream right now. <laughs> I'm adorable. Well, I'm gonna uh, see you and get something to eat. Okay, see you later. Goodbye. Good luck. Bye bye. Everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Silamon opens the shop after he helps you cross the water, and then someone upgrades the shop. Okay. 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 
Yeah, because having a shop would be very useful. Does the shop close at certain times, like at an indoor, like an in-game clock or something? Oh, I actually don't know. I don't remember. I think Coleman opens the shop after he helps you cross the water and then someone upgrades the shop. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what they were saying. Vixen, your model is gorgeous. Thank you. Love the hair and antlers, and your voice is beautiful. Thank you. Yes, uh, well, since you're, you're new here, just letting you know, this is a 12-hour donothon where I am raising money for a new model, um, and it's going to be a summertime bathing suit version, which will be very fun. We're about halfway there already. Okay, this is Seal of Point. What's up, man? Hey, are you human? Yeah. I'm Silamon, the fish Digimon. Did you come to see me? Yeah. Bridge upstream is broken. You want to go across, right? Yeah. Such a good Samaritan. Walk on our heads. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we're in tropical jungle. I'd love to see the cutscene where your big boy also yeah. jumps across. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know if being here actually does much for me. Got a medium recovery. That's good. I know that. Um, I think Vegemon is here. But I don't know if I can even get Vegemon yet, because I need the watering can, right? Oh god, and I have no idea how to get that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I believe in you. Thank you. You're emulating oh this, right? No, this is my PS1 that I have hooked up. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, no! <laughs> I was I was having scuff with it earlier in the oh, stream. <laughs> I still respect. It's just, I love how you said that. Like it was. No, are you kidding me? Why? Why would I do something like that? But like, <laughs> that's literally what I do on my streams. I try to use like the original hardware for everything. That sounds so hard. It. It is, but I'm like a sucker for the novelty. Cause, for those who don't know, I'm like a retro variety streamer, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I collect a lot of retro video games and consoles IRL. So. <laughs> That was, fell for it. I fell, fell for it. it. I fell for it. You got me. <laughs> I am wounded. I feel like he's around here somewhere, isn't he? But again, I don't know if I can even get him. Where did Gabumon go? I still have him. He's just a Tyranimon now. See? He's the same guy. Look at him. Uh, I always get freaked out going this far away from the city. Oh, because... Wait, if you die, do you respawn at the city? Well, yeah, but you only get a couple lives, so that's... You know, you don't Ooh. want to be doing that. Ooh. Um, the... the. It's just like, if, if he has to go to the toilet, I'm fucked right now. I do not have... No, leave me alone. I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Progressive panic invoice I increases. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, there's a toilet. Okay, good. It solves the pooping problem. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. There's two. We got to get out of here, Tyrannomon. This is not good. 
Yeah, Egg, they're emulating a PS1 game. Yes, this is PS1. Oh my god, they're actually called Yanmaman. How lazy is that? Listen. <laughs> you gotta start with the basics. And then you can make more interesting Digimon <laughs> as time goes on. This was very early in Digimon's life, so lots of basic, basic things. When did this game come out? Like 1998? Yeah, I think 98. Okay, I need to get out of here. This is the tropical jungle's dangerous. Is the bridge built now that I have come across here? No, you have to hop on their heads again to get back. MP vending machine? No. Oh, a bridge. Okay, good. Bridge. Coming back to File City is scary over here. And I mean, this that's the thing. Like, this game, at the age of, like, 98, I was... Six. This game's scary. There's all these monsters wandering around and they'll kill the hell out of your guy. And you're just like, no, my guy! I want him to live. Yeah, you got Nightmon, you got Mummymon. But then, you know, you get some that are a little more creative. Like Yukimi Bodamon. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna do more training. I, I don't want you to die. I want him to stay dinosaur and alive. But also, if I train you, you're gonna get hungry, and I have like no food for you. Yep, there you go. I hope four digi mushrooms is enough. Oh yeah, I love these 3D models. Like, I think Tyrannomon looks really good. Okay, good. Are you sleepy yet? No? Hmm. Two fifty, is that I think I was going for three thousand. There's no way. There's no way I hit any of these targets. Hmm. My friend is sending me a Nintendo 64. Ooh. I have very good stream friends. with? I'm gonna try. All right, good luck. <laughs> I, like, set up my throne yesterday because I forgot that I made one. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I never added anything to this. So I added a bunch of stuff, and then one of my friends saw it, and one of them was, like, an N64 off of eBay. And they're just like, I can just give you my N64 and all, like, the games that I have. Oh, like, you want me to buy it off of you? They're like, no, I'll just, you can just pay for shipping because it's just collecting dust in a corner, and I know you'll actually take care of it. Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. I, I don't deserve some of my friends. They're very... They're so, I've met so many, like, great people in the VTubing community these past couple of months. It really, it really has been ama an amazing ride. 
Yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. It's so much more fun than face cam streaming. <laughs> <laughs> You can do it like in your pajamas and not have to worry about how you yeah. look or anything like that. It's great. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, Am so I... do I have to go back to seal him on point? Is that it? And like talk to him again before he opens up the item shop? Yes. Okay. So we'll go talk to him again. Oh, here's something fun that I think you'll appreciate. Mm. Um, so last month I was I went to a lot of conventions because I've I've started moderating conventions, um, like moderating some of the guests and stuff, which mm. means there's a very good chance that if you ever do a convention on the East Coast, I might be your moderator. Yeah, would be a lot of fun actually. Um, but I was moderating for Ian Sinclair, and. There was one group of girls in it. He filled the room, but there was like one group of girls in the corner that were all cosplayed from Nambuka. Oh. And like, they were very giddy about him being like the warden and everything. Not not the warden, but like the. I'm the warden. You're the warden. But uh, what was he? The chief? Or. Uh, like, what was his position again? Supervi supervisor. Supervisor. So. That, that was just a lot of fun. I forgot to get a picture of them because I know you love Nambuka. I do. Such, I do love a fun Nambuka. Show. I miss recording that show. <laughs> All right, we got Seelamon. Good stuff. Because I will feel a lot better if I can buy healing items. <laughs> I would also like Nambuka to come back one day. Season 3 when? Did the manga finish? No, it's ongoing. Ah, damn. Yeah, there's so many new characters now. <laughs> <laughs> you look at, uh, the, you know, they have like a merch shop. Um, I don't know the mangaka's pronouns, but they have a they have a merch shop um, where you can buy like buttons and bags and things of the new characters. And I'm just like, who are all these people? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember poor Aaron was running out of people when he was casting it because there were so many new male characters. It's just like anyone who voices men, please. I need I need so many. Um, so if it came back, it would be like, oh God, but at least there's, there's like a ton of new voice actors now and like the new quote unquote generation Bro. of voice actors. God, you're right. They did introduce a lot of characters, like literally in the 11th hour of season two, we just kept yeah. getting all of these new characters as they were going into the, like deeper and deeper into the, into the jail. And you get to use different Digimon, or is it Dynamon the whole game? So the way that this game works, your Digimon only lives for so long. Um, so you Digivolve them up as far as you can and try to complete as much of the story as you can before they die. And then once they die, you have to re-raise them from an egg to something else, inevitably. So I could end up with Tyrannomon again eventually, but it will probably be different every single time. Let's try not to have the big boy die. I mean, it's really nice having a Tyrannomon. <laughs> yeah, imagine being six and your Digimon bites dies. <laughs> just, just bites it. And inevitably, it's because you fuck something up. Um, but eventually, <laughs> they will die anyway. Like, your first Digimon death is usually because you accidentally let them die because you're a dumb kid and you don't understand. But then, eventually, he's going to die of old age. Like, that just happens. Item shop! Let's go! Let's 
this is an item shop. Yeah, now I can buy meat for 50 bits. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'd like to have some of these on me. Is there anything I want to sell? Uh, <laughs> I have this MP chip. No. Take the MP chip. There you go. Good boy. <sighs> okay. So... I got Selamon. We did Dramodramon. Got Palmon. It was pretty good for the first Digimon's life, I feel like. Question mark? Maybe? I have no Maybe. idea. Perhaps. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I've only raised one Digimon, man. I feel like each Digimon lives about three hours. If, if I feel like that's correct. Okay. First time chatter, Dan the Warrior. Thanks for being here. Welcome to the stream. I am doing a 12-hour donothon. I'm raising money for a new model. Um, and uh, I'm going to be doing this for 12 hours. Boy, <laughs> thanks for coming. <sighs> we could train more. Because anything past this point, I mean, we're going to be fighting champion and above stuff. Only Digimon or other games as well? Only Digimon today. I play other games. I'm a variety streamer. Um, but this 12-hour stream is just this. I don't have any food, do I? I have a Digimushroom. I also have a physical copy of this game, but it only plays the back half of the game. So if you have a file that is oh in the front God. half, it doesn't work. <laughs> you gotta love, like, disc scuff. Yeah. guess I'll just keep training him because I want him to be in a good spot to potentially digivolve into something good but there's no way I'm, I'm hitting any of these never know and just keep trying just keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming <laughs> swimming swimming <laughs> okay we're hungry um You're gonna need way more than that. Gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> gonna need some bigger meat. Yeah. <laughs> I need some meat. He's going to eat, like, all of this, I swear. Growing boy! He's a big boy! Okay, there we go. I mean, that's almost, like, going to be an issue with having an ultimate anyway. It's just, like, he's just too... He eats too much. He's too powerful. <laughs> too strong. <laughs> okay, okay. We got recovery. We got meat. We're doing all right. Now, what do we do? Fridge is fi uh, 
What the? This is just a black bar on the ground. <laughs> it's a sensor that's, bar. That's what's, not right. What's that's really wrong. there? <laughs> what are you stepping on? Think of what Digimon are even around to get. I don't know where Patamon is. I don't know where Unimon is. There's Bergeron, Centaurumon. Centaurumon, I think, is in Tropical Jungle. I can't go to Overdell. I can't go to Freeze Land. There's got to be some other, like, early game Digimon that I'm forgetting about entirely. Um, I actually have one on my shelf. I, I own legit one physical Digimon. It was like a, it was a 2D fighting game. Oh, yeah. Battle Spirit? Battle Spirit, yeah. Me and my brother got a lot of mileage out of that. Even though some characters were way more broken than others. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Battle was... Spirit is so rude. <laughs> it's so unbalanced, but it's fun. I liked, um... The 3D one better. Mmm. Oh, what was that called? Um, was that Arena? Uh, Rumble Arena. Yeah. Rumble Arena, yeah. That I'm trying to track down. Like, you can find the disc pretty easily, but finding, like, a good copy with the case and the manual is surprisingly difficult. Oh, yeah. I have Rumble Arena 2, my physical copy. Oh, okay. I love that game. Okay, so we got 3,000 HP, 5,000 MP. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, gamers. <laughs> I mean, I guess we just got to go for it, Tyrannomon. I don't know. Who got you into Digimon? That's a great question. Um, I, I can't even remember. <laughs> I think I literally just saw it on TV as a kid. Like, I don't think anybody showed it to me or at least if they did it was too long ago i don't remember anymore because again digimon came out 98 i was six years old i think i just saw it on tv well i keep forgetting you're only like one year older than me yeah <laughs> um same i think i just watched it on fox kids because i watched a lot of saturday morning cartoons um, so Kids WB, uh, a lot of the 4Kids stuff, and Fox, the Disney Afternoon, which I think was ending around that time. So Fox Kids, Fox Kids kind of took over, and Power Rangers and Digimon were, like, the big things on Fox Kids, I remember back then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just thought it looked cool. I don't, I don't think any kids recommended me anything growing up. It wasn't until high school that, like, when I found out what anime was, and that's when people started recommending me shit to watch. I'll yeah, never once I started going to cons, there were certain things that I got into because, like, everybody at the con was into it. Mm -hmm. um, but the earliest anime I got into, Digimon, Pokemon, Monster Rancher, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Metabots, Zoids, I feel like it was just because I was, I was watching TV all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, some of those are deep cuts. I remember Zoids. I remember, I think the wolf Zoid with the big cannon on its back was probably my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, Metabots was good. Kudos to Discotech for getting Metabots. That, that was a deep cut for me. Mm -hmm. um, God, what else was there? Big O. Big O was a big thing back then. Um, did you watch any Gundam growing up? No. Like on Toonami or anything? No, I, ne I never saw it, honestly. Oh, okay. Like, if it was if it was on, I just... I cannot remember ever seeing Gundam on TV. What about... And this is only fresh in my head because I know there's apparently another season coming out. What about Fooly Cooly? Did you ever, like... I had a friend show me 
like one or two episodes of Fooly Cooly, and mm -hmm. I I did not understand it back then. <laughs> I was like, what is this? Just imagining like us in middle school staying up late at night and just happening to come across the loud craziness of Fooly Cooly at like one in the morning. Yeah, the one that really got me when I was a kid, uh, I dated a guy who forced me, essentially, to watch Paranoia Agent. Oh my god! Now that was an experience. How old were you? Um, uh, 15? 14, 15? Okay, yeah, that's around the time that I think it was popular, kind of in circulation on TV. Yeah. It was it was not new, but it was definitely like around. More, yeah, it was around. Yeah. Yeah. Paprika was coming out and he was like, We'll go on a date to see Paprika if you can watch Paranoia Agent and tell me what it means. And so oh, I did. Fuck. That's so yeah. obnoxious. And so I did, and I, I <laughs> formulated my own theory of what it was about, and I was like, here's my theory. And he was like, We're not gonna go see Paprika. And then we didn't. What the fuck? Yeah, and then I broke up with him not that long after. Damn, I'm so sorry. What an actual control. Oh, gee, excuse me. <laughs> what a freak. <laughs> Piff emerges from the ether to... I'm just... Like, it's a good show that is ruined for you now, and I'm very sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not not a good time. But, you know, say la vie. I think a lot of things on the internet, a lot of good things ruined by bad people. Wait, Vixen, when did you start frequently going to conventions? I must have been like 14. So like late middle school, early high school? Yeah. Okay, so that was, that was around the same time as me. Remember... Did you... Uh, uh, remember Hitman Reborn? Yeah. How that was like... It, it's fun looking back and be like, oh yeah, that was the show that everybody cosplayed from at conventions. Surprisingly, I don't remember too much Hitman Reborn where I was. It was all Death Note. Yeah, okay. It I... was Death Note all the time, baby. What? Uh, L was actually one of my first cosplayers. Uh, Matt was one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I cosplayed Matt, Near, Light. I cosplayed L I think that's it. and D Gray Man. Those are like my first ones. Oh, and Hitman Reborn. I was gonna say D Gray Man, my favorite Death Note character. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this white haired boy? Oh, that's the D Gray Man. <laughs> that's D Gray Man, you know him. <laughs> I'll never forget, like, the first day I got glomped at an anime convention. It was, I dressed up as uh, one of the bad guys in D. Gray Man, and I, I, hand over God, there was a group of girls cosplayed from D. Gray Man. They saw me across the hall, and one literally ran up and jumped on me. Oh, God. You're not allowed to do that. You're shit, not man. allowed to do that. It was a different time back when, like, glomping and yaoi paddles were kind of normalized i'm In glad vogue. they don't do that anymore but yeah, that was an interesting mad time. hurt it, it did hurt i didn't people let it were getting show. legit hurt oh you got glomped yeah uh, yeah that's how yeah. i found out later what glomping was i didn't know that was like a thing that people just did but it was also like my third convention and I was still kind of in my shy, awkward, I just want everyone to like, like me face. So I just kind of let a lot of things happen. I'm better now. <laughs> but yeah, do not do that, kids. Do not do that at conventions, no matter how much you like a person's cosplay. They really want me to get up to 5,000? Jesus. The before times. Yeah, conventions were, were wild back like 20 years ago. Hello, game. Oh, bees. 
Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I just asked because I remember Hitman Reborn being like one of the big things that people cosplay. Now that I'm thinking about Death Note, Death Note and Soul Eater, I think were also some of the big things that were that were happening. Oh yeah, Soul Eater. Everybody was cosplaying for Soul Eater. I remember at uh, at Anime Fest back when that was still a thing on the East Coast. One of the biggest events that went on was the dub for Soul Eater getting announced. Oh, I miss New York Anime Fest. Same. I hate they merged it with Comic Con and it just sort it of disappeared. Just sucked. Ugh. But now we have Anime NYC, which is is getting better. About, Do you think like, it's possible that we were there like the same year? It's it is possible. I think I went to Anime Fest through the last three years. It was around. We might have. Fuck. <laughs> like weird? two ships passing in the night. <laughs> Little did we know that just. 15 years later, we'd be friends. God. That's like um, me and um, Don and Bennett went to college at the same time in the same city. Damn. Like, our it... colleges were a couple blocks away from each other, essentially. And you didn't find out till like, years later? Yeah. And we were just like, oh, right. We would have been in that city at the same time because we were talking about the Boston bombing. And she was oh, like, oh, right. yeah, I was there for that. And I was like, yeah, me too. And she was like, wait a second. We were there at the same time. <laughs> but that's so crazy. Like, when you find those little small world moments. Mm hmm Damn. I will stretch. Oh. I think that I could have been in arm's reach of the Vixen. Back, <laughs> please <laughs> from way back when it's okay back in I'll, the day back in the day i'll settle to waking up to your dm like super <laughs> super exhausted it when i'm when i'm at a water park convention i was at colossicon east when that happened do you want back seating or tips yeah that's fine i will take the back seating thank you <laughs> i am um, i'm just trying to do my best <laughs> If you know what Digimon I should be going for, what Digi what I should be doing with my Digimon, I will I will happily take your back seating. I'm gonna be doing this for twelve hours. Also, enjoy File City at night. I love this music. I'm gonna turn it up real quick. Oh, that does sound very pleasant. This is like my favorite track in the whole game. It really does highlight the fact that there's barely any background music in the game. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's usually pretty empty, but this one's good. This is really good. Well, if you punched any Digimon to charge up your DNA soul, listen. <laughs> cultured. You are cultured in chat. Just finished the first season of Digimon Adventure. I know exactly what to do. Use the power of friendship. I use the power of trauma. That's the problem. Hero doesn't have any trauma. He just gets dumped in here and is like, I'm good at raising Digimon. Here we go. Benjamin <laughs> Oscar, thank you so much for that dono. Oh, I really appreciate it. You're nice. already our top donor. Thank you so much. Oh, we're getting close. We're 60% of the way there. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Keep it going, guys. Vixen deserves this. <laughs> I'm going to play for 12 hours for your entertainment, regardless of how long it takes. We're going 12 hours, baby. Ooh, that's an interesting question. What would your cr Digimon crest be? I've always really resonated with the Crest of Friendship. Hmm. Because when I was a kid, I, I struggled a lot with making friends. And, like, <laughs> learning how to be a good friend was, like, a thing that I had to go through. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's the whole thing with the Crest. is like, it's a, it's a virtue that you embody now, but, like, had to learn. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I'm good at it now. I have a lot of really great friends now that I'm an adult. But back then it was a challenge. So I've always really resonated with that. 
That's a good point because the characters struggled with the emotions that represented their crests at first, but it's like an innate quality they always had. They just needed to kind of push past their trauma and learn to accept that. Um, I remember so uh, Sora's whole thing with like love and loving her, how it wasn't really just about loving other people. It was about learning to love herself. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's such good writing for a kid's show. Yeah, and having to learn that She's worthy of love. Yeah. Oh. Demi Devamon just shows up and is like, yeah, your mom never really loved you. So, like, what are you going to do about it? And she's just <laughs> like, eh. Um, As a kid, I think I resonated mostly with Joe. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't just because I kept shipping him with Mimi, even before I knew what shipping was. Um... But, you know, the crest of responsibility, he was the older one of the group. He always felt like he had to look after everybody. Mm -hmm. And as, like, the oldest sibling and the oldest cousin in my whole family, I think... Which is funny because he's, like, the younger brother in his family. Yeah, he's the youngest brother in his family. So it, I always found that very interesting that, um, that like, he had all this pressure put on him as, like, the youngest to, like, meet the expectation of his, like, younger brothers. But he also had these expectations of you need to be the responsible one. You need to look after everybody else who you're all a bunch of kids. Like you shouldn't have this much responsibility at all. <laughs> um, so I resonate with him a lot. So I guess I always thought my crest would be of responsibility. Uh, but growing up now, I think my crest would be the crest of love because looking back as an adult, I think my biggest my, my biggest problem wasn't, like, being responsible. My biggest problem was that I supplemented responsibility with love and connection. Mm. So I think, I think looking back, Sora's journey might have been the one that I resonated the most. It's definitely the one I resonate the most with, like, now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I will take one crust of love, please. Yeah, that's the thing is, like, the, the characters that you resonate with as a kid are not necessarily, like what you grow up to be like I like Matt now I did not like Matt as a kid now I get it and I'm just like oh I get this kid but like back in the day I was I was 100% Izzy Crested Knowledge let's go and I was like a gifted kid so it made total sense but that's so surface level in the way that like a child understands themselves right where I was like yeah I'm Crest of Knowledge whereas now I'm like no I was always Crest of Friendship but like that makes sense because I don't think you're supposed to like grasp it right away because then you fall into the same trap that uh that Ty did when he made Skull Greymon where you just kind of force the emotion mm -hmm. without understanding mm -hmm. it and you end up like self-destructing. Skull Greymon to this day, it's so fucking cool. Like Yeah. I I know that like he kind of for a while got used as this uh, poster example of corruption. But to this day, I still think he was so fucking cool. Very cool. And probably one of the coolest examples of like a dark div digivolution. Yeah, yeah. I love that they brought him back in like O2. For with the whole, with Ken's weird obsession with Metal Gray, with wanting to get Metal Greymon. I mean, bare beans to him. Metal Greymon's awesome. He is. Okay, we're almost at 4,000. We're getting there. More meat. Um, yeah, the, the when I first really started resonating with um, Crest of Friendship was... Davis has a bit of a struggle with it, where they find the digi egg of friendship and you can only pick up the digi egg if it's for you and everyone's trying to pick it up and nobody can pick it up and they're like davis you try picking it up and he's like oh no there's no way that's mine and i was like oh 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 that's so sad i get it man mm -hmm. and like that's why i'm like huge davis stan love him he's like one of my favorite characters of all time I just, I find that really endearing. I just find it funny, because I know we've talked about this before. I didn't super like Davis watching the show growing up, but the more I talk to you about Davis, the more I like him. <laughs> My Davis bias just creeping in. It's its like, it's its infecting me, and it's like, oh. 
Also, I think as now that I'm older and I think back to like the pressure that he had to kind of take up the mantle as the leader. Like I get I mean, it. Like he there's not like a ton of pressure on him because he's just kind of like he's there for it. He's like, "Yeah, I'll do it." Um but everybody's so mean to him the entire fucking show. They are. <laughs> that you can still kind of feel for him even though you don't really get too much insight into how he feels about it mm -hmm. you're just like man as a kid that would suck to like he doesn't have a lot of friends he finally meets these people and they're his friends but they're all so fucking mean to him the entire time i'm like he, man he's just trying his best there's like a bit too where there's a lot of there's a lot of davis stuff to Dig, dig into if you look really hard that's the problem is he doesn't get a lot of focus on any of this stuff but mm -hmm. like um there's that bit where someone asks him I think it's I think it's during that same friendship episode someone asks him like is there anyone that you like trust implicitly and he's like no and then Vimon's like not even me and he's like um and I'm like oh no this child has trust issues. Someone help him. But that's kind of what I like about it because you are right. Compared to everybody else, he doesn't get as much to work with. But looking back, that might have sort of been the point that he does have his own issues, but he he powers through them better than everybody else does. Yeah. And, and that... I mean, that's why in the end, you know, when they're in the, the like, dimension of imagination he's the only one who's like no i'm content with my life actually i already dealt with my shit like the whole show is about me dealing with my shit and that's why he makes a good leader for everybody because because everybody else is traumatized yeah and shut the hell up about it especially ken and cody oh my god I, speaking of Cody, because someone mentioned Cody in chat, I'm like, oh yeah, he had like all of this shit with his family, and because yeah, his dad's dead, his and dad is dead. The, he got shot in the line of duty, <laughs> which I don't think they went into that much in the dub, but it was still implied that his, it was still like your dad like is gone and not around, yeah. and you not, need to kind of take over the household at some point when you get older. And that's why he trained so hard with his grandfather. And I'm like, and because he looks, he's so small and he looks so much younger than everybody. It's like, he is oh. younger than everybody. Oh, I he's... thought they were all the same age. Cause no, they're all he's... middle school. He's younger, I believe. Ralph Bat, thank you so much for the dono. Much appreciated. Thank you. That poor boy. He's just a little guy. When uh when they're doing the Digiego responsibility and they're underwater, reliability, reliability, sorry, um and they're underwater, like slowly <laughs> trying to get out and he's like I don't deserve this. I'm like oh baby. Baby. <laughs> That's also like a, a top Joe moment too in the show when he's talking to Cody. Joe makes a good senpai. He's he definitely the best one at being senpai. I, I wish they used him more in like that role. Mm -hmm. And now he's got to study for tests. and He's got to study for exams and tell Gomamon to fuck off. Yeah. I hate, I hate Fry's <laughs> characterization of Joe. It's so bad. It's so terrible. Yeah. Did we ever see his girlfriend... I never finished the movies, but did we Not ever see either. his girlfriend? I don't know. I didn't finish Fry. I hated it so much. I'm gonna look this up. Yeah, I think, I think it was around the fourth movie that I just stopped watching because I didn't. Like I know I didn't they even were make it that far. They like go back to the digital world, and the Digimon get amnesia, and I'm like, okay, I'm done. Like I'm done. I, I'm, <laughs> I know what we're doing here, and it's no. We're resetting everything for the sake of like just creating content, and I I hate that trope. I hate it so much. And Joe's like whole arc of no, I have to study instead of literally help people. Um, 
Yeah, so the, my biggest problem with the writing of Cry is how often something concerning will happen and everyone will be like, not my fucking problem. And like, none of them do fucking jack and or shit. And I'm like, you guys are the digi Destin. Could you take this shit seriously? <laughs> There's like a scene where like, I forget what's going on, but like either the Kaiser has shown up or something and is uh tk and kari are talking about it and they're just like should we do something and they're like no and i'm like why would you do nothing i don't know if you guys have noticed but you're the ones with digimon partners you're the ones with the power to do something genuinely makes no sense to me and, and here's the thing i feel like there could have been a story there about maybe them wanting to kind of distance themselves from being digi Destin because I can only imagine how tough that is, like both as a kid and a young adult. But they don't do that. They they legitimately make it seem like they have better things to do than to help people. And I'm like, uh, no, I'm you're like making you people unlikable for the sake of learning a lesson just so we can get mega evolutions. Don't do that. Like, like there, you can tell a story about like becoming an adult and like balancing responsibility with like duty, but don't have them be like, I'm going to fucking shirk my duty because I'm an adult now. And it's like, no, man, there's a way to tell this story and there's a way to teach this lesson. And I mean, that's, that's my also my big problem with Last Evolution Kizuna because Last Evolution Kizuna is like, grow up, stop holding on to childish things. And it's like, I don't know if you've noticed, Digimon, but you want me to buy yeah. <laughs> Digimon products. Don't tell me to grow up. Exactly what I was thinking, because I'm like, this movie isn't made for kids. This movie is made for people who grew up watching Digimon, and literally the message is grow up and let it go. Yeah. What like, the fuck? <laughs> what an awful lesson. And I'm just like, listen. I've said this on the stream before and I'll say it again. My ideal Digimon movie is one where an adult learns to love a Digimon that they have had thrust upon them that disrupts their life. Not because it helps them in any way, but just because of the pure joy of having it. And it's just like, it's worthwhile to have things that just bring you joy. Um, I think that would be a great like lesson for a movie. But they keep going with like, Put away childish things. Grow the fuck up, idiots. And it's like, no, I don't like that as a fucking... In my escapism. In my movie. Or at the very least, you can have a similar message like that without it being so hard and cynical. Yeah. Like, sure, there are some things that you have to let go. Or some things that will not be in your life anymore as you get older. And, you know, sometimes you have to come to terms with that. But don't yell at me, be like, it's inevitable, just let it go. Don't even, like, kind of grieve for it. Yeah. That's like, I'm even in that movie, I was mixed on what they were doing with Sora, because I kept wondering, why do we keep cutting to Sora, but she's not, like, doing anything? And then you don't realize you that- Don't you know? We have to show Sora not participating, because that's what they did in our war game. Yeah. That's the other big problem with modern Digimon movies is they the are shipping. so, not, not even, they are just so attached to what our war game did. Um, you see this in the, the reboot, uh, the reboot um, season, Adventure 2020, uh -huh. where they're just like, guys, check this out. It's just like our war game. And it's like, no, man, I know Mamoru Hosoda made a great movie, but like, it can't just be that all the time. What, you didn't like seeing Omnimon by episode three? I was so pissed. I was so fucking pissed <laughs> Thus off. destroying any tension that the show would have from that point moving forward. I was so mad. <laughs> There's a reason I didn't watch the show past episode four. I know. Um, I made it all the way to um, Devimon before I quit. They got up to... Oh, right. Devimon was like the main bad guy for... for a good chunk of it, right? Yeah. It, what did they do all, with him? He digivolves to Mega. And, like, his ultimate form is actually pretty cool. So mm -hmm. I was, like, okay with that. I was like, ooh, he gets, like, this cool ultimate form. And then his Mega is so fucking stupid looking. I'm going to look this up. 
Devimon. So yeah. Neo Devimon is his ultimate, and okay. Neo Devimon looks great. And then Dun Devimon is his mega, and Dun Devimon looks so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, okay, that that looks pretty sick. Neo, Neo Devimon. Okay, like I've seen that design before. Okay, that that mm -hmm. is technically recycling a design, but what it? What's the name of the mega evolution? Dun Devimon. Dun. What the? Yeah, that's really dumb. You have to look at his animation, too, because then you'll really understand what I mean. Like, the design could work, I guess, but when he's just... It's so he's bland! Like, he's, like, crawling around on the ground, and he's, like, Joker laughing. Like, he stops talking. He just Joker laughs for most of the fight. And I'm like, this is stupid. I'm going to look this up. Done. Devimon on YouTube. Let's see. Final stage, Don Devimon. Oh, I could do the dirt, couldn't I? Maybe I should do that. Because I have a champion. I'm, just, I'm trying to balance how often I'm training him and how often I'm doing other shit. Get dirt carry hype. Okay, I can see what they're going for with him with kind of the... It's almost like Venom with like the yeah. black, blackish sludge and everything. My biggest problem with the design is it has no texture to it. Yeah, he's very flat. He, he, it just looks like a blob. And I'm like, how do you go from one of the more intricate, like, evil designs in the in the series to... Like, the, I think I'd like this more if it wasn't the final evolution of Daddy Mm-hmm. Like, maybe make this the ultimate and make the ultimate the mega. I think that would have been fine. Yeah, if, like, Neo Devimon was a little bit bigger, but he was the final, that would be, that would be kind of sick, actually. Yeah. I think that'd also be perfect because there's more of an evolutionary connection between Dun Devimon and regular Devimon. Yes. I know we made the joke about, like, how there technically is sometimes no continuity between any of the Digimon evolutions, but you could have it. Usually in the show, they will design you know, specific stages in order to make it all cohesive. Right. Except Patamon and Gatomon because... Well, that's... 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 You know, <laughs> so <I talk> <laughs> Little potato with wings to fucking god, basically. The way you do. And, and yeah. Angel Woman definitely awakened something in me as a child. It sucks that they came after one of the most, like, brutal deaths in the entire series, but, you know, an awakening yeah. is an awakening. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, let's see. Did you want Smasher Pass when? We already did it. It's on Jello's Patreon for free, I think. I have to check that out. Yeah, it's like five hours long. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, we still need to do our... Uh, I have a folder of the, the Pokemon memes if you still want to do that reaction at some point. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we can also do a Pokemon Smasher Pass if you have like 12... another 12 hours to kill. <laughs> we already did that too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's also on Jello's Patreon. <laughs> I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to this page. Check that out later. We found the sexiest Pokemon and the most unfuckable Pokemon. <laughs> I did some of the Pokemon with a friend of mine who like her whole shtick is that she's a uh, she's like an AI program. Mm. And she kept Picking to smash all of the Pokemon that would explicitly kill her. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, Magnezone. I'm like, 
You will die. <laughs> you will die. <laughs> you will die. It's like, eh, it'll be worth it. Okay. That'd be my trick. Just, like, get me out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Just pick a deadly one and go. Yeah. Just end me now as a cry for help. Either I, I fuck this one Pokemon or die, or I will fake fuck a hundred Pokemon and live to tell the tale. I'll die then. <laughs> I'll guess I'll die. Guess I'll Someone die. Hasn't been opened yet. I'm sorry. Do you know when it will be? I don't know. It'll take a while. That's a problem. Can we help? I'm trying to steal our fun? Maybe you can carry dirt. <laughs> Dug up that dirt. You can carry it out and dump it. Thanks. It's a hard job, so I'll pay you 500 bits for each round trip. Ooh. Okay. Sure. Use X to set a dirt box in front of dirt. Dump dirt outside tunnel. Once you finish a round, please tell Dramodramon. Get that money. Let's do it. Man, this was really hard to do when I couldn't read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Playing this game as like a six-year-old, oh my god. How were you supposed to figure anything out? I pity any kid any like six-year-old whose first game was like an rpg or something like this or final fantasy oh one of my first games was uh mario's missing oh <laughs> yeah. and i beat it by sure just trying a lot <laughs> you brute forced it i, I brute forced a uh, a test that was just like you got that wrong i'm like well, all right what about the next answer <laughs> <laughs> Let me just do my best. I know there's sometimes it would say on the back of games like full reading comprehension is required to properly enjoy this game. Well, I couldn't read, I so I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just yeah. What was I supposed to do about it? I think Pokemon says that, or at least used to say that on the back. Oh, you don't need to read to play Pokemon. You have to keep hitting A and going forward. I mean, forward. there's a decent amount that you could read. <laughs> Actually, I think I have a, an old Pokemon box. I'm going to check and see if that's on the back of it. Give me a second. Oh, this raises my stats, too. I should have been doing this the whole time. Oh, well. Can I... Uh, I guess it's like a separate thing. Yeah. Dang. All right, Very dirt. I have the box for Pokemon Blue in front of me. Um... Oh, yep, it does. It says, requires basic reading skills to fully enjoy the entertaining story. There you go. Look at that. But again, so I wish I could read when I first got this to, like, know <laughs> that I needed to learn how to read to well, fully enjoy the game. Have read it. <laughs> my parents didn't read anything that they got me. No. You think they um, even knew the title of the games they got me? <laughs> right. I'm laughing to death. Uh... It won't let you post links. If you're going to give tips, you're just going to have to say it in the chat. I'm so sorry. It's the Pokey Moon. Which one had the entertaining story, Zing? <laughs> that is true. The entertaining story, you fight the mafia by accident is basically the story of early Pokemon. You hungry? He's hungry. We'll give him meat. Okay. I have to take a step away to run some errands, but I'll join back later tonight. Alright, see you later. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Nice of Gaburimon to not fuck with you while you're working. I think they would fuck with me while I'm working if I ran into them. That's true. See him on the street like, oh, hey, how's it going? Let's catch up. And you're like, I'm I'm doing something right now. <laughs> I am carrying dirt right now, dude. I cannot stop and chat. I have a job to do. I'm too busy carrying dirt. I remember playing this. I don't remember anything about it. Like, places look vaguely familiar. 
like something mm -hmm. in the back of my mind but no i couldn't tell you first like mechanic or like where anything is or the names of anything useless i am <laughs> i don't even think i got very far in this game again i couldn't read so a lot of things are just like your digimon said i'm like i guess i start over again <laughs> yeah i guess i don't know i'm kind of surprised how much i am remembering Like, the game is not telling me to do any of this shit that I'm doing. I'm just going and doing it. As a child, I also like to move dirt quite a bit. It was my favorite thing to do. Oh, shit, he has to go to the bathroom. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's right outside. Come on. You can make it. I believe in you. Duranamon can turn into Vademon? Truly is the Tamagotchi of Digimon. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, I was going, man. You didn't make it. They really do not give you much time for that. <laughs> no. Like, literally, he's just like, I gotta go right now. This is just... There's nothing down here right now, is there? There's just this guy. He's going. Today we're digging. Tomorrow we'll be digging. It's so much fun. I think it'll take a long time. Go somewhere else in the meanwhile. Oh, high discipline lets them hold their poop for longer. Um, uh, yeah, his discipline's not great. Well, that's a care mistake. I should have scolded him for that, but I think it's too late now. Well, more dirt. <laughs> Back to dirt. Back to dirt. Yeah, the poo's gonna be there forever. Um, until I get a Digimon that can clean it up. How does one raise discipline? I wish I knew. <laughs> I mean, I assume I have to scold him when he does wrong, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> yeah, I already fought that Dromojamon. Um, but I think I have to do this first before he'll think about joining the town. And then, what does he do? I think he gets you items? At the very least, I'm making a decent amount of bits doing this. Nice bits. Nice bits. How many more times can I do this? I guess until the pile disappears. Yeah, but like, how many more times is that? It goes down so slowly. I don't know. I want to play the PSP Digimon Adventure game. That would be really fun to play on stream. Ooh. Yeah. It just, it retells the story of the anime. 
Oh, that's pretty good. You can get to ultimate with your first boy, but for right now, it's better to just focus on progressing and recruiting dudes. Okay. I wish I had more Digimon games. I played a lot of my friends' Digimon. Uh, he had the PlayStation like one, two, and mm -hmm. I had the like Nintendo stuff. So like every once in a while, we'll like go to each other's houses and play that. So I didn't really get to play this like too much. Um, but years later, one of my viewers was just like, "Duh, get Digimon World Four." So that's the only one that I have. <laughs> they hated you. They they're so mean. That's so mean. Are PS2 Digimon games any good? I liked the Digimon Data Squad, Digimon World Data Squad. That one was fun. It's like the only one on the PS2 I can think of, aside from Digimon World 4, which do not play. Whoever told Piff to play it hated him. Oops. That's what I, I get for trusting in humanity. <laughs> so I guess I'm I guess I'm not carrying dirt anymore. Cool. I'll come back later. What else can we do as far as recruitment is concerned? I want to play Digimon World 4 ironically. Don't. I'm telling you. It's a slow, methodical fighting game. <laughs> and not it's like hard a... hard as hell. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of like... Um... What are those things? Like kiting and like stutter step shots and things like that it's it's just tedious they didn't do the numbers right even with four player co-op i could never get past level one give me that mushroom it's also a lot of grinding which is not good for a game that already takes a while for its normal combat. What else? Who else can we recruit at this stage? Like, can we get Centaurumon? I seem to remember Centaurumon's bit being a little freaky, scary. That's the other thing is I have like childhood trauma associated with some of the parts of this game where I'm just like, oh, I'm scared. Uh, Oh, I don't remember any of those. Maybe I will. There's a <laughs> there's a Greymon who will roll roll up randomly and ask to fight you, and he almost inevitably shows up right after your Digimon has come back as a baby, and he just beats the shit out of your baby Digimon. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the, like the Centaurmon bit. I seem to remember being in tropical jungle. And you have to, like, dodge, like, his attacks. Greymon happens when you talk to Gigimon with 15 prosperity. Oh, I didn't understand that as a kid. Oh, there's Sukaimon over here now. Sleepy. We're sleepy. Oh, yeah, Sumi. Hmm. 
Look at those evil potatoes. <laughs> and there's mucho mine. Look at them. They're so cute. They're pretty good. Yeah, like, should I be recruiting someone in tropical jungle? I feel like I'm I'm in an okay state to like do stuff here and like be strong enough for it. I just I'm always worried about going too far. This is Overdell. That's not right. Oh god. <laughs> Came right at me. Really did. I don't think I can really do much in Overdell until I have a virus Digimon, so I shouldn't even bother right now. If I remember correctly. Cause I'm pretty sure Vegemon's around here somewhere. Does this game share continuity with, continuity with the anime? Yes, insofar as the first anime takes place on the same island as this. But a lot of the locations and uh, important NPCs are, you know, completely different. Like guys they meet on their quest. There's not really any like recognizable anime characters that you meet here. It's not like Leomon shows up and, you know, helps. like here, right? I think this is where it is, and it's just not here yet. Is Edamon in this game? I don't remember. I remember playing a Digimon game that was very similar to, like, Monster Rancher. Where mm -hmm. you just kind of, like, was in a camp and you trained your Digimon. Camp. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't a camp. But you were definitely, like, in an area that you just kind of, like, told them to be like, go and train here. And then they'll go and do things very similar to, uh... Uh, Monster Rancher's training bits. Hmm. Maybe I'm completing something in my mind. I mean, it might exist. I'm There's some games check. like World Championship that I just do not remember at all. Oh, I need Nine Prosperity to hear about the Sprout from Tanamon. What other guys can I get? Any meat? I know you're hungry. Have meat. DS Digimon games had the Digi Farm, if that's what you're thinking of. Maybe. Maybe that is what you're thinking of, Fiff. Maybe. But yeah, this game and the anime, I believe, came out around the same time, so they're not really connected, but. They both take place on File Island, at least at the beginning. I just remember raising a whole bunch of uh, poop Digimon, and one time it didn't, and I was like, Duh! <laughs> I got an actual Digimon, and then it quickly wow. went to a poop uh, Digimon again. Like, oh. D does hey. Digimon Survive also share the same world as the anime? So the way that all Digimon media kind of works is... Um, Almost every piece of Digimon media takes place in its own dimension. But then the digital world is a shared dimension that they all connect to. 
And each digital world is a little bit different. Like in each anime adaptation or game adaptation, they'll be a little bit different. And it's explained as basically layers to the digital world. So technically they're all connected, but they're all their own universes also. So you get crossover events like um, Rio from the Wonderswan game showing up in seasons two and three, or like the legendary heroes showing up in um, Young Hunters. And it's because they, they, they like dimension hop essentially. Okay, I guess we'll go try doing dirt again. <laughs> Hopefully he'll let me m let me move more dirt. <laughs> and like Digimon will in different anime share kind of characteristics or like character traits, but they they won't necessarily be the same ones. So there'll be multiple seasons that have like an important Leomon because Leomon is always like this very important, powerful, noble figure, but it's not the same Leomon necessarily. And he will also always die. Yeah, poor Leomon, can't catch a break. Dies when he's a hero, dies when he's a villain. Oh, he's a bit further. Oh, was that it? Was my Digimon not actually tired and I just needed to leave and come back? Okay. That's fine. Thank you for the Digilore. I'm full of it. <laughs> If I gotta play Digimon World for 12 hours, I'm just gonna end up talking about the dub, the show, the lore, everything. Yeah, Leomon is definitely, like, Aslan adjacent. I will talk about Digimon forever if you don't stop me. It's just the way things are. How you feeling, man? You good? He's fine, I guess. More dirt. Gotta be almost done, right? <laughs> Thea, Jonathan, first time chatters. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. This is uh, my 12 hour Donothon stream. Uh, we're going to be playing this for 12 hours. This is the first Digimon World game. And uh, I'm currently raising money for a new model. So if you want to contribute, I'm about 60% of the way there. Otherwise, just hang out, enjoy the stream. Thank you for coming. How you doing, Tyrannomon? You fine? 
we doing this? It's still, still not done. Still going. High octane Digimon action. Dirt carry hype. Yeah, no pressure if, if you can't uh, contribute to the Donathon, guys. It just means a lot to me that you're here. Because I'm going to be doing this for another nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> I put in my due diligence. I can't find what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> Could it even be this I game? I feel like a Digimon... A Digimon themed Monster Rancher game would be so up my alley. I feel like I would have played it and known exactly what you were talking about. That makes sense. <laughs> so vivid have I ever in my tried mind. The Digimon TCG. Yes, I have. I think it's very fun, but I have not gotten into it because I can't afford to be spending money on trading cards again. I was. So deep in the Pokemon TCG, I wasted so much money. That's very fair. Trading uh, card games are just, they're rough. <laughs> They'll get you. They'll take your money. Card game expensey. Like who programmed this and was like, kids are gonna love dirt moving <laughs> dirt like 20 times and you have to like sneak past these enemies every single time games were just different made different back in the day no yeah. quality of life wanted to kill you to extend runtime <laughs> Yeah, they really should have an online version of the Digimon card game. Because, mm. I mean, that's how I played most of my Pokemon card game, was just online. Good to run him on. All right, go again. It's a really it's the last thump one. Oh, really thumpy boy. He's a big dinosaur. I'm very pleased that we got Tyrannomon, actually. Tyrannomon's cool. Very cool. Uh, can I leave? Oh, no. He's gonna poop on the floor again. Well... <sighs> well, at least I can scold him about it this time, but I don't like having two care mistakes. It won't let me leave with the box, though. Hmm. I'm sorry, Tyrannomon. Don't get mad at me. Okay. 
Okay, well, talk to him again and be like, oh, the dirt gone. Yeah. He's just gonna be like, I'm still digging. I think we're finished moving out most of the dirt. Our job is going well, thanks. Please wait a little more. Yeah, I th think I have to leave and come back. Ooh. Yeah, I, you can eventually get porta potties in this game. Uh, I do not remember when they start giving you those. Can you imagine if the dirt pile's just fully back again? Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, damn it. There oh. we go. Well, that's needed for progress, interesting. <laughs> yes. Oh, we hit a big rock. We gotta figure out how to move it. Can you do it? Can I? Oh, he's pushing. We did it. <laughs> I think it's empty past this point. It's a lava river. It's dangerous. There's a path along the river. Let's go. Are you going inside? Be careful. Okay. Did you name your Digimon Jello? Yeah, everyone wanted me to. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we are. Loud lava cave. Look at that. Look at that background. Just spewing. Just spewing. Lava cave. But there's a strong lava Digimon here. Oh. Oh, there sure is. What happened to the island? Tribes fell apart, losing memories and becoming wild. I don't know how long I can stay sane. <laughs> Can't leave it like this. They must realize the danger. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Am I going to have to fight him? Boss battle. Well, it's going to be one of them long ones. Yeah, he's got a lot of health. But I've got more health, so actually I don't feel too bad. Yeah, so far it feels like you can now damage him. Main, thank you so much for following. First time chatter, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're going to be playing Digimon for 12 hours. So uh, if you like Digimon, strap in and hang out with me. Eight of those hours will be this boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him with a blaze blast. There you Whoa. go. They don't got elemental resistance. Oh. Lava's the best move tripping you. Oh. oh, he's not so bad. Oh, well, except that this is happening. Oh, getting him. Get him. The invincibility frames, the eye frames. <laughs> you got this, Saranawan. Actually, you're doing great. Yeah. Stunlock him, Saranawan. <laughs> Air juggle him. <laughs> yes, if we had more brains, I believe we would have more specific commands. But I mean, we're doing all right. 
But yeah, if I wanted him to like use Sonic Jab ever, I would probably have to get some brains. Got him. Got him. Yata. Telling me there's another way? Come to the city! We're building a city! You should join the city! You can make curry at the city! <laughs> and you can have a jukebox that automatically crashes the game, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I will go to the city. Okay, thank you. Good thing beating him up didn't make him more angry. Fighting is the key to everything in this world. Items? Medicine. Cool. Offensive chip. Good. Alright, let's get out of here. He's scary over there. Yes, invite the living flame to a populated city. It's fine. Look, now the lava's gone. Not sure if that's a good thing, but okay. <laughs> well, now we can go down here. World exploration? Now you can walk where the lava was. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Mm. You're right, this game is scary. <laughs> it's scary. Comes out of nowhere. Protection. What? Protects your condition in battle. Oh, good. No status effect. Is there a toilet around here anywhere? I'm getting concerned about how far in I'm going. Oh, more items. That's good. Offensive chip. I can't hold anymore. Hungry. He's hungry. Let's give him meat. He loves meat. He loves meat. No, you gotta. I love how they bow when you scold them. Like, sorry. What do you mean to? Hello. Hi. Welcome, mister. <laughs> Welcome, mister, to our general store. <laughs> Who might you be? <laughs> Oops. How you doing? Uh, okay. I just woke up because I didn't fall asleep until 5 a.m. Why were you up so late? I, I don't fall asleep sometimes. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Damn. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Gonna poop soon. Almost definitely. Oh yeah, my Digimon's named after you. Chat wanted that. Oh. <laughs> this is you. I mean, Joe. that is what I sound like walking around. <laughs> Joe, that's a good thing. <laughs> they like you. <laughs> He's a good Digimon. But am I a good man? <laughs> <laughs> Do I deserve oh, just Digimon? Excuse me. Jeez. <laughs> Will Dramodramon join the city now? Now that I've fought Marimon? Why is he free? That's up to you guys. I'm so to offended. Be free. <laughs> Why is he free? 
Okay. What what do I gotta do to get Vixen some money? Do I gotta co-stream? Uh, maybe. Downloads Digimon World and names my Digimon Vixen. Yeah, we just start <laughs> racing. <laughs> And you've got like a six hour head start. It's only been four. T. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going since yesterday. <laughs> Two days ago. You new snow button. Yeah, so uh, you guys can now make it snow on the stream. And if multiple people do it at the same time, it does stack. Um, so the snow will get thicker if multiple people do it at the same time. Let me see. What's what can I get on Steam and just play apropos of nothing? No one will hop on. No one will look at a tuned town. What is that fucking sound? Oh god! Oh god! You guys are lagging the stream real bad. <laughs> There's so much snow. I did give you guys too much power. I <laughs> Please don't kill the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take this away from you guys. This is too much. This game is $5. I'll get $5 game. Purchase for myself. Code vein? No, thank you. there oh god get this off my screen So Jamojavon's not joining. What happened? What am I doing? What's going on? Hello. 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 How oh, we doing, gang? Doing pretty good. Weirdly. Oh, I think that's all the leaded snows that you guys had already redeemed are just showing up now. Oh. There was a lot of snow. There was a lot of Man. snow on stream for a second. That is a look. Yam got sunglasses, nice blue mom jeans, a uh, 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 white crop top with pretty pink roses on it, and a slice of watermelon. <laughs> Damn. It's a look. Yem likes watermelon as much as the characters in Persona 4 like watermelon. <laughs> I also like watermelon as much as Yam likes watermelon. <laughs> we are I like wa watermelon only if it's like perfectly crispy. If it's at all like mushy, or disgusting. Disgusting. We were just walking back from the grocery store and we didn't have room in our bags to put the bowl plastic bowl thing of watermelon so Amy just carried it in her waitress arm and we both just walked while eating watermelon. That sounds nice. You smoothed him? <laughs> so 
So how's the progress going in the game? Pretty good. Um, I've got a Tyrannomon, which is not him. not a bad first champion Digimon, but this is still my first Digimon. Yeah, you got him like right out the gate. I saw it happen. Oh, Christmas Carol hidden objects game. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds awful. Piffs be really good at that. There are a lot of Christmas themed games on Steam and they really don't look good. Anime Jigsaw Girls Christmas. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> oh you don't play Jigsaw games? Those are kind of bad. <laughs> Yeah, no, this, this is not a video game. <laughs> Smart Girl Christmas. Oh, no, I don't think I could stream this video game. No. Captain Squishy, first time chatter. Welcome to the stream. A game that increases memory to remember and enter numbers and collect portraits of beautiful Christmas girls. Oh, beautiful Christmas girls. Beautiful Christmas girls. Why do we need more? We already have one. It's Piff. Yes! You got it! <laughs> you put me in a dress and are nice to me. Yeah! <laughs> Look, we have a restaurant now. Oh. It's it, it's an easy bake oven. That's really cute. See? Oh, and the ground restaurant. is even the ground is like a little griddle. That's so cute. Man, uh, Christmas games? Bad reviews on Steam, I'll tell you that. Should I get him food from the restaurant? He's hungry. Yeah, man, treat him. He's been working hard. Yeah. What do we, what can we get him? Ramen. Red ramen, hot curry, hot pot. Get him red ramen so it matches him. Yeah. Offensive power went up by one. Brains went up by one. Happiness went up. Tiredness went down. Oh, okay. He's so happy now. All he wanted was that red ramen. He just wanted some ramen, man. Oh, look at him. He's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good. Look how happy he is. He's very happy. And he's better disciplined. Unfortunately, I've had two care mistakes, which is not great. But... You know, for my first Digimon, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's okay. I'm sure it'll be a lot easier to avoid the mistakes once you're further along. Yeah. There is Cthulhu Saves Christmas. The crossover of the century? How long is this? Okay. Is so it? Three days Dramojimon will join. So who can we get now? I'm trying to think of... What Digimon I know exists. How long is your Donathon going? Uh, for the next eight hours. Eight hours. Okay. I don't know what I could do. I could do something. <laughs> Why are you almost done the game, Plenty? No. No. Okay. This game's gonna take a long time. Oh, the ta Tanamon? Tan yeah, Tanamon. Oh, she's so cute. A little radish. Just hanging out. Yeah, so eventually, once I have nine prosperity, Tanamon will tell me about the sprout so I can go get Vegemon, who will get me better meat than what Palmon is currently giving me. I can't do that yet. Um. Bergeramon, I can't get until the canyon, and I don't remember how to do the canyon. Can't go to Overdell until I have a virus type. Can't go to Freeze Land until I have an icy Digimon. Is is that a big cardboard box? Yeah. Yeah. With a bug, all, like a can open yeah, top. All yeah. The, all of the houses in this seem to be like. I, I guess for some reason everything is like super tiny and like it's all like the a objects. toy box. Yeah, it's what? very cute. Why are you in Pikmin Digimon World? <laughs> it's cute. I, my favorite episodes as a kid were always the ones where they went to Toyland. Oh, that's the circuit board parking lot is very cute. Yeah, and, yeah. and the, the restaurant is an easy bake oven. 
No, it, it looks like a radio, like a cassette tape. Oh, no, it no, is it's, an oven. It's okay. Got, yeah, yeah, it's like a little oven. And, like, the inside of the restaurant, the, the floor panels have griddles. Which oh, is very yeah. Cute. Would you like to come in our restaurant? That's yeah, not a worm on. It can be if you believe. He turns into worm on. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Doesn't he? No, this oh. is Kunimon. He's also a rookie level. Oh, I see. I could maybe. I'm trans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what does that mean? mean? <laughs> same brain. Digimon have the same life cycles as VTubers. No, come back. <laughs> Are you stealing <laughs> my joke? <laughs> no, I'm mocking you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a sec. Uh. Flies over to my house and bunches uh, me. No, I got something. I got something. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's still on a timer. Oh, to put Saved him in jail or now. take him out of jail. I'm already in jail. <laughs> I need a second cage. It's bigger and redder and covered in spikes and it hates you. Don't put me in the chokey. From Matilda. <laughs> oh, that I haven't actually seen Matilda. Free him? Oh, hang on. Nobody take Someone this from let him me. Out. I'm free. No, it's still on a three-minute cooldown. I'm Somebody free else will with do no consequences. <laughs> you just beat him up. You can put me in jail. I'm just a little guy. I can't get out. That's where you belong, Wormon. <laughs> That's that's actually a, a pretty, it's a pretty good. good death. <laughs> it's a pretty good invitation. Ken, have you ever considered just chilling out a little bit, just slowing your roll? I got nothing. I'm still starstruck by myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, am I Derek Stephen? <laughs> Unlikely. Unlikely. It's okay, guys. You have the the crest of Derek Stephen Prince. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, this comment in chat is also taking me out. This surely means the coming of Calamity Ganon. <laughs> yeah, quick I, I, I did play my first couple hours of Tears of the Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw you, you being like... I'm, I... I'm having a mixed time, because like once... Mm -hmm. Once I, it just turned into like, go from island to island, and it was like clearly designed like, you can technically get to islands you're not supposed to pretty quick if you're willing mm -hmm. to like spend way too much time. I'm like, I love that. That's yeah. great. Uh, and then like, but it, I think one of the small things that um, Breath of the Wild did a really good job with is it has like an extremely strong opening. Like you just mm -hmm. fucking wake up and the tutorial begins and then you kind of mm -hmm. don't even, you don't even really have to do it for like a little while. Like you can do a lot on the Great Plateau before doing what you're supposed to. Yep. And um, then it just goes and like Tears of the Kingdom opens with like 20 solid minutes of super boring cutscenes. <laughs> walking through a hallway and i was like oh i wanted to explore and then you get to explore a little bit but um yeah i don't know like and i i genuinely i was like oh something on my settings must be wrong like it it can't be the game's fault that it looks this chunky mm -hmm. and i don't know i looked it up and a lot of people were like yeah no the uh the lighting rendering has like a ton of problems especially in areas with a lot of trees yep. i had like really notable slowdown uh just when moving those big floaty blocks that you can stack yeah. into like climbable stairs and i was like i guess that's fair they had the to game... cut corners with slight they, like there there's a reason they had to cut corners with certain things and like i get it but i think they should have like i don't want to say they should have polished it more i think they should have <laughs> reprioritized things yeah i because like and i i looked because people have done like shot by shot comparisons with breath of the wild and people are like oh tears of the kingdom makes breath of the wild look like a beta test because 
Breath of the Wild's got all this distance fog, and it's like, bro, the distance fog is what makes it look good, because it's not loading shit from far away, and you can see its anti-aliased edges. Like, mm-hmm. it needed that. And, uh, yeah, no, I... Oh, the the raw wall of dread that overcame me when I got back to Hyrule, and I was like, oh, no, can I explore this whole map again? I don't want to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I I understand I there's the new only, maps, but... Yeah, the only novelty to, like, the whole thing of exploring Hyrule again is, ooh, what has changed or what happened here? How is this different? Because they do change, like, a good bit, but it's more like the cake base is the same and it's all the same ingredients, but they've decorated it differently. And it's like... So here's the thing, and, like, like I Breath of the Wild is my favorite Zelda game. Like, I really liked it. And Tears of the Kingdom had a lot to live up to. And it's one of those things where it's like the first Animal Crossing in jail. It's one of those things where the first <laughs> Animal Crossing true. game isn't a good game, but then, like, it tried, like, it didn't have anything to pull from with mm-hmm. what it was making. Yeah. And then with its sequels, it's like, now it does have a base. So I have something to compare it to. And it's like, how does it build off of that? And there's stuff that, like, uh, like actually, I'm not super... Like, I know you can do a lot of insane shit with the, um, the, the building. building little crafts together. And it's like, mm. it's fine. I'm not a huge, I'm not like a craft buildy guy. I love the item fusing onto your weapons, though. That's very clever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That has a lot of potential for fun. Um, but like, with Breath of the Wild, I was like, this is really great. But the things I think it needs to do better next time, because it's like a nine out of ten. It's a great experience, but uh, the writing is bad. The like I like how you uncover the story. I like the concept of the memories. It's a cool way to tell a story, but it's not a good story. Uh-huh. Um, there's no characters in it, uh-huh. and Hyrule is a soulless field. I I don't give a shit about a single person in Hyrule. It's just, like, not in... In the same way that, like, I don't really like the Fallout setting where it's just like, yeah, it's a post-apocalypse and nothing's going on. It's like, it's been a post-apocalypse for a couple generations. (laughs) Figure your shit out. Um, And, like, the thing I was... Oh, and I I wanted dungeons that were a little more open, like Hyrule Castle was. And Mm -hmm. the reason, like... To me, the worst thing about the game was its setting. Like, exploring it was fine, but I was exploring it for me because I have an exploration obsession. And, I like, I was not like, what's going on in Hyrule in, like, Hatenko Village? Like, I super don't care at all. Like, not even a little bit. So, the fact that they're like, here you go again. Remember Hyrule? I'm like, oh... I didn't want to be here. I was hoping for a full new Sky World. No, they kind of... I don't want to say anything because I don't know how much of the game you played. So, I, like, I, can't... I played up to the getting to the little, like, camp on the ground where you... Uh, right before they always say like go meet zelda on your mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. so that means nothing but like i'm about to get the first tower that i assume fills out my map for a little bit on the ground mm-hmm. you, you will come to friend. understand why everything's a little bit stinky uh <laughs> i how did i describe it um i had a great time with tears of the kingdom but it's not a 10 out of 10. I don't even know if I'd call it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, my... My initial impression, which obviously might change, um... And then I was like, okay, I've got... Hi, Aram. I got my, um... 400. I got my fucking whatever you call it, uh... The... The Korok seeds, and I was (laughs) like, all right... Did they learn their lesson? Did they force me to run into Hetsu? Or are they gonna do that insane shit where he's in the middle of nowhere, despite being like a core game mechanic? And I looked it up, because I wasn't gonna waste my time. They're like, yeah, he's like off in some fucking field. And I was like, why? Guys, I like, 
little little things that you need to fix from the first game that are like mm -hmm. easy easy fixes and yeah like i know i know what the full game world map looks like so i understand how large this game must be but it's very disappointing to go from breath of the wild which i played on the wii u uh and being like wow this is amazing it's i can't wait to see what else comes out on the switch to like wow the switch should probably be dead already and this game looks the same and a little worse actually than the previous one from six years ago which is very strange to me and i even right away with breath of the wild i was like so hooked to run around and like explore everywhere like the way i do with a new genshin update mm -hmm. and then like I was I was having a good time once I could run around on the uh, on the islands and I was like okay okay I'm starting to figure it out and then I got back to the ground and I looked around and I was just like I just don't want to explore oh yeah. man which yeah, is I'm kind really of bad way. yeah is it because it's worse or because it's the same the same why would I explore the same place twice. Is it actually? So I don't know anything about Tears of the Kingdom. I thought it was like a, I don't know, a fucking like Wind Wakery situation where it was like, yeah, the world map is referential to one or more other games, but it's like fundamentally altered because it's no. That's what Breath of the Wild was. Because uh, Zelda games always do that, and then people freak out because they use ancestral names. It's like, what does it mean? And it's like it means nothing. Uh, but in <laughs> Oh, man, every Zelda is the darkest Zelda. Um, <laughs> God, that video is amazing. Sorry, real it's quick, so good. Sorry to interrupt. Marissa, is your... Uh, sorry, sorry, Vixen. Is your Digimon type uh, sleepy? He's he's not... It's not his type. He just is sleepy. Oh, okay. I <laughs> thought it said type. Sleepy. Um... Yeah, it seems like, obviously, Oz knows way oh. more than I do, but I did look at the yeah. world map, and the world map is a lot bigger, but two-fifths of it appears to be the same world map, and then uh, another two-fifths of it appears to be something that I haven't seen any of it, but I'm not interested in. Uh, you... That... That... That is my favorite part of the game. Okay, it's good. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if I would say it's it's good as a baseline. It's interesting. It's interesting and it's its vibe is strong enough to keep me intrigued. Hmm. Okay. It, it's an interesting twist on what is going on, and once you like. Once you kind of get the hang of it, it loses a bit of the novelty, but it's still... And and this might be like my Zelda lore brain going into overdrive and giving it more credit than it's due. It's still got a lot of intrigue and mystery to it, even when yeah, you know I, what's going I on. I will say that anything you get from being like, oh, what does this mean and what's this gonna like turn out to be will do nothing for me because I know mm -hmm. the answer is nothing interesting because it's yes, a Zelda yes. game. Yes. Like I, I, I have not trusted Zelda to do anything interesting with story or lore since ever. I've never thought they were good. Then at that. I hope you're <laughs> ready for this game to hand you a wet fart on a plate. <laughs> I, yeah, I know because it opens up with Matt Mercer Gandorf going ooga booga and blowing up the Master Sword. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. About this that. is like maybe the flattest Ganondorf there is, honestly. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to finally give him tits. They did, and the, he listen. Uh, he, he fine as hell, but head empty, no thoughts. Yeah, and then where like, did all the vibration go? Zelda's always been much better at conveying vibes rather than narratives. Yes, I yes. think. And the worst part about Tears of the Kingdom for me is that it could have done- there is one aspect about the plot which I'm not going to talk about and chat don't even hint about it, if you know. Uh, there is something in it that if they had have committed to the bit and not uh, been cowards at the end, 
could have been super fucking interesting and given the game and storytelling like any merit especially in, within like the grander story of like the universe itself um but they don't because they have to keep selling their games so i like I don't know. So, you know how, like, when you know little things about your brain? Like, do, do you remember when we got, like, little bits of info about Ganon? You were like, here's my Ganon theory that was, like, way more interesting, but, like, in a way that was, like, way too interesting yeah. for it to be a thing that was going to happen. Because I never, I never expect anything like that from an actual game. Because I know they're never going to live up to my standards. So I'm like, here's an interesting idea. This is how I would do it. <laughs> and I would say, like... For me, I had that when I saw people like doing like Seedon fan art and stuff again. And for the first week, I was like, oh, there must be like having them interact with the old characters or whatever. Because now it's like, you know, it's two games. I was like, no, no, there's so much artwork of the old characters that they must be in this game. Did everyone get catapulted into the sky? Because like at no level would I have thought, let's do Hyrule again. Like, that's just the worst thing they could have done. And so I was like, they would never do that. Like, it didn't even occur to me. And I was Ooh, just- Jello. It's, I was... it's funny because as soon as I saw the first trailer, I was like, oh, they're just gonna do that, like the same game again, but put a Sky player. So I'm, I'm kind of surprised that you're surprised. I didn't really watch any of the trailers or anything, to be honest. I mean, I, neither did I. I just like, like the first one, or the first couple, where they're like, "We're going to the sky." It was probably at some like game, game awards or something. Mm -hmm. Can I? So, Vixen, can you explain the gameplay loop here? I'm getting this is like a Tamagotchi. Yes, it's Tamagotchi, but there's a whole like plot and island to explore, essentially. And... But I've got to raise a little guy, and uh, there are certain parts of the map that I will not be able to go to or take on unless I have a strong enough little guy. And so you have to balance your time between raising your little guy and making him stronger or going out and, like, doing story quests, essentially. Because mm -hmm. um, when you have a strong enough guy, you got to go do the story quests that, you know, require a stronger guy. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to go when you're not strong enough because then you're just gonna you're gonna get fucked up are you on like them. some kind of overall time limit that means you need to do them yes. as soon as you can okay your digimon dies eventually and when it dies it gets reformed as an egg and then you can raise it up to an even stronger digimon the next time but it's gonna take some time to raise it back up i see Vixen, my shoot your little dm a secret okay this, is this your is uh is your controllable is character here Maybe I'm misinterpreting the artwork. Is this the first Digimon protagonist to be like a grizzled forty-year-old man? It's a kid. <sighs> it's a kid. He's, it's it's a little Jet Set Radio kid. About? He He's looks got... like Jesse Pinkman. Okay. <laughs> I maybe it's just maybe I'm inferring facial hair that isn't there, but when yeah, I look no, at it that tiny look like head, it. it looks like he's got stubble to me. That's like a ten-year-old kid. With I guess it's gone. just shading. No, here, this is him. Oh, okay. All right, all right. That makes it clearer. And he's voiced by Mona Marshall. Oh. I'm surprised he's voiced at all. Well, not in the game. Uh, in oh. the cutscenes, he was. Uh, I see. In the game, he's got, got his Japanese voice still. Yata. This Yata. is such a weird blend. The first thing that this looks like to me visually with this sort of like jpeg field and these pre-rendered 3d objects sitting on it is honestly like the cdi zelda or not mm -hmm. not, not the cdi zelda games that weird top down zelda game that's like even less playable than the ones that everyone memes on There's yeah i know what you're talking about top down zelda that's also a CDI one, but it's not the oh, one. Oh, it is also CDI. Okay, yeah, yeah. it's the it's the third one. Yeah. It's the weird, like quasi photorealistic one. The one where you play as Zelda. Yeah, I only like, know it from Game Grumps. I think it's oh, just he's... it's just very funny to me. Sorry, not to swing back to Zelda. It's just very funny to me because like you'll see like the Zelda fan base get like so excited. It's like now we've got Zelda what's gonna happen like we get to play as her and i remember 
I remember on Newgrounds back in the day, mm. there was this he one. Died. Oh, no. oh. What? He died. He just dropped dead oh, out of nowhere. No. He got too old, and uh, if yeah, if they don't um, if they don't have enough like parameters to digivolve, then they die. What the fuck? Why didn't you give me more parameters? I'm just doing my oh, best. Oh, Digitama! <laughs> All right, we gotta pick an egg gamers. Oh, oh the pink one. Like, uh, the, no. mm, I like I like that one. It looks like a Yoshi egg. No. I like I like the orange one. Let's let chat like, decide. Looks like a mango ice cream. Okay. Give me a sec, chat. I will set up. I will set up a thing. Um, speaking of setting up a thing, I'm gonna start co-streaming on my end. Um. What are you playing, Jello? Cthulhu saves Christmas. Hell yeah. Oh, I assumed you were playing Tears of the Kingdom right now, and that's why it was on. No, I played it for a while last night, and then was thinking about it a bunch. Like, I, I haven't played enough to have a real opinion, if I'm being honest, but, like, the vibes I'm picking up are not encouraging to me, and I... <sighs> I have never been, like, a guy who cares that much about graphics in any kind of game since I grew up as a Nintendo-exclusive kid, but, like... I don't know, in my head, you've got like Fire Emblem and Pokemon with their like shitty latest installations visually on the Switch. And I was like, like, oh, but meanwhile, you've got Tears of the Kingdom, which is like a six year dev cycle. And it's been like getting pushed back to give it more time. And I was like, I don't even remember Breath of the Wild looking this bad. And that came out a console ago and like, I, do you know, I don't know how to describe this visually. Do you know that like square dapple, like it's made yes. of bricks, it's yeah. it's everywhere. And it it's is, like yeah. way too close to the camera to be acceptable. Like, like that shit's fine if you're like at the top of a cliff and looking down and it's like, obviously that's not loaded because they got memory issues and whatever. But like, there was literally a campfire made of Tetris blocks and it was like 30 feet away from me. And I was like, bro, this is kind of ruining my experience, and I normally don't care about that, but when your game is exploring a pretty game world, it does sort of matter. And and I was like, is it because my TV is big? Because I didn't play on a TV this big any, uh, on my first game. But no, because they do the thing that modern games do where the text is like bonkers small because yeah. they assume you're on the biggest TV. And it's like, well, clearly you designed it for this big of an aspect ratio, so why did you do that? I don't know. Um, all right, I gotta stop. All right. Chat has voted. We are taking the pink egg. Pink egg. I win! Okay, uh, and I'm gonna start streaming to who really saves Christmas. All right, have fun. To... Thank you for co-stream. Oh. Pink egg. Egg. I hope Look it's at Terrier Mon. That's not Terrier Mon. Terrier Mon does not exist yet. <laughs> I make him real. We can give him a new name. Okay, I believe I am streaming on my end. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cthulhu Saves Christmas, a game I know <laughs> nothing at all about. It appears to be an RPG in which Cthulhu saves Christmas. Uh, I'm co-streaming with Vixen, who should be in the description and hopefully will be pinned if she isn't already. Hello. Uh, Vixen's doing a donothon, so you should pop over there and donate. And if enough of you do that, I don't know, maybe I can give you rewards, some sort of reward that must be done this stream. I'm not adding anything else that I need to do like this week or anything, but- It says you're not streaming, bud. What do you, I hit the stream. <laughs> it says excellent connection. It says end stream. I'm streaming. Uh, you should be on Jello Plays Games, right? Let me check. Yeah, I'm streaming. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Cthulhu and Jello. Are you guys Christmas looking on the wrong Ad channel? blockers violate YouTube's terms of service. Fuck. Use they got origin. me. They found me out. Use anyway, this is, this is Oz now. 
I do I'm use Hilly. Ublock Origin. They've uh, YouTube has been in an arms race with Ublock the past week, where they'll roll out a new, better way of detecting if you have Ublock Origin to punish you for it, and then mm. Ublock will roll out a new, better way oh, of them the not noticing it. Yeah, no, it's literally been going back and forth every 24 hours. Very silly. Great. Um, okay, well, I'm going to post this on my Twitter, and then I'll start playing this. Um, let's see. Euromon. Let's see. What do we have to do to get you to Digivolve? Uh, seems easy. like kind of nothing. Wow. What are you? Oh, he needs 10 brains. No. Tanamon Digivolve condition. What are you ten brains? Dixon? Tell my stream. I'm playing Digimon World 1, the uh, historically very punishing first Digimon game that ever came out in America. And it's, I'm going to do it for 12 hours. I've already been going for four. Um, I'm doing a donothon. I'm raising money for a new model. Um, so if we reach $1,000 donated, I will immediately give that $1,000 to Oz so he can draw me a new summer swimsuit model. <gasps> Hello! All right, yeah, and I'm here. Uh, we can do things uh, if you give enough money. I don't know, set like $100 goals or whatever. It's not that, we could easily get it. Come on, guys, you can do it right now. There's only like, what, $450 left? It's pretty close. Yeah, we're, we're over halfway there. Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna play Cthulhu Saves Christmas because Vixen's Christmas theme. Here we go, new game. Uh, sane, insane, or raving. I want to finish this oh. game in this setting, so we're doing sane. Twas the night before Christmas when all through Relief? I don't I don't know Cthulhu lore. <laughs> Not a creature was fighting, no one in a fray. No stockings were hung by the chimney with care. They all had been naughty. No Saint Nicholas there. Damn. Cthulhu Cthulhu was nested all snug in non-Euclidean space with visions of destruction <laughs> lighting up his cold face. When out on the altar there arose such a clatter that Cthulhu toppled out of bed to see what was the matter. There shall be no more poetry in my game, narrator. I promise nothing. But what is this? <laughs> a present from Santa? This cannot be. Goodness knows I've been anything but good this year. And yet it was a present, and it did have a tag indicating that it was from Santa. Cthulhu opens the present. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this ah! is oh God. What foul sorcery is this? What a sorcery is this? A dark mist envelops Cthulhu, stripping his power away from him. Get santa idiot! <laughs> no! He's getting Not my, winked! Not my power! That's one of my favorite things! <laughs> Hmm. Okay, wait, this might be good, actually. <laughs> Without my power, how am I supposed to destroy the world? Oh, this shall not stand. I shall have my revenge. I will not rest until the blood of Santa adorns my blade. Excuse me, but I do believe this is a family-friendly game. Do I look family-friendly to you? Plus, the game is literally called Cthulhu Saves Christmas. And save it, I shall. Santa has lost his marbles. He must be stopped. To the surface world, my quest for vengeance begins. I guess I'll start working on his next evolution. Cause, oh, man. Uh, he's already good enough to digivolve to Tanamon. Bro, I gained, ten I gained five pounds. That's double the weight. This is uh, a lot more dialogue than I thought there would be. Does someone want to step did in? You, <laughs> did you pick a bad voice for Cthulhu? <laughs> I, I did, uh, but there's also a narrator who I thought would be doing the introduction and then fuck off. But in a All place. right, I'll do it. I'll do a little Christmas voice. Let's I'm see. Oh, my God. On the beachy shore, bordered by the cliffs of insanity, Cthulhu spots a maiden beset by horrible monsters. A tutorial battle approaches. Basic tutorial one, recharge, items, hyper. All right, you don't, you don't have to read any mechanic shit, let's see. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna disable, use a different connection, okay. Shared by the party. All right, um, a thousand HP? A thousand hip. Oh my oh, God, I'll, what? We'll just go do it. Oh my God. All right, we're we're Cthulhu Yo, this in. fucking rules? Did you accidentally pick a good game? Oh. Hello, Chris. Thank 
you. Oh, my gingerbread, you're Cthulhu, right? Just look at me. These tentacles and wings don't lie. <laughs> I know granting boons is not in your nature, but I'm sure you'll make an exception for me. I need Oh no, this game is funny. <laughs> Hard pass. <laughs> don't get your tinsel in a twist. I just need a teensy tiny favor and I'll be sure to make it worth your while. I doubt that, but continue. I am the Snow Maiden, Crystal Claws, defender of the Winter Highlands and spreader of holiday joy. I need your help to rescue my grandfather, Santa Claus. You're kidding, right? Have you seen the title of this video game? She's not kidding. The League of Christmas Evil has kidnapped Santa Claus. So pay the ransom fee and be done. Tom Servo is playing Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> they don't want money. They want Santa out of the way so they can take over the holiday for themselves. They've been sending anti-presents, packages that when open give the recipient the opposite of what they most desire. Whoa. That must be why I felt my power draining. If they were powerful enough to kidnap Santa, they must be packing some serious firepower. And since your name is literally in the title, you have to be super strong, right? True. I am indeed mighty, even when operating at less than optimal levels. If you help me rescue Santa, I guarantee that you'll be permanently on Santa's good list. No more coal, actual presents. And if I were to wish for the power to destroy the world? I'll make sure it's granted. Really? Santa is going to give me the power to destroy the world? That feels off-brand. He might have reservations, but I'm sure when I explain to him what happens at the beginning of Cthulhu Saves the World, he'll be fine with it. You have a deal. I shall save Christmas, only to destroy it. <laughs> Cthulhu and Crystal Claws have joined forces. I will take this opportunity to say, Lily the Happy Sheep Spriggs, thank you guys so much for the donos. Much appreciated. Also, our little guy Digivolve. Look at our little guy. You're now a little plant. Do you want to look at that little guy chat? You can go over to Vixen VTuber who's pinned at the top of my chat and in the description, this is a dual stream donothon. Get her a sexy summer outfit for Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gotta feed that plant some meat. <laughs> How much meat do you want? Oh, interesting. Still more? This doesn't feel right. Huh. That's a really interesting mechanic. Are you okay. still hungry? Are you still? Uh, yeah, I haven't eaten. It's me. I'm always <laughs> hungry. Always hungry, I guess. Okay. That's really interesting. You gotta feed me sunlight. This game has like an Undertale genocide mechanic, but you're supposed to do it where there's like a meter that shows you when you're about to get random encountered. Oh. And you can like quick time event to avoid the encounter if you want. Huh. Hmm. Man, this is a really expensive swimsuit. Well, it's a whole model, you understand. But yes. <laughs> Gucci. Mm. Gucci. Gucky. Did I get my meat today? Oh, well, now it's a new day. Give me meat. Oh, ooh, okay, hold on. Flurs! Hold the phone. She's hungry again. This is a lot of mechanics for a four hour game. There you go. I think this is like their beta kind of run in for I, I, Cthulhu I, Saves. Yeah, I think it's like a silly side game or something they did. Interesting. I will stretch. Thank you. Okay, is it is... going to be a Christmassy swimsuit? You know it. Let's see. What what powers does Crystal Claws have? Also, there's a trail style turn indicator on the far right, which That's I wasn't funny. expecting. Uh, okay, chill. Ice damage. Uh, hot chocolate, it's a heal. Stun. Man, this is a lot of abilities for right away. Okay, so Noelle is our black mage, but she can only hit one enemy at a time. What's the unite do? 
Wow. Uh, when you said that you were playing this, uh, I was not picturing turn-based combat. I mean, I was, but I was picturing like a shitty RPG maker game, and this appears to be like a good RPG maker game. Damn. Like the art's pretty good too, honestly. The music is good. I I love the random encounter meter. That's like that's so interesting. I've never seen a game do that before. Yeah, no, I just dodged a random encounter by hitting the button. That's so interesting. More RPGs should steal that. That's a good idea. Neat. There's a, there's a snowman here. Tanaman got a poop! <laughs> uh, the charity Whoa. stream where we made Pokemon meat type? Yeah, it's on my VOD channel. Sandcastle attempt gone horribly wrong. What the fuck? Yeah, how about this? If you guys get Vixen all the way there in the next, like, I don't know, two hours, do another one of those Pokemon type things. I don't have Ooh. access to the meat emote. <laughs> oh reason? no. <laughs> you drew it and you can't even use it. Yeah. Yes, me and Jello are streaming two different games. So on his end, it's Cthulhu Saves Christmas. And on my end, it's Digimon World for uh, many more hours. Equip abilities. Oh, there's a lot of abilities. Okay. Unstoppable. Right. Let's go for it, Tanamon. Get the rock. More training. Still good? Okay, keep going. Wants meat. Has a meat. Still hungry? Jeez, an 80% self heal, huh? The, uh, I will say the menuing buttons are a little strange. Um... If you're both streaming, who do I watch? Whoever you want to watch, friend. I mean, you should watch Vixen so you can donate to her. Thank you. Righty, Tunic. Enough. <laughs> Aram liked it, and we know that Aram is the bastion of yeah, good Yeah, I taste. only laugh at funny jokes. That's true. Spencer, thank you so much for the dono. Much appreciated. We are 72% of the way there. Get it done. Get it Streamlabs done. is the only way to donate. Yes. I watch Jello because I love his voice. I'm audible on Vixen's stream. <laughs> it's a co-stream. We're in the same call. That's, that's my best friend Jello. We're in the same Discord call. I I like that the game gives me screen wipe abilities right away and they recharge every fight, so there's no reason not to just wipe the enemies on turn one. That's not a complaint. If this game is as short as it's supposed to be, I'm happy that it's a cakewalk. A Christmas cakewalk. This is like oh. this music is honestly so good too. We need to get 500 MP? Oh, that's just the target. Oh, this I'm going like, for Betamon. This looks like a boss fight. Uh-oh. I don't even know what that looks like. Jack Frost! So you're the one who's up to this... Oh, Jesus Christ. You're the one who's up to snow good. Release my grandfather! <laughs> Did someone else want to be Jack Frost? <laughs> Sounds like a character I would play, but I'm uh, uh, playing my own game right now. Apologies. Mm -hmm. But I uh, hate you guys. Mm -hmm. ho, ho, ho. <laughs> the League of Christmas Evil has lived in the shadow of that old coat for far too long. Now it's our time to shine. 
if by shit this is the same voice I just realized. That's just Cthulhu is my generic evil voice. <laughs> if by sh <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> If by shine you mean the Japanese word for it, to die, then you are correct. That's such a that's such a joke you'd make while playing something and not something you expect to see in an actual script. If by shine you mean the Japanese word for it, to die, then you are correct. <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, it's a JRPG. Silly. You have to admit, some of the players are familiar with melodramatic Japanese battle cries. I don't have to admit anything. That's the point. With the big man out of the picture, I'm in charge. You talk big, but this early in the game, there's no way you'll have the stats to back that up. See, we're not even out of the tutorial yet. I'm a tutorial boss? This cannot be! <laughs> Jesus, all right. Insanity, stun, disarm, poison. Insanity, make an enemy insane and they'll take, okay. Okay. Which VOD has the meat type creation? Uh, it is the Trans Charity Toontown stream, which I think is like part 10. Poison takes damage each turn. Digivolving! She's digivolving. Please don't die. No, they're not dying. It's Betamon! That's oh, a turtle. My... Okay, my food is finally arriving. Whee! I'm hungry as hell. So uh, this is a great time to check out Vixen's stream. So something will be happening. It's in the description. It's in the top of the chat. Uh, give Vixen money and we'll give you Christmas joy. I'm going to go get Christmas food. We go in Siege Ramon? That's what I want to go for. Ooh. Ooh. Honestly. Oh, wait. Regular. Yeah, I mean, I guess regular Siege Ramon's fine. I remember regular Siege Ramon in the anime kind of sucking and then Metal Siege Ramon being a badass. I mean... They're evolutions of each other, so he goes. Uh, I suppose Cedramon, that's like that's the Digimon life cycle, but you know, Seedramon, Mega Seedramon, Metal Seedramon. Uh, Metal Seedramon is not in this game. There are no Megas in this game. Oh, <laughs> this is pre-Megas. You understand? I guess I understand. We could also end up with Shellmon, Waymon, or Seelamon, which are all pretty good. Hmm. I would not be upset with any of those. But I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Seedramon. So let's see. Um, less than three care mistakes, over five battles, 25 to 35 weight, 150 target for almost every stat, except only 100 speed. And thousand mp but i know that doing brains also gets me mp so we could just start with brains maybe he's hungry give him meat what does brain stat do? It gives me more uh, commands that I can give him during battle so that uh, I can actually tell him what to do. If your Digimon has no brains, basically you just have to hope that they- They die. That, that they don't die. But if they have the brain stat, you can actually tell them what moves to use. Vixen, what's your favorite kind of meat? Oh. I really like bulgogi. Bulgogi, bulgogi. so good. Also, yeah, beef, this is not here. Okay. Beef Where's bulgogi is pretty good, yeah. Beef bulgogi. Beef bulgogi. Once I have a champion again, I will see if we can get Dromojamon to show up and also go do the rain plant. But I want to get back to having a champion. I don't think there's much I can do with my rookie Betamon.
Chloe, first time chatter, welcome to the stream. I remember a friend of mine thought they were insane for several years because of this game's secret 1% chance for a Greymon to evolve into Skull Greymon upon death if it had the right stats. That would make you seem insane that if would, nobody yeah. else had oh, yeah. experienced it yet. Absolutely unreproducible weird thing that happens to you in a game. That's the stuff of playground legends. Vixen, favorite kind of sweet? I like chocolate mousse cake. It is the best. Not chocolate reindeer cake. What is chocolate reindeer cake? It's a joke about moose and reindeer, my friend. I get it. You got it. Well, glad we got one bit of training in, and then I gotta run all the way back. <laughs> you get Seedramon, you can still get Megadramon. That's true. Yeah, because if I get Megadramon, we could do Overdell. Yeah. There's this area you can only go with a virus, Digimon. Yeah. Overdell is in, like, Dell PC? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, green gym. Mm. There's also a way to eventually get a better gym that increases stats faster. Um, but that's way later, I feel like. We gotta get you smart. No, I don't want to learn a book gotta learn a book it's so important fix and favorite kind of deer or deer adjacent creature i am a big fan of the chinese water deer that's why i have fangs they're based on chinese water deer they invented fangs yeah they did no other creature has had fangs before or since mm -hmm. Those okay, things you see on bats, those aren't teeth. You good, Beatamon? You don't need anything? I'll be hardy. He's so cute. I love oh. Beatamon. We're back, guys. Let's go. Wah, wah, wah. Don't be sad, narrator. I'm sure with the power of the tutorial of ailments, we're sure to win this battle. Oh, enough tutorializing. Let's fight. Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay. That's a lot of boys. Hi, Al. Bye, Al. Okay. I just thought the fangs were goth. No, it's a, it's a demonic possession thing. But also mm -hmm. Chinese water deer. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Yes, you are hungry. Have a meat. Oh, he's so cute. Poor Betamon is like the one that should have been the mascot. He was like totally set up for it. And then um, Agumon just came along and uh, damn, the rest is history. Oh man, we just got three level ups. I can't believe I lost to a tentacle man and Santa's little brat. We slayed you, and don't you forget it. Enough idle chat. Tell us about the League of Christmas Evil. Ho, 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 ho. You are too weak to deal with the other seven. I mean, I mean, six members of the League of Christmas Evil. Tell us which League member has Santa Claus. Never. You're just going to have to interrogate them all yourself. There's no chance that the next League villain we fight has the claws, is there? <laughs> Players who spent good money on this game would be rather disappointed if that was the case. They probably got this game on one of those 10 million games for a penny bundle. Let them get, let them be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Since I've been defeated, I might as well give you a tip. You'll never rescue Santa unless you master the power of relationships. <laughs> Don't you mean relationships? It's my game. I'm from Relay. The terrible pun stays. <laughs> Spend time with different people in town to improve your relationships to get cool stuff. I like cool stuff. 
<laughs> oh no, this is way better than I thought it would yeah. be. <laughs> Defeat the other Christmas League of Evil members. Forge lasting relationships with others. And you just may rescue Santa. Whatever. You can't tell me what to do. If I rescue Santa, it'll be on my own terms. What's this feeling? Oh, I see. I'm being summoned away to a different RPG franchise. He. <laughs> <laughs> Very silly. <laughs> Shia! <laughs> <laughs> now that that's over with, let's head to Christmas land. <laughs> he. -hoo. Hey, remember how we were playing Killer Frequency and it was trying desperately to be funny and failing in every single turn? Someone, Welcome thank Christmas you so land. much for uh, subscribing. Really appreciate it. Christmassiest place on Earth. Blech. I can practically feel the goodwill towards men seeping into me. I'll get Blitzen on Find in our next Christmas League of Evil target, but it could take me a while. It'll take a week. It'll always take a week. You heard the narrator. That leaves you with plenty of free time to take in the sights and make friends. <laughs> I will forge unbreakable relationship bonds with others, but only for my own dark purposes. And in doing so, you'll discover that love of Christmas was inside you all along. Or everyone else will go insane, and their tormented spirits will make my tummy happy. Either way, it'll be fun. I've booked you a room at one of the nicest places in town. Here, let me show you. My cat is in my way. <laughs> also, yes, chat. Agumon and Betamon were on the first version one. But what I mean is, in the time since then, Agumon has gotten so much, and Betamon has gotten nothing. Poor <laughs> Betamon. Oh, that's because beta. <laughs> Poor Betamon. He's just a nice little powerful. guy. Look at him. He does a little nuzzle nuzzle. Aw, that's pretty cute. He's Not a nice bad. boy. Not bad, Minion. This room will suffice. Now, what should I do with the rest of my day? It's time to go to sleep. It's not even noon yet. Doesn't matter. <laughs> One activity a day, then's the rules. You're not the boss of me. Cthulhu feels incredibly tired and decides to go to bed. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute when he's sleeping. I wonder what would happen if I stick his hand in this bowl of water. <laughs> Every Espiritu, thank you for the super chat, but don't give me money. This is a donothon for Vixen VTuber. You should hop over to that link and give her money to unlock a Christmas swimsuit. Yay! And Shadow Hunter, thank you so much for the dono. Much appreciated. It Didn't is now get... Christmas Eve the second. <laughs> <laughs> Benedict, thank you as well. Jo Jello donate ten dollars to Vixen. That's not a bad idea. I could just transfer that. Um, <laughs> didn't the Game Grumps play this? It's cool. We're funnier than them. We'll do a better one. <laughs> also, someone wanted to know what Digimon. The person who donated wanted to know what Digimon we would have as partners. My favorite Digimon is Boncho Leomon. I would not say no to a Boncho Leomon. Digitomamon. Tell you, bud. Leomon. <laughs> Greymon! Greymon! All right. Uh, All I'll right. start an expedition. Reward, big sword. My or cat is in my lap. Snow robe. Uh, enchanted tunic. I think Cthulhu wants the big sword. <laughs> in a bar, Cthulhu discovers a lead on a cool expedition. Cthulhu spends, uh, sends Crystal to go complete it. <laughs> Crystal returns. We left Christmas land and took a bus to Innsmouth. <laughs> to Innsmouth? <laughs> I had a good feeling. This area is famous for unholy abominations, but I tried my best. As a result, we were able to get it. There was one inn that really stood out. I booked a room with Faith in- uh, I booked a room with Faith. Inside was a treasure I'd never seen before. A big sword. So this job was a big success. You got a big sword. This weapon for Cthulhu is very big and very sword. <laughs> it is now Christmas Eve the third. Yeah, I think I might have to play other games this developer has made. This is actually really charming. Um, He's tired. What do I do? Yeah, all right. Let's spend time with Crystal. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Crystal. So, 
What's fun to do in this joint? I have just the place in mind. Krista leads Cthulhu to a large park. There's a large outdoor ice skating rink filled with happy skaters. There is also a massive Christmas tree that's so tall the top can barely be seen. Oh, Jesus. I love it yeah, here. Holy huge. fuck! Being Hippie able to Blockhead, control... thank you for the gifted. Woo! Uh, <laughs> being able to control ice with a wave of my hand makes it easy to do well at ice skating. But besides that, it's so peaceful here. Sometimes I like to find a bench to sit on and just gaze up, look at the star on the tree, and also look at the stars in the sky. Cthulhu, do you remember your first Christmas? I remember my first Christmas like it was yesterday. It was a snowy Christmas Eve. <laughs> a particularly eager cultist had brought me my first Christmas present. It was his little sister, you see. Sure, she was sane at the time, but a few days of staring at me and reading the ancient text fixed that. Watching the drool spill out of the corners of her mouth really helped me understand the joy of the season. That's horrifying. That's not understanding the joy of the season at all. Well, maybe for you. For me, it did my cold heart good to see how far that poor wretch had fallen. I can see that I have a lot of work to do if I'm going to get you to understand the joy of Christmas. But I'm just the person for the job. Woo, I'm so excited. I'll make sure to have a strategy all planned out for maximum Christmas spirit. This is going to be so fun. I can hardly wait. On the way home, Cthulhu spots a dog chewing on a weird-looking stick. A short tussle later, the dog is relieved of its chew toy. <laughs> I was bitten by a dog. dog. <laughs> Cthulhu got a shield wand. This, this weapon for Crystal boosts her defenses. It is now Christmas Eve the 4th. God, it'd be Blockhead. Thank you for the tip. Much appreciated. We are very close. We're about 80% of the way there. Wow. Keep donating. Talk about your game while I eat this omelet because I'm really hungry. I'm just training Betamon. He's got to get to 100 speed, and then I got to get him to 150 offense and defense before he can digivolve to champion. And then once he digivolves to champion, then we can start actually doing story quests again. I will. It's so. It's like kind of fucked up, but it's like, all right, I've got my new guy. He needs to reach 100 speed so that he can literally outrun death. <laughs> Ain't that just the way it be? Ain't that just the way. Also, Furry Petty Officer, thank you for the dono. Much appreciated. I gotta feed this guy meat. Nom, 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 nom. I will. We're co-streaming. Vixen's playing a Digimon game, and I'm playing a Cthulhu Christmas game that it's way funnier than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let's spend more time with Crystal. Is it like a little RPG maker game or? Mm -hmm. I think so. Let's go get some ice cream. Cthulhu and Crystal go to an ice cream parlor. It's a cold day, so there aren't very many people there. This is my favorite place for ice cream. The designs are ultra cute and everything tastes amazing. Crystal's ice cream arrives and his three scoops of vanilla set up like a snowman. Cthulhu's ice Aww. cream is dressed up to look like a penguin. Bon appetit. The ice cream is eaten in silence. Not bad, but tormented souls are still the tastiest. Every Christmas day, my grandpa would take me here to celebrate a successful night of work. She this just is... glossed over that. <laughs> She's doing her best to put up with this. Uh, we we, we have to rescue Santa from the League of Evil Christmas villains. Oh. He'd always order the pistachio ice cream in the shape of a Christmas tree. He'd even do a bit of magic to make the star on top twinkle. Just the thought that I might never see him again makes me feel... No. I can't even think about that. It's too awful. Crystal looks like she's about to cry. Oh. <laughs> Chat, what, sh what should Cthulhu do? <laughs> if possible, would you make a VTuber model that's a Digimon? You better believe it. <laughs> Oh man, chat, you guys are mean. <laughs> no! Uh, I gotta get in and vote. No! No, oh, it's Mock. Even if you manage to rescue Santa, he'll just get destroyed when I take over the world. Either way, you're doomed. What a horrible thing to say. <laughs> no. I see. In your own weird way, you're trying to tell me to focus on the now and not to worry about the future. That was not my intention. <laughs> I'm okay now. Thank you. 
As a bonus for being the 100th customer of the day, an ice cream shop gives Cthulhu a special prize. Cthulhu got a magic cloak. This accessory for crystal boosts her stats. Stats, it is now Christmas Eve the 5th. Where are we going? Right. Oh. Soup kitchen. Mm. Yeah, that is the funniest. Cthulhu decides to go to the soup kitchen. A wonderful sentence. I don't know who Nuka is. Nuka Cola. What am I That's supposed to do like. when he's tired? I really don't understand what the game wants me to do while he's tired. Oh, Sleep. right. I can go to Punimon to sleep for like an hour. Eating more omelet. I don't want to be Nuka. I'm everybody. Yeah. Um, because I'm um, curious, Vixen, have you sent out the autograph cards and charms a bunch of people bought from the BDX Hurricane stream? I have packed them. They have not been sent out yet, but they will be soon. Amazing burrito. Ooh. And yes, I guess if people want autograph cards, those are always available, and I will send them out as soon as I can. He's still tired. And now he's hungry, too. I give him meat. This is a good omelet. Welcome, my brother, to our humble refuge to the downtrodden. Here, take this seat by the fire. You, I like the, the it's nice there is a soup kitchen, but you think homelessness would have been like eradicated <laughs> in, in Christmas, the Christmas town, land, right? Yeah. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let me pour you a bowl of stew. Give it a try. I made it myself. Mmm, not bad. It's a bit of a kick. Yes, this will do. <laughs> Love this Cthulhu. <laughs> now, if you excuse me, I need to attend to the others. Take your time. I'll just help myself to another bowl. Mm. Cthulhu, what are you doing here? Oh, just enjoying a comfy chair and good food at non-existent prices. What are you doing here? I'm helping the poor and needy. That's what this place is for, not for moochers like you. I'm no moocher. Just eating food without paying for it. That's good business sense. That's the very definition of moochery, you big moochie moocher. Tread carefully. You wouldn't want to say anything you'll regret later. I know just the solution here. You're going to pay back this establishment for the food you took. Fine. How much can one bowl of soup cost? Ten dollars? It's a banana, Michael. How much could it cost? Ten dollars? <laughs> they don't need money. They need volunteers. You're going to come back here tomorrow and help out. Cthulhu help out for free? That's ridiculous. Show up here again or else I'm crashing this game. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> oh, wouldn't I? I had one array out of bounds error and this whole video game will end. Saves deleted. Game over. Fine. For the good of the players, I will give in to your ridiculous demands. <laughs> it's it's so hard to be completely zero fourth wall funny without being annoying. I really have to commend this game for doing a good job of it. Want to risk it? No, I fully believe that this game will do that. <laughs> sees a pile of clothing next to a take me sign. Cthulhu got a fur tunic. This armor for Cthulhu defends against the cold. It is now Christmas Eve the 6th. Cthulhu feels a pressure on his head as if someone is trying to smother him with a pillow. <laughs> This is, in fact, what is happening. Oh, Baba Yaga! <laughs> Chicken! Yeah! What is happening over there? <laughs> We're having winky, a great winky. time. <laughs> this is the cutest Baba Yaga I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Get over me! Wake up, Cthulhu. I found someone who knows where a League of Christmas Evil member is hiding. This is Baba Yaga. She's definitely a member, right? I'm Baba Yaga. Ch oh no! Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I'm Baba Yaga Chan. Pleased to meet you, boss. The oh, League God. of Christmas Evil is the last place you'd expect Santa's very own toy workshop. When the cat's away, the mice will play. I only do chicken metaphors. When the chicken's away, the chicken will play. <laughs> Makes sense. The chicken are on vacation, so they're having a good time and playing. Not particularly relevant, though. <laughs> so, new girl with the chicken on your head. W what's with the chicken on your head? I like chickens. That's it? I'm a trendsetter. Everyone will be wearing a chicken on their head next season. Baba, yeah. I have some plans for my next stream. 
<laughs> Baba Yaga. I think I've heard of you. Aren't you supposed to be a lot older? I'm actually a thousand year old witch. I just look like a kid. Seriously? No, that's nuts. Anyone who tells you that is covering for something, and what you see is what you get. <laughs> Damn. Indeed. Got it. <laughs> this game is fucking great. <laughs> Thanks for the lead. Let's go to Santa's workshop tomorrow. <laughs> Anyone who says that is covering for something. Indeed. This is really fun. Indeed's a good answer. <laughs> I'm coming with. I hardly think we need to take some kid. And a chicken. Don't be just in cluck cluck. <laughs> <laughs> On our quest, we can handle things just fine by ourselves. And that's where you're wrong. Baba Yaga and Cluck Cluck have joined your party. I hate it when he does that. In combat, baga, ba, ba, ka, ba, ba, ka, so, ba, ba. Yeah. That's the chicken power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At 100% chicken power, chicken moves are twice as effective. At 200%, three times as effective. Use the power of chicken wisely to save Christmas. If she wants to join us in her noble quest to rescue Santa, I say the more the merrier. I don't want to rescue Santa. He can stay out of the picture forever for all I care. Look at me, I'm Santa. I'm a big fat stupid head. What? Surely you can't mean that. I feel so bad for Crystal. <laughs> Be nice to her. Santa's been <laughs> stiffing me on presents for years. I'm going to find him and make him give me what's rightfully mine. With interest. I've changed my mind. Baba Yaga, let's make the big man pay. You got it, boss. I feel like I'm losing control of the narrative. Tell me about it. It is now Christmas Eve the 7th. Just a few days ago, this place was bustling with happy sound of elves and hammering, sewing, and otherwise building toys. Unfortunately, the Elvish Union has a strict no Santa, no work policy. As soon as Santa was kidnapped, they all abandoned their posts. You could have finished this omelet. Oh, Oz is not happy. No, he gonna die. Uh, I hope not. Name your next Digimon Flare. That always goes really well. <laughs> mm. Oh, poor He's Flare. He's not happy because he got a poop. He's not happy because I've been training a bunch, but there's really nothing else to do with him until he's ready to Digivolve. And a lot of the city um, benefits, like Centaurumon that would make it so that I could just instantly heal him of his tiredness do not exist yet. Okay. Good guys have loyal followers. Santa's... Santa? Jesus Christ. Santa? <laughs> Santa's just a no-good capitalist piggy slave driver. Providing all the milk and cookies anyone could want is hardly the action of a slave driver! Mm, I'm not... <laughs> Whatever he is, he's my meal ticket to getting my powers back. We better search the place. Maybe we'll find some leftover toys. I doubt it. This place looks cleaned out. What's that, Cluck Cluck? You smell trouble. It is a little known fact that chickens have an amazing sense of smell, one that rivals the fiercest bloodhound. I don't okay. think that's true. Besides, the regular assortment of random encounter monsters, Cluck Cluck says she detects the presence of 12 bad little boys. The Yule Lads. They've been eyeing Granddaddy's Christmas Kingdom for years. They'll be eyeing a new kingdom soon. A black eye. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I got no. Numamon. Poopy. Well, that didn't go well. Time to go clean up the drill mines. <laughs> oh yeah, for Will, uh, this game has this game has a random encounter meter at the bottom, and you can quick time event to just not have fights. Oh. What went wrong? I think he was too mad. Mm. So angry that he turned into poop. Yeah. It's one of those days, man. Mm -hmm. Having a shitty day. Yeah. <laughs> got, got him. Got him. Well, whoa, uh, 
Check out that stat jump. What Whoa. the fuck? I mean, I, I'm not gonna complain about it. Power. Only we could get to Toy Town. Yeah, not happening. I feel like I feel like this game is really more. Uh, it's really just a curb stomp with jokes. <laughs> That's Which, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I love that. No complaints here. I stretch. The numbers Please. get crazy. Would you say they get insane? Whoa. What are these? Disarming smile. No one knows why it's so happy. Tentacles. Tentacles. Okay. There's like tentacles, actually tentacles, barely even human. There's like actually budget behind this. Yeah, I think this must be a game. All right, let's see. Let's see your abilities, Baba. Uh, biting winds. Hell yeah, damage all enemies. Self heal. Chicken up. One rotten egg. Chicken. I love that chicken is a type of attack. <laughs> mortar combat. Yeah, Baba Yaga's mortar for pestle. Oh, I was thinking mortar like a mortar. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was where my brain went too. Oh, and there's like a countdown for how many battles are here? Yeah, if you clear the area out, you get extra bonus experience, though, like, I don't know what you'd need it for. I am playing on easy mode because I wanted this to be a one sitting game, but. Where is the other Dramojamon? I'm going to talk to him because yes. as long as I've got a new Mamon and I'm I can't do anything, really, I might as well just walk around and talk to people. Fear beat. Sorty when dual wielding isn't enough. Okay. Tentacles. Tentacles, it works. Oh, there's new Unite. Temp damage and chicken up. 10% charge. I'll do call Kraken. It keeps working. It doesn't not work. Yeah. Okay, no, I guess not. Heard something about getting Numamon and knew we were playing Digimon World. Yup. What the fuck are these? Oh my ball god. Ball ball. Not to be confused with ball ball ball. <laughs> oh, we can't both <coughs> to Monzaemon? Okay, let's see. It's the newest Xbox. Ooh, okay. Fifty percent sun. Fifty percent sun. Chicken. Chicken. I do love chicken being a magic type. Yeah. Oh boy, I don't know how I'm gonna hit these Digivolution conditions, gamers. Three thousand HP. Yeah, different. When, Digimon. when my stats went down when I became Numamon. Oh boy. How far into this run are you? This is only my second Digimon. It's, it's not going good. Yeah, it's not going great. My first Digimon was Tyranimon. That was pretty good. That was pretty That was cool. a good time. Chat, don't you life. pity Vixen's rough time? Why don't you uh, alleviate the pity with money? This is a Vixen donathon. Use the description in the link and the Ooh. description <laughs> in the link at the top of the chat. I'm very good at advertising. Well, oh, oops. I can't uh, uh, Jello in the void here. <laughs> uh, make sure to send Vixen the, your credit card <laughs> number. <laughs> Sellard, thank you for so much for subscribing. How much, how much are you at? How much do you need? Uh, we are at $810 and we're trying to get a thousand. So we're really close. And anything that we get beyond, cause I'm going to stream for 12 hours, no matter what, anything that we get beyond is going to go towards more stream improvements, like new alert animations and emotes. And all the other things that I've been paying for out of pocket this entire time. <laughs> Hooray! What's this? Hot brew. Oh. 
Yo, what the hell? How does this drink got coconut oil in it? That feels weird. Bay Raven, thank you so much for subscribing. Much appreciated. I guess I'm just training this new mom on now. You gotta learn to love your poop. Mm -hmm. Well, at the very least, I was able to clean up a little bit. That's good. Mm. Don't do it, Al. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> Whoa! Bro, I love a game where you can one round every rando enemy. That kind of sounded like sarcasm, but it wasn't. No, it's honestly, depending on like the encounter rate of a game, it's almost mandatory. Gotta take Numamon out back. <laughs> my my favorite RPGs are just puzzles on, and the puzzle is how do you beat the combat as fast as possible. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sit down. It's the Buddy. it's the thing that redeems trails. I love this fucking rock and roll that just comes blasting in. It's very funny. Al, are you making biscuits on my leg? I won't lie, I'd starve him to get more food for the next baby. Oh my god. But if I oh. let him die without, like, training him or anything, won't the next baby be worse? Like, are the I babies... I can't believe you're assigning him all of this car, like, this reincarnational karma. Aren't the, aren't the baby stats... Be aren't the baby stats at all affected by the previous one? God, if they aren't, that'd be kind of insane. Oh, there's a, treasure, there's a treasure chest I missed. Get the treasure! Treasure? Treasure. Give him a claw hand. Yeah, it's got an interesting combat system where uh, you've got all these powerful abilities that respawn between fights, and, like, you have to... So you, you gotta, like, use what you got in individual combat. Okay. Hello. Benedict, thank you so much for the dono. Much appreciated. Cool. We are so close. That's a cyber elf. Feels like it should be in a different game. Hmm. I have the rain plant now. Alucard, you are rumbling, dude. Better take him to Toy Town. I can't get to Toy Town yet. I just started. I mean, you didn't oh, just no. start. It's only been five hours. This game seems awful, Vixen. No. It seems really bad. It's just difficult. It seems difficulty in a bad way, though. Not really a Rain skill. Plant Quest is on day 15 of every month. Oh. I missed it. No. Stop being right here. This looks like a boss fight. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He wants to be the Yule Lad. Oh, my God. There's so many. Will, do you want to be the Yule Lad Scam? Anyone want to lad it up? Oh, God. Santa has abandoned you all. If you want any toys, you're going to have to bow to us, y'all. Oh, y'all? Are they Southern? You don't get any points for rhyming all with y'all. <laughs> I guess they're not Southern. You rat. Santa hasn't abandoned us. He's been kidnapped. No, I'm Dragon. Rat is over there. Oh, there's... I get it. Huh? Hi there! With Santa out of the picture, we decided that it was time to go global. And what's more global than China? <laughs> Our Icelandic names were so hard to pronounce for the rest of the world, but everybody knows the animals of the Chinese zodiac. Wait, so that means that one of you is named Chicken? Rooster, actually. Chicken would be better. <laughs> Call yourselves whatever you want. Release the jolly old man to us, or perish. There's 12 of us and only three of you. You're the ones who are going to perish. 
How interesting. But it will be your blood, not mine. Amazing. Actually, the game engine oh, only boy. allows for five enemies at a time. Seven of you are going to have to sit this one out. No fair! And if the Yule Cat gets a spot on the ro- Oh, and the Yule Cat gets a spot on the roster, so technically only four of the Yule Lads get to fight. Uh, four of you and a cat versus one of me? I like those odds. Mora Meep, thank you for the super chat. I don't know anything about fear and hunger. Uh, doesn't you sound don't. like a shallow game. <laughs> nope. Sounds like a game I wouldn't enjoy. Um, you would loathe it. Then I won't play it. Uh, fear and hunger in so Las Vegas. Fear and hunger. <laughs> um, thanks, thanks for the super chat. Instead of giving me money, you should give it to Vixen. Vixen VTuber, who's in the links in the description in the top of the chat. We're co-streaming for a donothon. Thank get you. her to a thousand dollars so we can give it to Oz, who's also here in reading, and get Hello. new artwork. Don't forget about us. How do I get into the canyon? How much HP do they have? Oh, they all have their own name. Yeah. Meat steals meat, but is actually a strict vegetarian. Liquor lad oh. licks everything. Yes, even that. Don't like that. Hmm. Cat. Oh, we gotta talk to Yuramon. Okay. Door slammer, basically every kid ever. Sniffer <laughs> abhors body odor. Okay. I'm not a huge fan myself. I'm trying to skip steps. I'm trying to just go straight across the invisible bridge. Invisible bridge. Hmm. I don't like their odds in this fight. I'm gonna be honest. Hold on, let them cook. Uh-oh. Okay, things are looking a little dicier for this guy now. Oh, this guy's actually kind of strong. Ah. <clears throat> We beat them, boss. Can't we have a rematch with the other seven Yule lads? No, nah, that'd be needlessly repetitive. Chestnuts! <laughs> now, that, now that we've defeated you thanks to a game engine limitation, you must tell us where Santa is. He's not here, I can tell you that much. How ridiculous would it be for us to hide Santa in his own workshop? No, you're going to have to face the other six. I mean, Five members of the Christmas League of Evil first. Give us the leftover workshop toys. We smash them all to bits. Get out! Faced with the red hot fury of Baba Yaga, the Yule lads flee the premises. Cthulhu, Crystal, and Baba all head back to town, discouraged what not to beat it, and a new day dawns. It is now Christmas Eve the 8th. Good morning, boss! Cthulhu opens his eyes. I missed it. This time he is not being smothered with a pillow. Can I ask you something, boss? This early in the morning? No. But it's about you! I'm listening. <laughs> How'd you get your own game? Two, actually. There's also Cthulhu Saves the World. Huh, I've been trying to pitch developers on Baba Yaga's Poultry Tycoon, but nobody's greenlighting it. No wonder. It's a terrible name for a video game. Just look at Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Cthulhu is me, so it's awesome. Everybody likes saving things. And Christmas? a ka -ching. So it's all just one big money grab where you pick popular words and string them together? Yeah, not quite. You still need a great elevator pitch. Nobody wants to tycoon chickens. But a dating sim where everyone's a rooster or a chicken? That would sell. And you could use the same portraits for all the chickens and save money on asset production. Nobody would even notice. The right people would notice. Catchy name, a non-existent budget, a budget, and a bizarre concept are your tickets to video game superstardom. But I want my video game to be good. Sorry, I wasn't listening. My agent just landed me a starring role in a new pachinko game. <laughs> Where are we going now, boss? Good talk. I think Alyssa Cat is safe from Cosmic Star Heroine is in town. Maybe she could offer some pointers. Count Akira, thank you for subscribing. Much uh, appreciated. Hooray! I'm just, I'm going about the motions over on this end. I gotta, I gotta do something with this new Mamon. 
That's it for today. The voice from beyond demands you go to sleep. It is now Christmas Eve the 9th. Oh, we can get an eggy dress. Hell yeah. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Baba Yaga, I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Hey boss, I want to show you something. Baba leads Cthulhu to a small hut on the outskirts of town. Ta-da! It's my house. Isn't it cool? It's just a hut. Now it's just a hut. But I've been working hard on it. It won't stay that way forever. What do you have in mind? I'm going to turn it into the world's very first living chicken hut. So it's a hut that also clucks at you. That's weird. No, it's not for chickens. The hut itself will be part chicken. But why? Who would possibly want that? Who wouldn't? All the loyalty of a chicken and the long legs of a chicken, all in the comfort of your own home? Just imagine it, boss. You wake up in the morning and your house has already laid an egg and made you breakfast. Or, what if you want to travel? Just say the word and your house will stand up and walk you there. I'm going to make a fortune selling these things. There's only one problem. I can think of a lot of problems, but which one do you have in mind? <laughs> regular hut now. All my attempts to turn into a chicken have, have failed. That's where you come in. With your powers, we could crack this egg. What do you say? Infusing a chicken brain into a hut is such a bad idea that I can't help but want to participate. I'm in. Yay! Did you hear that, Cluck Cluck? We're gonna make a chicken hut friend for you. <laughs> After the discussion, Baba decides to clean up around the hut and discovers a useful piece of equipment hidden in the mess. Cthulhu got an eggy dress. The armor for Baba gives her bonus chicken power at the start of combat. Just as a quick aside, we're almost 90% done with yes. the, <laughs> Zelgus the gold. and Ippy Blockhead, thank you guys both so much for the donos. Really appreciate Ooh. it. Ippy Blockhead donated a odd number so that we would be at exactly 88%. <laughs> Very cool. Cthulhu decides to go back to the soup kitchen. There you are. I had my doubts at first, but I knew you'd come through in the end. Blackmail does have that effect. It's not blackmail if it's for a good cause. Now, let's get to serving some stew. Here's our first visitor. One scoop of soup for you, two scoop, one scoop for me. One for you, two for me. This is fun. That's not the way this works. No scoops for you until we're done. Can't charitably give on an empty stomach. There's not going to be any left for anyone else if you don't stop. It's their fault for not coming sooner. Besides, we can just magic up some more stew. Put on the cloth! Mm -hmm. Stay more stew. You can't possibly expect to serve this block to needy individuals. Is that even meat? It's practically meat. Besides, you said it yourself. These people are needy. They can't afford to be picky. That's not the point. This place gives out only the best. I'm afraid if we serve these people your stew, they'd pass out. It's proven to be non-lethal in five out of nine clinical trials. If it's so safe, you eat it. No, I, no, I couldn't possibly. I'm trying to watch my figure. Just go home. <laughs> I was a fool to think that you'd learn anything from this experience. I hope this has been a valuable lesson for you. Never teach me anything. I think I'll just have a little soup to go before I leave. Cthulhu got more <laughs> soup. Fucker. It's now Christmas Eve the 11th. <laughs> yes, Cthulhu. APK Phantom, thank you for subscribing. And Furry Petty Officer, thank you for the dono. Much appreciated. Woo! We're really close. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Baba Yaga. Baba hands Cthulhu a flask full of boiling red liquid. Shake this vigorously, but don't spill any on your skin. Now the only thing I want to do is spill it on my skin. It's very explosive right now, so better not. Let me know when it changes color. It turned green. That shouldn't be happening. Try spitting it on it. Now it's yellow. Ooh, that should work. Quick, give me the flask. Cthulhu hands Baba Yaga the flask, which she then pours onto the side of her hut. That should do it. My hut should now have the brain of a chicken. It's not doing anything. Of course it's not doing anything, it's a hut. They don't do anything. But when we add chicken legs. How are you gonna do that? Chop off some chicken legs and stick them in a growing potion? That's awful. Of course I'm not going to murder a chicken just to get some legs. I'm developing a potion that's a transformed tree roots into chicken legs, but I haven't gotten it working yet. 
I'm hoping that since the hut now has a chicken brain, the mental energy will help to shape the legs into chicken legs. Mind over matter! Thanks for your help today, boss. Now what if I try this? Did your hut just lay an egg? Katelu got a brown egg. This is accessory from Baba. It generates chicken power each turn. It is now Christmas Eve the 12th. Do you want me to take over the narrator so you're dying less? Yes, please. I'm looking I'm looking at a monochrome on shop guide real quick oh. before we do this because this mini game gets bad. Um, also, Janus Cobb, thank you for the dono and Swifty D's. Thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated, you guys. Cthulhu decides to go to the mall. The mall proves to be quite busy, but Cthulhu fails to find any items that interest him enough to merit a purchase. Cthulhu sees an office door with a help wanted sign on it and decides to go in. I'll be straight with you. We're short on help, so I can't afford to be picky. And I feel like I should be picky with you. I completely understand. <laughs> <laughs> we need you to handle mall Santa duties today. Ask the kids what they want for Christmas. Say ho, ho, ho a lot. You know the drill. Just tell them you got a cold if they ask about your appearance. <laughs> Cthulhu gets dressed in the mall Santa clothes. Surprisingly, they fit perfectly. A boy comes up and stands in front of Cthulhu. Ho, ho, ho. Boy, what would you like for Christmas? Don't worry about my looks. I have the flu. Now, wouldn't you like to sit on Santa's lap? Beat it, kid. The boy leaves. A girl approaches. Merry flung to you, little girl. And what would you like Santa to bring you for Christmas this year? The light from the, gr the, light from the girl's <laughs> eyes dims, and she begins to drool. Cthulhu still got it. <laughs> Many children later, the day comes to a close. Gotta level with you, man. You are the worst mall Santa I have ever set eyes on. Thank you. Hysterical calls from parents are up 15% from last year. And last year wasn't great. Yeah, but who am I kidding? It's not like anyone else wanted the job. Here's your paycheck. Cthulhu got a fencing sword. <laughs> Doubt it'll get any better employees anytime soon, so... Come back anytime you want to make a few bucks. <laughs> I ran into an old friend of Granddad, and he thinks he has God. a lead on another member of the League of Christmas Evil. <laughs> this is Bellsnickle. Our lawyers have demanded that we edit the following conversation. Hey, weren't you on Popular TV Show? I love Popular TV Show, especially when the Popular TV character does funny things. I don't know who the fuck this is. Will, do you want to be this? Sure. Well, that, <clears throat> that wasn't actually me. That was a popular actor doing a popular TV character pretending to be me. Hey, did you know that I was on different popular TV show? It was just TV playing your other game in a background shot. Super easy to miss. What about me? Popular children's movie totally ripped me off. Our lawyers have okayed the rest of the conversation for public consumption. Spill the beans, Christmas hobo man. Where's the league hold up? I was in the land of sweets, having a nice chat with my friend, the Nutcracker, when an army of mice stormed the palace. The Nutcracker fought bravely, but the numbers were too great. He shall never crack nuts again. That's horrible. Clearly the Mouse King is behind this. We must stop him. If we must, we must. Although isn't the rat-filled dungeon typically the sewer dungeon? Sadly, we were unable to find an organic way of including a sewer dungeon in our Christmas-themed game. Please understand. Land of sweets. I can't wait. We could turn our adventure into a game. Fight a rat, eat a candy cane. Win a battle, drink some hot cocoa. Level up, devour a candy bar. That's the spirit. <laughs> no point in adventuring on an empty stomach. Ha ha ha! Bellsnickel has joined your party, I guess. I don't know this guy. Me neither. The, the land of sweets really is the best place for a wandering traveler like myself. Stone soup is so much better when the stones are gumdrops. The percent of chocolate concentration in the hills here actually goes up and down with the passing of the seasons. You haven't lived until you've eaten winter dirt. That's far too dark for me. I much prefer spring dirt. It's light milky chocolate with just a hint of hazelnut. Let's have a picnic. Not a chance. Candy gives me gas. My dietician has me on a strict diet of tormented souls. Oh, these are tasty. Here, have a bite, Cluck Cluck. Ah! So, where is this so-called 
Rat King. Mouse King. That's what I said. <laughs> Look, Look says she smells mice down the path that way. Let's go kill let's go kill some giant mice like true RPG heroes. What a strange amount of unique assets for this game. Yeah. It's an office reference, okay. Interesting, considering this writer is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Alright, we got we got Bell Snickle now. What is Bell Snickle's deal? Gobble on. Don't forget your cool chicken items. You're right, actually. I should also save. Baba is you, chicken is win. <laughs> <laughs> Gain 25 chicken go. power each turn. That sounds really good, except I don't use her attacks, so there's no reason to do that. But you could have 200% chicken. Bell Snickle is your tank. Okay. This is uh, this is gonna be rough, gamers. Oh no! <laughs> this mini game is so hard. <laughs> Grimer, Sir Ooze. Foul fairy lies all the time, even in this description. Huh. I'm doing a lot better in the second half. If I could just have a go at this where Is that a bravely default reference, real quick? Start? What? Sorry. About a lying fairy. <laughs> I don't think I so. Feel like Fairies just lie. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna need to try this one again. You can do better. Thanks. <laughs> no, it's, it's very motivational. It's like, I know you can do better than this. You're great. You can do better than this, idiot. What the fuck? No. Hold on. We, we didn't say that. Sentient vomit. Ugh. Uh. Don't do that. You know, don't do that. No safe states. We're we're playing this old school this is gamers. This core. Okay, let's go again. Hey, sentient vomit in both games. Kappa cool. <laughs> Kappa cool. Okay. Looked it up, Bell Snickle is like German Santa with a hint of Krampus, apparently. Okay. Why Germany got like eight different Santas? Save some for the rest of us. Well, it's not sure if you. I used to be Germa. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be Germa. All RNG. You just gotta get lucky. This game seems bad, Vixen. Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. You are my friend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> ah. You are my friend. <laughs> Oh, Bellsnickel has a whip? Bellsnickel, you nasty? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Basic whip. Extra whip comes with all the accessories. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh, he's part Krampus. He whips bad kids. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'm as, better now. As one I have, does. Sorry. I have played Digimon World Next Order, but only a little bit. I didn't really like it. How's this minigame work? I'm haggling with these Digimon to try and sell them items at slightly above normal price. Um, but if they are pissed about it, they will not buy it. And then if they walk out, you lose all your profit. Oh! Oh, dear many, dear few. I didn't hear what you said. I heard you said something, but it didn't register to me. That's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> Thank you. My dumbass read that. I was like, what does bury mean? It's bury. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you, Will. I'm trying. I'm just looking to see if there's more enemy wipe abilities. I mean, I picked the I picked the piss baby ability. I like, I, and I don't regret it. Just. If anyone calls you out while playing this game, like, Jesus Christ. People will call you out for anything if you're streaming. But, I mean, at least it weeds them out. Easy bans. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I need some Goblimon to come in here and ask for medicine, dude. Please, Goblimon. Oh, you go next now. Why? Uh, no, don't, don't do that. Cause I felt like it. Oh, Weedmon actually bought expensive medicine. Okay. You are price gouging medicine. Shakes my head. Big pharma. I just got two good Weedmon customers. That's really weird. Weedmon? Weedmon. Weedmon. Oh my You may Weedmon. Oh, two of you, mm. huh? Oh. There's two of them. Oh. I think I did it. Man, those two Weedmon really, uh, really clinched it for me. I was not expecting that. Way to go, Weedmon. Way to go, Weedmon. So why are we doing this minigame? So that we can get Monochromon to come to the uh, city. And he will take Selamon's item shop and make it way better. Ratty code. Rats hate this code. <laughs> Your wisdom, character, and guts are what we need to save this island. Thank you, Monochromon. Also, Val, thank you so much for the dono. Yes, we're at exactly 90% of the way there. What are you raising money for? I'm raising money for a new model. It's going to be a summer swimsuit model. As soon as I get the thousand that I'm raising, I'm going to give it to Oz so that Oz can draw it for me. Summer Christmas, though, to be clear. 
Yes. Summer Christmas. Christmas summer. Bathing suit, Christmas bathing suit. And I'm going to keep the donathon going. Um, so we're about to hit six hours. And if we hit the goal at six hours, I'm still going to do the other six hours. Um, and any excess donos that we raise will go towards other stream improvements like new backgrounds, new emotes, new animations that I have been paying for with my own money all this time. Paying for uh, with my life. With my life. But anything that you guys donate will be reinvested back into the stream. That's how I always have done it. Did we pass the test? Yes, Monochromon is gonna come to the city. A lot of, a lot of gentlemen. Jen is called, thank you so much for the dono, much appreciated. Can we give a hearty ikuze since we're getting close to dono goes? Ikuze! Let's go! Ine means die. <laughs> <laughs> Shine on, you crazy diamond. <laughs> Will we come back to this? <laughs> <laughs> Will we come back to this game again, or is this a one and done? Uh, if my save states are actually working, maybe we'll come back. If I boot this up again and my save is gone, you better believe we're never playing it again. <laughs> Rad. Dr. Guns for Hands, thank you for the dono. Much appreciated. All right, well, we got Monochrome on. Yep. What else can we do while we have a new Mamon? Almost everybody got a new ability there. I mean, I guess I can try and train him a little bit so that his stats are better when he dies, but... Is it worth it? We could try Overdell, yes. We are technically virus type, but we're just so terrible. Uh. Relic, thank you so much for the dono. <laughs> thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I liked your message. Very funny. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah, Bakemon. Do I need to fight him, though? Or is it just like I gotta go talk to him? There he is. What's up, gamers? Looks like he's asking something. Oh, right. This. Hmm. Not what I expected from the Mouse King. Exterminate. Exterminate. We're gonna exterminate you, so watch out! What in the holly and the ivy is that thing? <laughs> can you, Will, can you do this as Bimpkin Scaramouche? <laughs> Our greatest creation, the Mouse Measure. For too long, we have suffered under the foot of RPG heroes and that infernal nutcracker. Oh, it's like you're caressing me as I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> We're, more than... <laughs> We're more than just sources of easy XP. We have families and lives. And that nutcracker was the worst. Murder of mass nuts and nothing we can do but die but by working together i think i'm italian now is there anything we're missing <laughs> we Do just boy? hit the goal hey i think you're missing was money ben and that's benjamin the oscar Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hooray! Thank you, everybody who has stopped by and who has donated. Um, 
obviously this is still a dono stream so uh, any donos from this point on are not needed for this particular goal but i i will be reinvesting them back into the stream so if you want to give you can otherwise six more hours of digimon gamers <laughs> oh yeah where you go everybody we can pilot this massive mech and destroy you all Mouse Smasher makes it sound like it's designed to mash mice. <laughs> Patience, Cluck Cluck. You can have all the mash mice you want when we're done here. No, we should do the mashing, not the other way around. You're gonna want to change the name on that thing. Or you would if I wasn't about to destroy it. You may be one of the deep ones, but we have the power of friendship on our side. That always works in these games. There are too many of us in this mech. We are not actually friends. I'm just here because you threatened us. My tail is stuck. Don't listen to them. They're just lightheaded from the lack of oxygen <laughs> in there. Enough talk. Let's do this. Theme of Mouse King. Oh. There's Solmon in here. Can I, uh... Oh. Can, can I get this? Thank you. Sirloin! Hell yeah. The Solmon here don't aggro, so they're just... They're just chilling? That's fine. Is there anyone else I can recruit in this mansion? Damn it. I assume... Myotismon, right? Damn, you can get Myotismon in this game? I don't know if you can get him. I know he's here. Not at this stage. Man, th this bitch hates Noel. <laughs> Die! Much later, Myotismon and Sk Skullgreymon. Okay. There's a lot of locked doors in here. Oh boy, we're at chicken 100. Oh! Release the chicken. Okay, there's nothing else to do here. We got Bakemon, though. I'm back. Welcome back. Damn, these... Raspberry lemon sparkly water is actually good. Cool. I got one for you. Yeah, I don't want it right now. Oops. Yeah, we could do Centaurmon, maybe? I don't have to fight him, do I? Oh god. We gotta get out of here. We gotta go! Whoa. Whoa. Power failing. Mouse friendship insufficient for continued operation. Total failure in three, two, one. <laughs> I'm going to ask you one more time before I feed you to this girl's pet. Where is Santa Claus? The other five, I mean, four leg of Christmas evil members never told me. Even they think we're just vermin. Not good enough. Dinner time, Cluck Cluck! <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm trapped. I think I'm trapped. Oh. The crazed eyes of Baba Yaga's chicken are the last thing the Mouse King sees before his mind mercifully shuts down. The oh. crazed, the eyes of a chicken? Who can say? There are only demons and fiends here. <laughs> it is now Christmas Eve the 15th. I'm going to miss Mr. Nutcracker. I journeyed to the lands of sweets often to replenish my candy supply. You don't look like you'd have a sweet tooth. 
No, it's to give to the good children of the world. Good children well. get candy. Bad children get hit with my switch. So you go around beating random people's children? I underestimated you. Just the naughty ones that deserve it. They all deserve it. I knew I recognized you. You came to my hut last year and started attacking me. Deserved it. So you who deserves it. Cluck Cluck, attack! Cluck Cluck shows no inclination of attacking. <laughs> Even the chicken knows I'm right. Maybe I've been misreading the whole Christmas holiday. I'm all for old guys beating up kids. And Santa's okay with this? Santa and I are actually close friends. It's true. Uncle Belsnickel is a permanent invitation to our Christmas dinner at Granddad's house. And Santa's okay with child abuse? As long as he doesn't have to do it himself, he has a reputation to preserve. It's a grave responsibility, but one I am happy to bear. Come clean. No, come clean. You're saying you don't derive any pleasure from hitting kids with sticks. Belsnickel looks at Baba Yaga. Maybe a little. <laughs> it is now Christmas Eve the 16th. Cthulhu oh. descends to spend some time with Baba Yaga. You arrived just in time. I did it! My hut has chicken legs. Look at how pretty it is. Baba Yaga's hut indeed has chicken legs sticking out at the bottom. It is currently standing. It looks like a chicken. I know! It's gorgeous. That's not what I said. I haven't trained it yet. At the very least, I needed to sit and stand on command. Sit! The chicken-legged hut does nothing. Come on, sit! Still nothing. The hut's appearance doesn't change, but it feels like the hut is acting as if it's superior. Step aside. I'll make that chicken-brained hut listen. Hey! Hut! Sit down now, or else... The hut shuffles its feet, uh, shuffles back and forth on its feet a bit before standing in the same position as before. I've done all I can. It's up to you. Maybe Cluck Cluck can try talking to it. Cluck Cluck? The hut sits down. It worked! Cluck Cluck again! The hut stands up. Yes, Cluck Cluck, tell the, the, tell the hut to walk over there. The hut walks over to the designated spot. Thank you, Cluck Cluck. The hut takes a little bow. Standing, sitting, walking, it does it all! My chicken hut is fully operational! You can't sell it, though, since other people don't have a convenient chicken to act as a control mechanism. That makes it one of a kind. It's definitely unique, I'll give you that. I think I'll take it out for a spin and see how it handles. Baba Yaga's hut lays another egg. Cthulhu got a golden egg. This item boosts chicken power. It is now Christmas Eve the 17th. I don't really want to talk to Bell Snickle. He's weird. <laughs> I didn't see Vegemon there. Oh, spend time with the cultists. That feels like something I would do. Let's spend some time with the cultists. Cthulhu decides to go to the assembly hall where a meeting is already in progress. I have this be Will. Welcome, everyone, to this session of Cultists Anonymous. I'm your group leader, Ro- Oh, Rose Thalen. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hi, Rose. Remember, this is a place free from blame and censure. If you feel comfortable sharing, that's great. If you don't, that's okay, too. The important thing is that you move at your pace. First order of business, do we have any new members? All eyes turn towards Cthulhu. Yes, it is I, the great Cthulhu. Bow down and worship me. Hi, Hi Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Glad to have you here, Cthulhu. Now, I think I see another new face over there. Hi, Rose. My name is Bob, and I've been cult free for almost a year now. Hi, Hi Bob. Bob. That's wonderful to hear, Bob. I know everyone says that the first year is the hardest, but that's misleading. Every year is the hardest. I'm glad that you've chosen to come to our little organization. Everyone's family here. Wait, wait, wait a second. Did no one hear me? I'm Cthulhu. Hi, Hi Cthulhu. Cthulhu. That's it? Normally, when I announce myself, people cower in fear, lose their minds, and become my abject slaves. 
That's not really our purpose here, Cthulhu. This is a safe place for ex-cultists to gather together and, through our unique 12-step program, return to normality. I don't understand. You don't have to. You're welcome to keep coming. The mere fact that you came today shows that you're ready to begin your own journey of healing. Cthulhu leaves the assembly hall, thoroughly confused. <laughs> Cthulhu stops by the mall and buys something. It fails to fill the void within. No! Cthulhu, Cthulhu got a feather pestle. I, I don't understand. Cthulhu decides to spend some time with Bellsnickel. Cthulhu, it's good to see you. I was hoping you'd come and visit me sometime. Really? You want to spend time with me? Is that so hard to believe? In fact, I have a little gift for you. Candy! Bellsnickel throws a handful of candy up into the air. Weird, man. Very weird. You should hand things to people like a regular person. Pick up the candy, if you dare. So that's how you play in this. Fine. Here! Cthulhu lunges for a candy bar, but before he reaches it, his hand is struck by a whip. Ah! Ouch, 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 ouch! Cthulhu, you've been very naughty. I'm not the one who just whips someone for trying to get a piece of free candy. Besides, haven't you heard? I'm the good guy in this game. Be that as it may, rules are rules. Eat your candy, Cthulhu. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Mid-sentence, Cthulhu tries to grab a piece of candy. This time, the whip knocks the candy out of the way. Then a follow-up snap of the whip strikes Cthulhu across the face. Ah, what is wrong with you? You don't want to know! <laughs> <laughs> I give up. Take your stupid candy. I'll buy my own at the store. Don't be like that. It's all in good fun. Here, take this one. <laughs> Thanks. Ow, again? Less time, I promise. This guy's a freak. <laughs> On the way home, Cthulhu buys a whip to give Bellsnickel as a peace offering. A peace offering? It's ridiculous. I just want the higher stats for better gear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's spend time with Crystal again. Like, am I crazy? Is it not park. supposed to be here? Cthulhu and Crystal return. Can you, can you take over the narrator again, Oz? Yeah. Cthulhu and Crystal return to the park with a giant Christmas tree. Something feels off. Look over there! The star at the top of the Christmas tree has fallen off! It's just lying there! It's Surely there must be something we can do, but the tree is so tall! Uh, this is nothing. Watch this. Cthulhu picks up the large ornamental star, flies to the top of the Christmas tree, and places it carefully back on the top. You can fly?! These wings aren't just for show. Then why have you been walking everywhere? Flying would destroy the delicate crafted level designs of the dungeons. You're the narrator. Uh, maybe in the 3D remake. I've always wanted to fly. Come on, pick me up. I don't want to. Please, pretty please. Not happening. Do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm leaving. I'll be your friend. Cthulhu tries to run away, but all escape routes are blocked. Maybe if I fly away. Jumping attack! Going on my balance, get off! <laughs> Cthulhu flies directly into the Christmas tree, knocking off several ornaments, including the star at the top. One of the ornaments that fell from the tree is actually a useful item. Cthulhu got a hyperizer. This item will ensure hyper mode in the next turn for one ally. Ow, 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 ow! Serves you right for trying to jump on me. All our hard work ruined. Oh. <sighs> Say, do you think you could fly up there and fix the star again? Not a chance. I'm sorry, the week is almost over and I don't have any leads on our next target. I'm at a loss. Nothing to report, boss. Foolish followers. You just need to have faith in the narrator's ability to come up with a contrived reason to keep this video game going. Just then, a flying Oof. reindeer comes crashing into the ground in front of you. <laughs> right on cue. Robbie the reindeer? What happened to you? What's your what's your read on Robbie, Vixen? Oh my oh, God. He's gotta be from New York. Uh... No, I meant like what do you you you're you're one of Santa's reindeer. Like you know the guy. What's I don't know a Robbie. <laughs> uh, all reindeer don't know each other. Racist. First of all, racist. Second of all, not one of Santa's reindeer, as far as I know. Third of all, he's New Yorker. 
He's from New York with a name like Robbie. The reindeer is bleeding heavily from several open wounds. Oh, it's terrible. That's not fucking what does New York sound like? Help me out. Here. You got it. You're yeah, doing right. it. It's terrible. Just terrible snow maiden. All of the reindeer have been locked up and are being treated horribly. We tried to fight back and escape, but I'm the only one who got out. Then I'm afraid they're treating there the others go. even worse now. Who is responsible for this? It's Mary Lude? Mary Lude? I love her. I don't know any of these characters. She's always been jealous of us reindeer for being Santa's preferred mode of transportation. And with him out of the picture. Mary Lude? It's an undead skeleton horse trying to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Tentacled one. I beseech you, fly to my kinsmen post haste. I'm from New York and rescue them from the merry loot. <laughs> uh, I don't know about any rescuing, but it would be my pleasure to grind that skeleton into dust. But first, we need to treat your wounds. Forget about me. The longer you wait, the more torment the other reindeer will receive. Well, you see, the narrator only lets us do one major thing a day before telling us to go to sleep. It's a bother. <laughs> and since we've already talked to you today, we're quite stuck. So, let me just treat your wounds and we'll go fight Mary Lou the first thing tomorrow. Well, if you put it that way, then I must accept your kind offer. <laughs> no, there's no time for pointless acts of <laughs> kindness. We must go to sleep now. Oh, right, this is me. Actually, there's still a little time left, so if you wanted to... No! I will not save pointless NPCs just because I have nothing better to do. But no buts. Now hobble over to that free clinic and receive the care you urgently need sometime in the undisclosed future. There we go. And with that, the day finally draws to a close. It is now Christmas Eve the 20th. Robbie is oh, dead. My gingerbread Why? Just a few days ago, the reindeer lands were a beautiful paradise with flowers. Everything has been destroyed. It's like a bomb went off. Oh my here. god, the fucking Irish music. Nicely put, fuck, fuck. Yes, yes, it is a delightful wasteland, and we should thank the Merry Moon for her fine landscaping work. It does have a certain destructive flair to it if you squint at it really hard. Stop squinting! This place looks terrible! Remember, our goal is to defeat the Merry Lude and, res and rescue Santa. <laughs> Whatever happens to the reindeer is of no consequence. I'm rescuing the reindeer. Oh, of course you are. Just don't get in my way. They are friends. Not really. Oh. God damn. They they she sure fucked this place up. Standing now. Oh my god. Ah! I got Vegemon. Mwahaha <laughs> Maw. Try saying its name five times fast. Oh Jesus. Numamon, can you even take this guy on? No! I'm bad. Sorry. Uh, he might be able to, maybe. And tentacle. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm using my Numemon time to go and recruit a bunch of guys so that by the time I have a good Digimon, I can go do other things. <laughs> sure someone just got a weapon. It's dead. Oh, Get it's him. a skinned reindeer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. No, you I'm okay? Just... <laughs> Get him. No. Numemon, you're so bad. 
Do you guys remember the, the Mary Louise that uh, Mo made? No, I, again, have no knowledge of this creature. Uh, it's it's like a, a Welsh kind of thing. It's it's Welsh and also partially like Irish and I don't think Scottish, but like it's Celtic. Uh, it's a have... it's a skeletal horse that comes and asks for booze. Yeah, it, you you basically like make a horse head like you take a skeleton uh, horse head skeleton. You like drape like. Uh, flowers and tethers and stuff like that over it and like a, a sheet and you put it on a stick and you like dance around with it and it like challenges you to like poetry battles and rap battles and stuff and then if you lose then it gets to drink your beer and come into your house and take your food. We have a similar thing in Newfoundland with a, a hobby horse. Also goodbye Piv. Get him. Oh, goodbye Piv. I've had enough. Okay. Get him. We did it. It's not Irish? No, I'm pretty sure it's gotta be Irish to some degree, but like probably not nearly as ingrained in the culture as in Wales. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's mostly from Wales. Poison. Okay. Are you gonna attack me, man, or are you just gonna... Okay, great. He's just gonna go back. Have I tried the PSP game yet? No. I would like to play it on stream. Okay, we got Betamon. We could try oh, and man. do some Tarmon. That sure is a noise it's making. Yeah. That's like that's like the, the spooky ambience they'll play in like like a um like an eldritch horror. Like, that's the sound that is just everywhere. Meow. Meow, cat. Cat. Oh, Keen's here. Let me move you down so that you're not floating. Oh and man. I was trying to show off my cool magic trick. Here. There we go. Now we're not covering so much of the screen. can't wait for the inevitable friend stream where we're all just way too big on screen we can maybe see like the point of one of your antlers and that's it <laughs> that's why there's a limit to how many people can get in the discord call at once oh yeah that is very fair you know i had this i had this idea earlier and I just think it would be so cute if, if there was just like a bunch of us or whatever and we all had a little a little doodad to represent us. Like you could just have a little Christmas basket and we're all made very Aww. tiny so we could fit in the basket. So it's like, here's my basket of friends. I thought about that at work today. And I was like, oh, Aww. that'd be charming. Anyway, back oh, to God. pizza. Well, there, <laughs> Numamon got killed again. No! <laughs> oh, God. That's his second heart, so uh, no more fighting for Numamon. Damn. Rip. Skill issue. Yeah, I think I'll do Centaurumon after I have a better Digimon. This is not good, gamers. My autopilot's gone. He can have one more fight as a treat. Jello, what game are you playing? Uh, Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Hell Duh. yeah. Oh, of course. I'm so sorry. I should have known. Look, now we have this awesome meat farm. Vegemon has really stepped things up. The Vegemon is growing meat. There's a cat yelling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's yelling. She's mad that I've been streaming for six hours. Too no. bad, cat. We're streaming for six more hours. Die. <laughs> Yeah, the problem with having him lose three fights, I feel like 
the next egg will be damaged by such bad stats. So I wonder if I should just train Numamon until he dies. Come on, all Digimon get stronger the more Digimon you abort beforehand. <laughs> it's advantageous. Hey, kid. <laughs> It's advantageous, Wormmon, to abort Digimon. What the, who the fuck told you that? What the fuck are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You have the quest of kindness. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god, the fucking, like, next hard drive, like, comedy article is which Digimon are pro-life. choice. <laughs> which ones are okay with, you know, god. Which ones are the okay boarding. with God? Which ones are, you know, like like what Christianity do they fall? Are we talking Baptist, Pentecostal, Latter Day Saints? Like what are we? What are we? You know, you made half. They're all the up. same. <laughs> those <laughs> no, aren't <I> real. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wormon. They are real. You just need and to face the reality of things, Wormon. I wish I were crucified, Wormon. That one's canonical. That is, yeah. <laughs> that sure did happen. I hope TK beats the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, here, oh I'm, fuck! Did I say that out loud? I'm uh, I'm gonna head out. I'm actually starting to get a bit of a headache, so I'll oh, chat no. with you. That's fine. Right, it's bye. just a day. So bye. see you later. Oh jeez. Oh guys. You were doing all right at bringing people back to the city. I uh, can't do much more with Numemon, I don't think. So I'm just going to train him. In hopes that my next Digimon is better. That's a lot of experience points. Is there a reason Digimon got whole ass crucified? I mean, Ken gets crucified because it's his ideal world. <laughs> to be crucified? Yeah, he uh he has so much guilt Don't about knock it till you try it. Oh. He has so much guilt about abusing Digimon that when he gets the I get he gets put in like an illusion of like his ideal life, he's yeah. he's being crucified by all the Digimon he ever wronged. <laughs> oh my god. You know, for kids or whatever. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, I guess I'll work on his defense. Gabumon get, does get crucified as well. I don't remember why. Matt betrayed me for 20 pieces of silver. <laughs> he would. Wait, I'm sorry. There's a party chat function? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Which which reindeer is the most powerful one? That's a tough one. Comic can summon meteors, but he's kind of a one-trick pony. Dancer's got all the moves, but it's never been in the same since leg surgery. Dasher's fast, but doesn't have enough stamina to last the to last the deerathon. Fixin talks the talk, but it's a bit of a grinch. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Did you just make that up? No. <laughs> No. They're, they're playing the game on their side. He's strong, but dumb. Who the All fuck right. is Dunder? You know, Dunder. Maybe it's... King, do you want to be this this man? Or Yam or Aram or someone. Will was him, but then he left. Maybe Cupid? That's a good choice. Strong, plus she could always just charm the enemy into fighting on her side. Damn, just vi I thought it'd be fun reindeer trivia, and then it was just straight up vixen slander. Yeah. Damn. Fucking rude. Like Didn't I'm know right you were here. a bit of a grinch. It, I mean, it is true. When vixen comes over to my house, she does slither across the floor. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know they're a keeper. Good friend. The kind that'll slither on the floor, sir. Slither on the floor. Slither on the floor. It's All right, right, everyone, let's slither on the floor. Slither on the floor. All right, Ken, you've got the crest of Grinch. 
care about these dance moves, kid. <laughs> uh, Christa, is Vixen live? Yeah, Vixen's doing a dono thon. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to be going for six more hours. I'm probably going to go pretty soon. I'm fucking sleepy. Okay. How much more money do you need for your Shemingas? I got dollars. it, actually. Oh, uh, great. I, I was everything... wondering why I didn't see the progress bar. Mm -hmm. nice. Everything after this point is gravy, and we'll go towards uh, emotes and animations and backgrounds and other improvements for the stream. Hell yeah. Along with the merry loot. How do you like my handiwork, granddaughter of the Jolly One? You're not Welsh. What the fuck? I'm I'm not gonna pretend I know how to do a Welsh accent. It's so <laughs> difficult and specific. How could you? How could I? How could I? Year after year, the Jolly One ignored me in favor of flying deer. I can fly. I could pull a sleigh. I could appear in Christmas cards and have festive songs written about me. Actually, you do have some songs about you. And that have gone platinum! I hate to interrupt this wine fest, but I'm on a tight schedule here. It's time for you to disappear. I would have thought a fellow undead would understand. Oh, I'm not undead. Really? That's positive. Wait to give breath of the dead, Seth, then. Right, right, right. It's a common mistake. The undead heroes are in the other game. No joking. My other game and the undead game are usually bundled together, so it's an easy mistake to make. Oh, my apologies. Make nothing of it. <laughs> now it's time for you to die. We'll die again. I'll make sure it takes this time. Kill his ass, kill him dead. Or her, or whatever. Well, slightly better stats. I don't particularly want to give him sirloin, but I mean, it's what I got. Actually, I have a good amount of HP. I love her music, dude. This is crazy. You're very into the music in this game. No, I like it. I don't know what it is. Wait, isn't Numemon's special attack throwing shit? It sure is. It's called party time. Party time! Party time. Why is it called that? You know. It's always a party when you're throwing shit! It's party time. It's party time. Everybody's party flinging time. and it's party time. He's not going to turn into Monzaemon. So there's a there's an empty Monzaemon later on where if I get another Numemon, you can bring him to the Monzaemon and he auto digivolves. Um we do not have that space unlocked yet. So there's nothing I can do with a Numemon right now. This cannot be. How could I have been defeated so easily? It happens to the best of villains. It's nothing to be ashamed about. It will take years for this land to regain its former beauty, but you can begin to atone by telling us where Santa is. I know not. The other four, I mean, three members of the Christmas League of Evil keep his location a tight secret. 
grandfather. What is this bit they're doing where they're always off by one? I think the joke is that they're gonna be like, we defeated all seven. It's like, oh, but it was there was secretly an uh, eighth one, but like. Grandfather, I will rescue you no matter what the cost. Where can we find the next League member? Answer me. Oh, don't worry about that. It'll find you. <laughs> she gone. Ponymon's not here anymore, so I can't sleep anymore. That's not good. Oh, good. You're sleepy. Okay, go to sleep. Oh, you just used the chair. Oh. Interesting. I'm getting pretty hungry, and I got my class before too long, so I think I'm going to dip. Okay. Good luck. See you with, later. Good luck with Digimon. I might have. You. Oh, you're entirely getting eaten, Aram. After my class, right before I go to bed, <laughs> we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Bye. It's okay. <laughs> Yo, reward manga? I want to know what the manga does. Next time I can save, I think I'm also going to wrap this, honestly, because it seems like all our readers are out of steam. And you have donoed your thon. I have. Thank you so much. Oz, you got enough in you for a little longer? Oh, no, I, I'm literally like just trying to finish this liner and then going to bed. Alright. Cthulhu decides to return to the assembly hall. Another meeting of cultists anonymous is already in session. It was fag this and fag and that. Just felt like there should be more for me in life. There isn't. I know everybody says Lord Cthulhu is going to come and devour our souls, but just look at him. Does that thing look like he's capable of devouring anyone's soul? A temporary setback! As soon as I regain my power, I shall destroy the world! Please, Cthulhu. Trying to share here. No, this is good. Confronting your demons head-on is one of the best ways to release yourself from them. Now, Bob. Is there anything you'd like to share with Cthulhu? Just feel like you've been lying to me for all these years. Either devour the world or don't, but the constant empty promises are tiring. When I do devour the world, I'm going to eat you last. Now, now, Cthulhu, there's no need to be hateful. Look into my eyes. <laughs> Not a chance. Recruit me into an eldritch cult. Shame on me. Recruit me into an eldritch cult twice. I read that wrong. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> things were so much easier in Innsmouth. <laughs> Bob, I think you've made some important strides today. And Cthulhu, thank you for your ineffectual opposition. You've really made a difference. No! This can't be possible! Help yourself to a few cookies on your way out. Until next time, stay strong. Next to the cookies is a pile of books, magazines, and other reading materials. Cthulhu swipes one. Cthulhu got a manga. This item inflicts insanity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny as hell. It be Blockhead, thank you for the dono. Much appreciated. Cthulhu decides to visit Bell Snickel again, since this one's keen and I don't have to talk as much. But Keen has abandoned me. Mm. I am alone. Oh god, please, someone that's not me. <laughs> Cthulhu! Just the person I wanted to see. Here, help me break into this pork rib. Right. And then you'll just accidentally whip me while I'm reaching for it. No thanks. Perish the thought! The breaking of the pork rib is a solemn event that is completely unrelated to whipping. Fine, I'll break your pork rib for you. Make a wish! I wish that this game was over soon so I could destroy the world and rule the apocalyptic wastelands. You weren't supposed to say your wish out loud. Mm, you got the short end. But don't give up yet. 
There's still the toss segment. Huh? On the count of three, throw your piece of rib as far as you can. You're making this up, aren't you? One, two, three! What was that? I said throw the rib, not drop the rib. It's really slippery. So do I get my wish? Let's just say that you should cross your fingers and hope the game didn't just go up in difficulty. Bang. As Cthulhu is about to leave, Bellsnickle makes a wish, and an accessory appears. Cthulhu got sweet candy. This accessory for Bellsnickle boosts his stats. It's now Christmas Eve the 25th. It's been a whole month of Christmas. As it should be. Gonna... Oh boy. Kind of gotta skim through here. I'm also pretty much out of steam. There's a lot of reading. I'm just training a new Mamon. What are you hoping Numemon evolves into, Monzaemon? There's no way. There's no way I get the stats needed for that. I'm just training him so that when he dies and reforms, he won't be absolutely terrible. Have you accomplished anything in this game so far? Yes, I've gotten a bunch of the Digimon to come back to the city, which is the main goal, is to get all of them back. Oh, okay. Cthulhu decides to visit with Bellsnickle again. Cthulhu! After the last two times, I, just th I thought you'd be afraid of spending time with me. The mighty Cthulhu fears no man. I'm trying to come up with good Christmas presents to give to Crystal and Baba, and I'd welcome your input. And my input you shall have. For Crystal, I thought I'd give her this snowflake necklace. Oh, it's a good thing you came to me. I can see how a necklace might seem like the perfect gift. Oh, it's not. Have you considered giving her a good book? For example, the Necronomicon. I have not. I'll keep that in mind. For Baba, I thought I'd get her this cute little cap for her pet chicken, Cluck Cluck. I'm pretty sure the chicken is called Bok Bok. She literally says his name all the time. Who am I thinking of then? I really can't say. I'm sure she has lots of accessories for the chicken already. What she'd really like is a framed portrait of me. I don't think you're giving this much thought. I think you're right. I'll figure something out. Here's your present. I don't think you'll mind getting it early. Cthulhu got an Aegis. This item blocks damage from one attack or spell. Was useless in this mode. Cthulhu wakes up to the sound of silence. Mount Panorama is open. What are you thinking, Mini Witch? Cthulhu, it's horrible. Everyone's gone. It's a snowman's land out there. Not everybody. I'm still here. <laughs> I mean the NPCs, the townsfolk, they're all gone. I guess that's it for relationship building. And I was having so much fun having pointless conversations with losers. No, there are plenty of pointless conversations yet in store for you. Targum. Doesn't feel like this is the end game. This might only be a temporary setback. This city feels so empty without the sound of carolers singing. We could make our own carols. I really think we should stick to the time-tested classics. I'll start! Chickens love Christmas, chickens they do. Bark, 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 Christmas, bark, 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 presents. Um, I'll go next. Toss out the candy, look for the kids. When they grab the candy, you hit their shins. Please, please stop. My turn. Cthulhu! Cthulhu! We all love Cthulhu! He sleeps in relay, and when he wakes, our flesh will burn, and we'll learn the joy of Christmas Day, Cthulhu. What on earth did that have to do with Christmas? The joy of Christmas Day? Flesh burning? Cthulhu? How can I make this any clearer? I thought it was a neat song, boss. At least someone here appreciates quality music. Uh-huh. I don't think anyone's coming to attack us today, so let's turn in early. Sleepy time. It is sleepy time. I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. Bye, friends. Cthulhu wakes up feeling cold, even for him. And Cthulhu always feels cold. I feel cold for me, and I always feel cold. That's what I just said. Let's do my lines. The city streets have frozen over. Why am I British now? The city streets are frozen over, and the whole place reeks of death. 
The fifth League of Christmas Evil member must be out there somewhere waiting for us. But who could it be? Allow me to explain. Ah! Cluck cluck! You're talking! In this dimension, chickens talk. A happy coincidence in an otherwise miserable world. This dimension? You have been brought to a pocket dimension that mirrors the world you know. But it is emptier, darker, eviler. And yes, a little chickenier. The people you know and love remain safe, but only if you are able to prevent this dimension from spilling into reality. But how do we do that, Cluck Cluck? You must defeat the ruler of this world, Bell, before it grows too powerful for this dimension to contain. Bell must be the fourth member of the League of Christmas Evil. Bell is the world ender. He will ring the note that will shatter existence if given the opportunity. Beware the carolers and their song. Each accursed mm -hmm. note they chant grills, grants Bell more and more strength. If Bell mm -hmm. becomes too powerful, the world will be destroyed, and there's nothing anyone will be able to do to stop it. Not on my watch. Nobody destroys the world except me. Let's do this. Thank you for your help, Cluck Cluck. I live to serve, little miss. That's the end. We got it. Oh. Gotta go. I uh, was fun, but I can't be the only reader. It's killing me. That's too much. I'm sorry, I'm raiding. I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic. Hmm. So Unimon is at Mount Panorama, but uh, there's too much stuff here. Um, Numamon sucks so bad. I think I really do just gotta train him until he dies. And then if we get a better Digimon next time, we could do Centaurumon. And then Unimon. Devon and Raccoon are rating. Hello. Thank Welcome. you so much. Dog. Good to see you, man. The Dono Bar is gone. It's official. Yeah, we, we hit the goal, but uh, someone also gave another Dono. Thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it. We're still gonna we're still gonna donothon for the next six hours. So if Good you luck. wanna dono, you can. But if you don't, <laughs> I get it. Just hang out with me. All right. Uh, oh shit. Cows or something are these? <laughs> I don't know. That's Digimon. Alien That's Digimon. bull. All right. I guess just whatever is happening then right now. Is Digimon? Digimon. No, I'm in my dream. Digital monsters. Chat, I'm away. about to. I'm about to wrap up. Um, but you guys can go check out Vixen's stream. She's gonna be streaming for another six hours. And it's true. That that's that. It's in the link. It's in the description. It's link the description. The link is descriptive. <laughs> <laughs> All Thanks right. for co-streaming with me, Jello. Yup. Bye. 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 What the heck was that cute little ghost? You talking about Poyomon? Maybe. <gasps> oh, there it is. It was back at the shop. I'm gonna head yeah. out on this end as well. Bye. 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 I love the little guy. That's my favorite Digimon. His name is Poyomon. Poyomon. Mm hmm. Poyo. I love him. Oh. Ghost in the machine. Hey, my cute. He's just a little guy. Oh, I see the guy. Digilutions. Poyomon is what uh, becomes Patamon eventually. Oh. Oh! What the heck? It's part of the evolution line I already liked. What the heck? There you go. The way this game drops you in without hand holding. Yup. This game doesn't explain a goddamn thing to you. And then it kills your Digimon. <laughs> and then it kills you. Comes up to you, stabs you. 
This is what I remember. I always oh, specifically a... this screen? Like this sort of training thing, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's this game. You can skip those? Yep, you don't have to watch oh. it happen. I wasn't always an idiot kid who was just like, oh, I gotta wait till I run around. Yeah, I gotta let him go. I'm gonna head out too, gang. Enjoy the rest of your night. Bye. 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 Time for the night crew. We are the friends who are up late. <laughs> and we know Kung Fu will hit you right in the face. It was quite something to be like, I'll make room for Keen. I like look back like <laughs> 10 minutes later and oh. so many people are left. Everyone may... Look, I take up the slot of like five people, I guess. Uh, so okay. that's like, like, I don't make the rules. It's just that, that that's, way. It's your very good unit then. Thank you. This game is hard, but we persevere <laughs> for the next six hours. We and got it's five and a toilet. half hours. He's got poop. I, I'm just all the times that I've seen your Digimon try to poop, they've always just been way too far. No, we can't just kill Numemon off, because then we'll get a bad next Digimon. We gotta have a peaceful passing where he just trains until he dies. No. And then and then we'll get a decent Digimon. It, it won't be good, because it'll be reforming from a Numemon, but, you know, it'll be decent. Hmm. Exactly. Kill Numemon and you risk another Numemon. So we just do this forever. Time to sleep. Oh yeah, Sumi? Yeah, this this area seems very um monster rancher where it's like go and do this thing the priest your stats it's similar but you have to actually stand here with him unlike monster rancher where you can kind of just send them to do it oh, kind of yeah you don't so get you stars is out oh sorry god i was gonna say you just don't get physicality in that you're just like you're in the screen now that's it Oh wait, no, you get uh you get some physicality when you go exploring. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait. Is that no. It's like is that still your 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 monster doing that? I'm like, may maybe, but I don't think so. Oh, Ran. The game I've been looking forward to came out. Uh, yesterday, but I don't have the money now. I will on Thursday. Or Wednesday night. But uh, Sea of Stars I've been looking forward to for a while. Looks really good. Played the demo. I liked it a lot. There's some good games that are, like, on sale that I've been really looking forward to getting on sale. Like what? Um, there was something called, um... Was it... F floppy... Let me grab... Floppy Nights. Um, floppy Nights. Floppy Nights. Floppy it's nights. a floppy disc um, with some pretty cool like uh, artwork and little creatures. But it's like a it's like a build deck game, and I've always I always wanted a game that actually allowed me to build a deck that was not a roguelike <laughs> and also not multiplayer, like a single player card game. It's hard to find those, honestly. Um, and then, uh, uh, which other ones have been on sale? Psychonauts 2 is like, oh, here he probably goes. like, ooh. He's dying. Digivolve 2. 
No. Dead. <laughs> All right. Time to pick a new egg. Oh. Yeah, this music would have scared the hell out of you as a kid. It scared the hell out of me. Oh man, should chat and vote? Or how is this doing? How is this working? Yeah. We're gonna have a poll for which oh. egg to take. I'm gonna go take a little break while you guys do this because we're just about the halfway point of the stream. Um, but you guys can vote while I'm gone and I will be back soon. Yes. <gasps> the BRB screen. Hello. Hello. We blended. Wait, did I not do the. Hold on. Wait. A poll is open for which egg should we pick? Vote green, blue, orange, pink to vote. Oh, no, you just do I vote. I'm going to okay. say blue. No idea if that worked or not. Uh, I'll go. Yellow. Oh, do I have to put a space in? Oh. <laughs> well, tell me if I voted. <laughs> How many times have I actually voted? I don't know. I've now voted three times, and I will now be under arrest for uh, voter fraud. Was the worst game I've ever played. That is still the Leisure Suit Larry box office bus. I don't think they'll ever be dethroned, to be perfectly frank. I could. It is by the whim of the player what might happen next, or the chat, uh, depending on how things go. What happens? You decide. Vote now on your smartphones. Do you want a bad game? Does anyone want a bad game? That's the question. I mean, I have good, neutral, and bad games. I don't mind another one, if that's what you're asking. But if you're asking more of like a philosophical, do you want bad game? Hmm. I think... Um, bad games teach people a lot more what is a good game than a good game would teach a person. So I think, yeah, but bad games are kind of important. Do you want... Dong and Rampa. Sure. <laughs> I'm. It, it's been a very like. I got things planned and stuff that I'm doing, um. So, it's a little hard for me to uh, like play any game that's given to me. Um, I do not mind accepting gifts, if that is, again, your question. <laughs> no, I'm offering to get you a bad game because it is dear to my heart in its badness. Oh. Is it your zero? Um, for people who do not know... Their zero is basically, like, um, you can rank everything else in your life, uh, and then you basically, the zero is basically the worst. Um, so, if it is your personal zero, then, yeah, I, I would be generally interested. Though I have played, and have, again, a lot of really bad games... <laughs> 
Um, it is... It is a little difficult to actually get through all of it. All right, what so... What you guys vote for? Blue! Oh. I think Blue. I voted right. Is it... Is it... Exclamation point vote space than the color? Is that it? Yeah, but it's okay. too late now. Okay. No, 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 I did it earlier, but I fucked up like three times. Wow, blue. Blue. What's in it? It's a pony one. It's a little red guy. That's not Whoa. blue. It's an unhappy cat. That's Piff. You better believe it's Piff. Oh boy. Alright, Piff, hopefully you turn out better than Oz did. Hey man, what happens happens. Digimon don't play by any rules except for the, the rules of the game. Which is no rules. <laughs> Look like right, one of those. To train this little baby. I look like a freaking fruit gummy. Oh, I already got sirloin for the day. He's hungry. Have a digi mushroom. Okay. He was just born buddy. and he's already hungry. Go, little buddy. Yosh. Yeah. What are my options? I mean, it's got to be Sunomon first, right? Punimon. Yeah, only option is to become Sunomon. Oh. We need ten brains, and that's <sighs> it. That's it. And then we can start working towards the rookie stats. I get to be smart. And he's gotta be a little bit smart. Quiz me, I'll get it right every time. He, he did it. We're done. Oh, boy. And then let's see. Elecmon or Penguinmon? Um, I mean, I think Piff definitely fits Penguinmon more, but I I'd be like fine Penguin with Elecmon. Mon. Either Maybe or. With either. What does Penguinmon turn into? Waymon, Shellmon, Garurumon, Frigimon. <gasps> That'd be pretty good. I really like the name for Gimon. Do Alec I get to be a snowman? Leomon, Angemon, Bakemon, or Kokotorimon. I get to be Angemon? We'll see. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Green. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. Snowbearmon. I mean, it doesn't really matter right now because, like, all the really specific stuff that I have to do, like go to Freeze Land, I really can't do yet. I'm just like, mm. my guys are just not good enough for it. So, it really is just whatever one I get, I get. Mm -hmm. Maybe the we can boy. go for it. So, let's uh, go. MP, defense, and brains, looks like, 500 MP. I'll be a magic boy, or girl, dependent. <laughs> Digimon don't have gender. Even that Engemon? <laughs> Even Angemon. Okay. He's sleepy. Go to sleep.
He's just a little baby. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Uh, yeah, Kaylin. I also never got very far in this game as a kid. It's so punishing for, like, no reason. Some people just want to see you have a bad time in a game. <laughs> so they're like, let's make this game really hard. Are you still hungry, Ponymon? Are you, are you good? I, I wonder what the pull was for, like, a lot of games in this era to be like, you get to raise things. They will die very quickly. You know, um, kids need to learn about mortality somehow. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle doesn't... Like, you can, but it's hard. <laughs> PS1 era logic was if the game doesn't require you to grind for a billion hours, it's too short. That's fair. It did evolving. God, is he? He, he's making noise. <laughs> It's Sunamon. Yeah. A much better sound. <laughs> Easy to waterfall. Has horn. Break water. No Prabalo. It did... That did remind me of, um... Monster Ranch, uh, there's a, a part where, like, you could just be at your ranch, and um, there are certain dudes that will, like, do more sound than others, and the plants will, like, fly around, and whenever they fly, they make their sound, and one of the ones that I had just went, ooh, 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 ooh! <laughs> but, like, there was also a turbo mode, so it just went so fast and so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I love Monster Rancher. Monster Rancher's fun. It, it'll it get you. It's a tough one. I actually, uh, there was a uh, re-release of Monster Rancher 1 and 2. Um, and they kept pretty much everything the same. Um, with some cool, like, you don't need discs, but you can pick discs. Like, it has an entire just giant library of things that you can pick. Hmm. I don't like that, but I like the, I like the disc mechanic. I did like the disc mechanic a lot. I miss that you kind of can't do it anymore. I mean, you have to just get the original. <laughs> yeah. But like all the new ones are just like now you can like draw a symbol and I'm like I don't want to draw a symbol. I want to put a disc in a thing. That that was just really cool. Because like all of your other games are then like little creatures and then you can have like your friends also have their own little creatures and then music discs can be their own thing. It was really good. Five hundred let's see, a hundred defense and a hundred brains. So hungry. He's, he's hungry. He's like Give bone him. in here. It's like sick. <laughs> Give him meat. Now he's sleepy. So I'm gonna happy. try him, penguin. Yeah. Do 
like a penguin. Feels appropriate for the piff. Will this Digimon also turn to goo? Man, I hope not. I'm trying to do better. Looks like I've already got care mistakes. I don't know what I did wrong. Am I not feeding him enough? Hmm. Like, he's not... He's not making a noise like he's full. There's no way you need two sirloin, though. You're a tiny. Hmm. This game doesn't tell you anything. It's just like, you fucked up. Die. <laughs> Do you guys hear this cat? A little. Mm. She's pissed. Oh. Wow. I keep thinking that the day has rolled over, and it just hasn't. <laughs> Do I need to... Let's see. Wait, 10 to 20. I think I'm okay on that. Yeah, I'm at 15. I'm fine on weight. I just need to keep training. Become the best. Not enough praise? I have no idea. <laughs> They just made this game to torture six-year-olds who didn't know what was going on. We would try. We would keep slamming our heads into it. And the game's like, no. <laughs> it was so much easier when my Digimon started as a rookie. Are there other Digimon World games? Are they good? Yes! I really like Digimon World 2. Um, and I have heard Digimon World 3 is fun, but I never super got into it. Um, I really like Digimon World Data Squad. I think that that is a controversial pick, but I think it's fun. Yeah, maybe Sirloin is too much? Maybe I shouldn't be feeding him sirloin? <laughs> World 4 is awful. Don't play Digimon World 4. Correct, Darren, yes. All Digimon games are different genres for basically no reason.
Okay, I'll feed him normal size meat and maybe that is the issue because I don't want to have a bunch of care mistakes just because I'm feeding him too much meat. Oh yeah, later Digimon World games were way more forgiving than this. They also more clearly indicated to you what you needed to get certain Digivolutions. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to get 100 defense, so you keep going. Like, I felt like you were, but then you stopped. I'm so confused. Because normally if you feed them and they are satisfied, they make a little noise. But he has not been making little noises after I feed him. So I'm very confused. Do all Digimon World games make you routinely bring your Digimon to a toilet? Nope. Every Digimon World game is basically completely different um, gameplay. This one is like a Tamagotchi. Um, the second one is a dungeon crawler. The third one is like a JRPG. The fourth one is a beat-em-up, top-down beat-em-up. I guess. He did evolving. Why is he not screaming? <laughs> oh, there <it> goes. <laughs> you asked. Can we play the dungeon crawler at some point? Yeah, maybe. There he is. Be the penguin. A pengi. Oh, that's a good one. He's a penguin. Yes, fourth one, don't play it. Bad time. All right, where do we go from here? We can go Waymon, Shalmon, Garurumon, Frigimon. Moijimon. So I, I have a feeling we probably will not get Garurumon. Um, Frigimon could be useful if we want to walk all the way to Freeze Land and like do all the Freeze Land shit, but I don't I don't foresee us actually being able to do that. Hmm. Is there any other obtainable ones? Or more reasonable, I guess. I mean, any... If we can get anybody to champion... We will be in a better spot. <laughs> so that I can at least start like going and doing a couple more recruitment things. We could go for, I mean, Frigimon feels like the intelligent thing to try for, because it could possibly be useful. Even if we don't actually get to Freeze Land, like, it's fine. We'll just do Freeze Land twice. Or just do it like an Ice Digimon twice. We can just go for it. 
So we go MP a hundred a thousand. Oh. Waymon's cool, yeah, but Waymon eats a lot. Which, until we can afford to feed a Digimon that big, it's gonna be an issue. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Your boy is dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a little fellow on my lap. Hello. What's up? Is it okay if I sit here? No, you're good. You're good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> very, very, very wet. Very wet and damp all the time, though. I'm just letting you know. I have no control over it. It's, it's okay. Hair. I'm I'm used to wet and damp places. Great. All right. <laughs> like, like 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 caves and stuff. Yeah. No, I know. No, I mean, like, you know, sometimes oil spills on you when you work in the garage and stuff like that. You just gotta, gotta deal with it. And then, right, and then you slip and fall. And then when you try to get up, you just get more on you, and it's really annoying. You exactly. You just keep slipping and falling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's exactly <laughs> what we're talking about. Yeah. How's the game going? All right. Um, unfortunately, after Tyrannomon, we ended up with a Numamon, which was pretty useless. Um, but I got, I got some stuff done while we had Numamon. Like, we did Monochrome on Shop. And so now I have Penguinmon, and we're going to see how this goes. Okay. Oh, so this is your third partner. This is my third one, yes. I mean, three partners in seven hours, that's, uh, it's not a very fast game. I know we were joking before of, what if you finish this before the 12 hours is up? And now I see, oh. Yeah, no. Let's... <laughs> yeah, okay, let's see. <laughs> I told you it wasn't going to happen. I've been lurking the whole time, and now I've got over 5,000 points. Ooh, what are you going to do with those 5,000 points? That's an excellent question. I actually haven't looked at your new rewards. Uh, Jello's not here, so I can't put him in jail. Um, I think I'll let it build up. Let it ride. Let it ride. Let me see if Is I can... Is it possible to get above champion? Yes, you can get ultimates in this. There are no megas. I don't think I've ever heard Vixen's Ada Ada, so I think I think I'll go for the swing for the fences on saving up points for that. We only had our first one recently. I will stretch. Wait. I mean, it's 20,000 points, so that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, well, it used to be 100,000 points. Jesus Christ. Hey, Making Kat, us work. Do you want to stop? Do you want to shut up? Do you want to be quiet? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. No. That was such a, like, no mom meow. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> I see. Completely in the way. I do what I want. Don't you hate when your kids are rebellious like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. I did not need to do that. What I do need to do. Let's see. Let's see. Brains a hundred. Let's try it. Let's try to get you as smart as possible. Try to get me as smart as possible. Hmm. He's hungry. He's there. He's still hungry. Yeah, I really do think that the in-training, like, feeding is just bugged or something because they do not react when they're full. Mm. For reasons I can't really discern. Just a one or more. There we go. Perfect. 
I'm hearing like animal noises and I can't tell if it's your cat or the game. It's my cat. She won't <laughs> shut up. I thought that might have been Tiger. Nope, it's my cat. She wants food, so I have to hit a button to give her food. Ah, <laughs> oh, that button. I have a little button sitting on my desk that dispenses food to her, and if I don't give it to her, she screams. Okay, so we got a hundred brains. We got a thousand MP. That's like the minimum. We can keep going. 200 brains, 150 speed, 100 offense, 1500 HP. There's a lot of stats to get up. Yeah, well, there's nothing else to do while he's a rookie. Hmm. Still hungry. The sheer silence always throws me off. Yeah, this is With a very quiet games. game. The last game I think I played that was this quiet was Detective Barbie on the PlayStation 1. Dead silence. It was dead si it, it It didn't help that it played like a Resident Evil game. So when you move from room to room, you just hear silence and the very occasional seagull in the background is very uncomfortable. <laughs> All right, keep at it. Oh, damn. Oh, Frozen just redeemed the Ara Ara. All right. Nice. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Ara ara. Hey. There nice. you go. Thanks for redeeming. Wow, we just for only twenty thousand dollars. What a <laughs> steal! They're stocking stuffers. They're, they, they, you just get them. You get them for watching the stream. <laughs> Nice. Oh, that's cute. That's what your points are. Okay. Yeah, there's stocking stuffers. There's little candy cane sticking out. Yeah. Good stuff. So cute. But seriously, I'm very give $20,000. It's for a good cause. Uh, yeah, if I had $20,000, that's 20 models I could get me. <laughs> for all the seasons, and then you can just make up your own season. I have a model for that. Oh my god. Look, you're thinking like a true VTuber. <laughs> yes. Soon our plan will come to fruition. It's not, wow, that's a lot of money. It's, wow, that's a lot of models I can get. <laughs> <laughs> I can get so many models with that. I could invest in, like, stocks or some bullshit. Nah. I want a cool new expression for my 2D model. This cat sounds like she's never eaten in her entire life. She sounds so upset. Ara Ara 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, well, it's a lot cheaper now than it was when I first set it up. I had no idea what was reasonable for channel points. Now I kind of understand. I'm gonna take some adjustments. Yeah, we just keep changing the price of stuff until it seems reasonable. I want it to be reasonable and for people to be able to have fun with it, but if it's too cheap, then they can spam Abuse snow it. and completely overload the stream until it dies. You know you could set cooldowns for the rewards, right? Yeah, but see, the problem with that is that let it snow is coolest when a couple people redeem it because ah. then it, it stacks. Um, and so, like, more snow comes down. But if ah. too many people redeem it, it spams and then it completely overloads the stream. Ah, uh, that makes sense. 
So you want like two to three people to be able to redeem it at the same time. So a cooldown doesn't really work. So I just made it more expensive. Makes sense. I had like the exact opposite problem with one of my rewards. How how is that? Uh, cause I have a I have a little robot, like nuts. The the mm -hmm. text so the text to speech reward I made it like five hundred points, but nobody used it. Um, but so I reduced the amount of points because it's fun. That's a case where I want a lot of people to use it because it mm -hmm. makes streams more fun because people can hack the robot and talk shit at me. And it makes the streams a lot more engaging. So when I reduced the price and more people used it, then it became a lot more fun to have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And plus, I might give, like, just special modding um, permissions to, like, friends and stuff so they don't have to keep saving points. Hmm. Because who can mess with you better than your friends? <laughs> Giant rewards. Giant rewards in the 100k range are more reasonable when you have a huge audience that use the poll system to gamble channel points. Yeah, I've noticed that that's a thing. Uh, Astral Spiff does that, where believers and non-believers are, I believe, using channel points to gamble on certain things that are going to happen in the game. It just seems like a lot for me to keep track of when I'm also VTubing and also doing other stuff, so not doing that. Uh, At least not right now. Give it time. Find the system. Let's see. All right, let's keep going. need like a thousand HP or something? Yeah, I'm going for a thousand HP. And then it's only like a hundred offense, I think, so I'm pretty much going to get there by doing HP. Mm. <laughs> I was about to say, this stream is going really smoothly. Want to hear some Bad news. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> so yeah, apparently, um, Firefest Two is happening. Oh yeah, that's not bad news. That's excellent news. I can't <laughs> wait to hear the fallout. Switch group. Yeah, he's tired. Have you not never heard of Firefest? Was that that thing where like like a bunch of celebrities talked about like this outing and it was a complete and utter disaster? Yes. yes. Oh, they're doing that again? <laughs> yeah, bad idea. Oh my god. Am I tired? Why am I so true? Oh, no more true. You feeling better? Feeling better. Okay, but why, though? Because he probably lost so much money on Firefest 1, he has to try again. <laughs> <laughs> but Firefest 2 is not a good idea. Easy. He just makes twice as much as he d did before, and then fix all of it with one half, and then he get the other half. Easy. It'll work out great. Sounds almost doable when you say it like that. <laughs> the issue with Firefest 1, as as it was described to, to me, and by that I mean in the Internet Historian video, is that basically there were a bunch of different packages that you could purchase that got you, like, exclusive, like, accommodations or, like, food or whatever. But there was no, like, need for a certain amount of people to buy a certain level of ticket. So people were all like, oh, my God, the tickets are, like, $20,000 or something ridiculous, but like probably no one bought that. Probably a bunch of people bought the cheapest ticket and that's why they had no money. <laughs> I'm like, of course that wasn't going to work. I feel bad for the people that got stranded there. Oh. Yeah, no, that entire thing was, was horrible. Oh, that's my phone freaking out. Oh, 
notification. This cat will not leave me alone. I know. Am I just overworking the Digimon? Is that why I keep getting Numemon? And if that's the case, what am I supposed to do with my time if I can't train the Digimon? I think that was my problem. <laughs> just nap continuously? <laughs> I still found it very funny that apparently the speed run for this game is three hours. That's I can't believe that. I, I need I need to know how because the amount of grinding that like you've been and, and resting you've been doing. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna go give this cat some extra food so that she hopefully is quiet. Be right back. Okay. Uh, I will, I didn't uh, finish off talking about the the cool um, little things that you can get on Steam. Uh, apparently, House Flipper is also a pretty good sale at the moment, so I'm looking forward to getting that. Um, ooh. Ooh, is there any? Oh yeah, and a game called Troublemaker. I haven't seen too many games that tried to be like a Yakuza game. Um, so I'm very interested to see this kind of indie version uh, that might might be similar to that. I'll, I'll actually have to see. God, I'm so excited for all the Yakuza stuff coming out. <laughs> or like a dragon things. Oh, also, I heard that you really like uh, retro games and try to stream off of those. Oh, yes. Um, I I kind of made up this title because I don't think anyone else is a like a retro variety streamer. So anything that has to do with like older things like cartoons or video games, I try to I try to showcase. I mean, even my model is based off of Ratchet and Clank, which is one of my favorite games. Of oh, time. OK. I'm a cute yeah, little linebox. I believe Up Your Arsenal is my favorite one of the bunch. Me too. It's really good. <laughs> it is really good. I was playing it when uh, Vixen uh, raided me for the first time, and oh. we were like just at the end of the game fighting Nefarious, and I was so nervous that I died a lot more than I usually do on that final level. Oh, but okay. It is one of my favorite games, and I just replayed Rift Apart, which was mostly just me thirsting over Rivet, because <laughs> I love her. But I, I love those games, and I try to stream off of original hardware as best I can because I'm a curmudgeon for the novelty of the whole thing. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's also just the best quality, like if you can actually do it well. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's very, very hard. Um, I have something that can basically do the Wii. Like, extremely well. I can also do Super Nintendo. Um, and I picked up the, like, weird external uh, capture card um, in the PlayStation 3 era that can actually do, like, PS1 and 2 without, like, interlace problems. Okay. Uh, but it has a huge latency, so it's hard to use, like, with people also in a call. Ooh. But Okay. Does it's... that also work with HD capture? Yes. But, but that's where the lag is. Um, the lag is because it's external. Oh, okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Because I try to have people on that have, like, a history with the games and be like, I want to hear your story. Like, what was it like growing up with this game? So those, those lead to some fun interactions. Hmm. Has the baby been fed? The baby has been fed. You notice she's quiet now. That is true. Wow. 
The thing is, again, I have like a button that allows me to just dispense food for her, but once the food dispenser runs out, not enough <laughs> food is coming out, and then she gets upset. Wait, can she press the button? Uh, she could if it was out um, and available to her, but then she would press it too much. Ah, uh, that's fair. A friend of mine had a similar dispenser and ran into that exact problem where the cat just kept pressing the button yep. and get cat food everywhere after like two days. Oh, uh, since you do a lot of retro stuff, do, uh, do you use, like, uh, SCART? I do not use SCART, but I'm trying to learn how to use it. Okay. Um, I've I've only been streaming for a couple of months, and but my main consoles are the PlayStation line. And if I don't have a game, I'm, I'm okay with emulating it, but I will try to add it to my collection because I'm on this big preservation stick mm. because games don't really get preserved that much. Uh, hi Nintendo. Um, <laughs> it's it's getting a little harder uh, over time, just because like cartridges lose their batteries, they get wear. CDs are also like slowly disintegrating. <laughs> yep, especially the, people underestimate the different like discs that companies used for games. Um, the hardest thing to work with that I have hands down is the PS2. 50 speed. It hmm. feels like it's the most hardware specific console that I've ever that I've ever used. And Ratchet and Clank is a great example of that because that game gives you like the original PS2 game gives you so many issues depending on what specific system you play it on. Because yeah. the Sony wanted to make the console seem more powerful than it was, so a lot of the games were very hardware specific but um aside from that it, it has been fun to kind of go back and revisit certain things um you mentioned before that like some older games highest sometimes it's just the best quality if you get them in the original you know the story with silent hill hmm uh i know a lot of things about silent hill is it the fog uh it's Fog is like one of the glitches. So oh, the glitches. OG the OG Silent Hill games the developers lost part of the original coding for those games. Oh. So that's why almost every HD collection has had some kind of glitch or performance issue and why they're ranked so low, which means the best way to play those games is the original discs on original hardware, but that also means they're incredibly expensive. Mm. Like the original Silent Hill goes for like two hundred dollars now. I I got really lucky. I bought one of the like super rare games when it was just out and around. Uh, and I still have it. It's a Rule of Rose. Ooh, I've heard about that game, but I don't know, like, what it's about. Um, it is a pretty messed up game. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's basically, like, you're a girl in a blimp, and there is other girls that are horrible people, and, uh, a lot of horror happens, and you definitely feel like a girl running around with a fork trying to defend herself. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking hmm. at the screenshots now, and, and it looks unsettling. Yeah. <laughs> Lord of the Flies, the video game. Yeah, I could see that. Have you considered getting Moxie a timed feeder, or one that opens when she approaches it? Yeah, that's not the issue. The issue is, when Ku is eating... She will come over and try and muscle him away and eat his food. So what I normally do is while he's eating, every time she approaches him, I hit the button and dispense a little bit of food out of her dispenser. And then she runs and goes to eat it. And then I just have to do that the entire time the two of them are eating. That's the trick. But it now means that when the dispenser is not dispensing, she comes to me and screams about it. Huh? The trials and tribulations of being a parent. Yeah. 
I do want to say, Piff, I love your model. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is uh, modeled by Oz. Uh, he did a really good job. Also put a little bit of snowflakes to make it a little bit more thematic. Yeah, because originally you were just a little slime. Yeah, just just a blue slime. Aww. But then we yep. turned you into a little ice slime. Yep. You're so cute. And like that aesthetic of like a slime with snowflakes in it, that's very unique. I like to think so. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right, 150 speed. We're almost there. We're all just being cute here. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all little guys. Little yeah. fellas. Just little little fellas. Little fellers. I think the rarest, or as far as like vintage games go, I think the rarest game. I don't think it's that rare. Uh, I have is Fantasy Star Online One and Two Plus for the GameCube. Oh, I was able to get that like when I got that originally, it was like hard to get. Like it was, I just special order it through a local game shop that is no longer in town. Um, Ooh. And I just had it ever since because I remember playing it at like a friend's birthday party, and I was like, "Yo, this is the sickest game I've ever played! Like, what is this?" And I like <laughs> bugged them about it for like years. I'm like, "This is what it was called, right?" And they're like, "Yes," because I like kept forgetting. Like, was like, <laughs> it gold again? It was so cool. We played it over your house, remember? And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, dude, it's still Fantasy Star Online One and Two Plus." And I was able to find it. This was like before, like you could just buy something on Amazon or whatever. Like it was around, but it, like it wasn't that easy to get. It's did you evolving? Oh boy. What's, what's the penguin you're gonna turn into? It's Moishman. Oh, the Yeti. It's not what I was going for, but I got it. It's a very big disconnect from the penguin we just saw. Yeah, well, I was you know. still expecting a bird. <laughs> No. Not goo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's um, go. Fantasy Star Online, that was the one GameCube game that like used the like the GameCube had an accessory that was the yeah. uh, keyboard. You could get on the internet, yeah, there were like servers and stuff for it. Damn. You could play online with people. And uh Okay. They said keyboard. Oh yeah, there was a GameCube yeah. keyboard. I forgot mm -hmm. about that entirely. Mm-hmm. But, now uh, that I have a good, like the only game that used it. Now that I have a good champion Digimon, I feel like I should take advantage of that and go do a couple things. But I wonder if he's strong enough, because compared to Tyrannomon, he's not as strong. A little on the weak side. Hmm. You could get Skull Greymon. I could get Skull Greymon from here. Like as a partner, you can get Skull Greymon. Yeah. Get the edgy boy. I would love Skull Greymon. Uh, let's see. 4,000 HP. 6,000 MP. 400 offense. 400 Jesus defense. Christ. 200 speed. And 500 brains. That's a lot of training. <laughs> That's a lot of training. Yeah, his stat requirements are pretty crazy. Other option is just to try and get some stuff done. That sounds good. Could also go for Mamemon. That is also a thing. So let's see. Mamemon. Uh, 400 offense, 300 defense, 300 speed, 400 brain. He has to be very light. 0 to 10 weight. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Huh. I think we passed that weight threshold already. Oh, well, it goes up and down. Oh, okay. Yeah, so is this like a stuck. saga game where you can affect every individual stat? Yes. What do you mean by saga? Um, There's a group of RPGs called Saga Games. Um, They were developed by one of the lead one of the original programmers for Final Fantasy. And unlike other RPGs where like you level up and all your stats go up, here it's certain stats level up based off of specific actions that you do. 
So, like, if you want to get your strength up, you need to keep using physical weapons. If you want to get your magic up, you have to keep burning spells, that kind of thing. Oh, this is as simple as I train him in offense for offense. Okay. <laughs> I think I must have been part of, like, uh, what is that, Final Fantasy 2? Because that was yes. definitely a 2 mechanic. Yes, yes, it was uh, one of the game programs for Final Fantasy 2. That's why some people joke that, like, Final Fantasy 2 is a, is a beta saga game. Because Final Fantasy never did that again after 2. It kind of wasn't a great system for Final Fantasy. It, I agree. It, like at right at the beginning of the game is like, oh, how do you like level up? And you you put your hand on their shoulder like, no, you don't. See what you should be doing: you find a really weak enemy, then unequip everyone and just start punching each other. <laughs> right. It it had that. I remember the OG had that glitch where you could just smack yourself to get your stats up. I do not like the noise this guy makes. Fair. He makes a very strange noise. Yeah, so should I keep training or should I just like go and actually do some stuff in hopes of getting my stats up? That's the big question, isn't it? Final Fantasy 2, the game where you beat up your own party for an hour and become invincible. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly it. Go play the game, have fun. <laughs> you could play the game now. Yeah. You've been grinding for a while. Go do things. How well? Hey, hey, ho, hey! Hey, Novi! How's everyone doing? Oh, we're good. Let's see. Let's put you right. We were good until here. you got here. Now we're doing <laughs> great! <Yeah. laughs> Had me in the first half, not Yeah, you, you, you <laughs> gave me a little scare there, Keen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, what could we do? We That'd could be get... cool. Why would I say that in me? <laughs> I don't know. I just I just don't expect it from you, which makes oh. me like <laughs> paranoid it's going to happen. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Should I just do it now and get it out of the way so you can like deal you can like, <laughs> so you can like get over stop it together? Holding my breath. <laughs> One of these days, Keen, he's just he's just gonna snap. He's he's gonna be so fed up with me and my bullshit. He can't take my it bullshit. anymore. He's just <laughs> <laughs> you know, my bullshit. The bullshit that I just always have. It follows me around. It's like a. It's like part of my character, you know? Can we do Centaurum? I mean, I guess we could try doing Centaurum on? Maybe? I don't know. My guy's not as strong as Tyrannomon was. Tyrannomon was so good. I, I don't know who he is, yeah. but I love the pom pom with big hands. Yeah, I just got him. Tyrannomon was uh, their first Pokemon in the game. Digimon. Little red dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Digi Digimon? Digimon. What did I say? Pokemon? Pokemon. Oh, damn it! Don't worry, I've been doing that too. <laughs> Alright, get in the cage. Alright, yeah, put me in the cage. I need a timeout. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not putting you in the cage. Okay. Put us hey, all in the you... cage. We're here to no. take over. We're taking over the stream. This is a revolution. You we know how long ourselves. it took me to get the cage to work on Jello. I'm not changing it. It would be funny if you did put us in the cage and then Jello joins, and he's like, <laughs> "That was supposed to be my cage." It's, it'd be so cool. We're all in the cage. It's too crowded in here. Help! Help! Where is Centaurumon? Are you doing a mission? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Oh, I'm. I just. So I just turned on stream to see where you put me, and I see that I'm hiding behind Keen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're shy. <laughs> I'm a little shy. Hide behind me. I will take care of you from this terrible demon reindeer. I you I love how on. normally shaped Keen is. Compared to <laughs> me and bolts, I'm just I'm a cute just a, flush. I'm just a human. He's not human. He's a, a man. <laughs> He's a ah, fuck. What are they called? I want to see. He's an undine. 
Yeah, I see that flashing sad symbol. I have no idea what it means. I have no idea what's happening. Need you sad? It's a prophecy. A great tragedy is about to, to occur. Sci Design, first time chatter, normally watches the VODs, but just got off work and decided to stop by. Hi, glad you made it. And NM Cherry, to answer your question, I am not changing models. I am just getting another model that has a different outfit. And the idea is that once it's ready, people will be able to use channel points to uh, switch the outfits on the fly as desired. Cool. Oh, flashing sad means he doesn't like the area. Oh. He's running with like his mouth wide open. Yeah, like, that's how it's too it's warm. Like, close here your for fucking him. mouth. I mean, that makes sense. And he's also got a he shit. is a oh. winter man. He is a winter man. I'm eating too many bugs. I'd uh. like to go to Friesland and do all the Friesland stuff, but I feel like I can't get there yet. Because I have no clue how to get there. Because there's Freeze Land. We gotta do Dino Land. I haven't really done much with the canyon. Freeze Land is north of the canyon. Am I like... Like... I feel like Freeze Land, I need a stronger Digimon, no? Yeah, very high level. That's what I thought. How far are you into this game? Well, I've been playing for seven and a half hours. So, about seven and a half hours in. I mean, I feel like I've made decent progress for seven and a half hours. It's so funny how when you run around, it's just like ching, 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 ching. And then your guy follows you, it's like, goes, 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 goes. Train up a bit, do Ogremon and Bergermon stuff, then do Friesland stuff. Yeah. How much should I train up? Just, I mean, I guess if I train up until I'm able to get the ultimate, then I'm, I'm in a pretty good spot, right? I feel Potentially. like it's... It's not... I feel like he's... Like, the requirements are way less than what Tyrannomon had. But yeah, we could go for it. 400 offense to start with? That's still... You know? It's plenty to do. gonna take forever. <laughs> Gotta talk to Euromon again to start the Ogremon quest line. Okay. Oh, I don't like the noise it makes. Like, why does it sound like that? It does not match the model at all. Yeah, it's very odd. Oh, that noise makes more that sense. That sounded like it, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Did it just die? No, he just goes to sleep. That's the noise he makes when he goes to sleep? It's yeah. Sounded like a death rattle. Scary, Keen. I'm gonna hide behind you. Okay. Yeah, I get him up to 400. Oh my god. Oh. 
All right. You good? I'm surprised by how not needy he is. There we go. Yeah, I'm not doing save states. File setting. It's where they take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's easier to feed than Tyrannomon. Okay. I feel like I really should have started with this guy and then gotten Tyrannomon later, but oh well. Now that I have Sirloin, it would have been way easier to take care of him. Give us this cold grade mon. I wish. Oh, I am just noticing the bar now. Congrats on reaching your goal. Thank Ooh. you. Thank you. Yes, this was a successful donathon. Yeah. Pretty freaking sweet. And you've only got three three more hours. Yep, I'm still going to fulfill the three hours, and also, obviously, any donos raised during this time will go towards other stream improvements. Yeah. Oh. Like emotes, and more PNG tubers, and... And donuts. Backgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think donuts would really improve the stream. <laughs> right, you know, I'm, I'm just... I might be... I'll like I, I might be out on my own here, but I think it could really help the atmosphere, uh, create an open, friendly space. If there were just, if everybody could have a donut, uh, that'd be pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> We'd all be pretty happy with that. You know, I'd be snacking. It'd be pretty <laughs> sweet. <laughs> and it, you know, I'm and it's not 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 that it's just for me. I, everybody gets a donut. <laughs> nice save. Nice save. <laughs> I would love a donut. I haven't eaten since this morning. Oh. I haven't I haven't eaten in years. I should I should reheat some food and eat while I continue to stream cuz um uh, there's nice. no way I'm going to make it to 12 hours without eating. I yeah. would highly I will be that friend and say please go eat. <laughs> Sometimes being a good friend is just texting your is just texting other people and being like, did you drink water today? You still tired? No? You good? Okay. I'm gonna go reheat some food. I will be right back. Okay. Okay. I'm not a Digimon guy, but that thing's face reminds me of a stuffed toy that freaked me out when I was a kid. Do you mean a Furby? No. no. Why am I in the cage? Oh, if only one of us could let him out, but we don't have legs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm too small. I got little beans here. Okay, what if I what if I just if I can just get my hands on screen, I could throw you at the cage. <laughs> then you could break it, and then he'll be free. That is a solution. <laughs> Wait, if you're a slime, can't you just like ooze out of the cage? Or are you like too cold? Oh, that sounds complicated. Than, are you more ooze than solid? Hmm, solid than is. Are it would you? Just, it would just be uncomfortable, Kane, and I think you should have you should have thought of that. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know his anatomy. I just see ice. Ice Before and fuck and apocalypse. snow. Mm -hmm. I love that. We're just fellas. We're just fellas. Just a, just a just a few fellas hanging around. This is fellas stream now. <laughs> Twelve hour of fellathon. 
all proceeds will still go to Vixen. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's, of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. I'm not big enough to eat the cage. But you Aww. know, you you. But the stream now will contain far too much co uh, discussion about like our opinions on different kind of snack foods. Mm. <laughs> Want to know the worst potato chip? Yes. I, the worst. Okay, hot take. I fucking hate onion pickle and onion. I don't know how anyone that can get awesome. behind pickle and onion. That's right? a hot take. <laughs> like, I feel like I've had it. Well, it's like one of the most popular ones there is. Like, it's not like sour cream and onion was mm. the most popular. That's what uh, I would have thought. Yeah. Mm. Or like barbecue. Well, maybe yeah. that's what I'm thinking of, but like it might as well be pickles and onions because I fucking hate it. <laughs> I could have sworn there was like a vinegary, pickly Lay's yeah. chip. Yeah, there, there is. It probably is. They have the, chips for everything. The the pickle one is like a vinegar chip, but it has like an extra like flavor to it to make it more pickly. I actually well, like those. Probably my real most hot take is I don't like um, barbecue chips. Oh, okay. I just don't. I just. Okay, I, that's I, more of a hot take. Even though I don't like barbecue chips either. I'm, <laughs> I'm strictly a sour cream and onion. I, onion I, I, had a, I had a work party like a few weeks ago. And there was just like, I got French onion dip for everyone else because I got a bag of chips. And I was like, this is probably something people would want. But I don't want it. And then nobody... <laughs> nobody took it or used it I, so i just had this like this whole can of french onion dip that i'm not gonna use Jesus I'm, I'm sorry let me get this did you give them dip but you kept the chips did i hear no, that correctly I, it was, no it was like a, it was like a potluck so we all brought uh, okay. i brought chips and dip and okay. i was like you know I feel like people will get upset with me if I just bring like plain Lay's so I'll get some French onion dip. And but no one touched the dip. And nobody touched the dip. <laughs> and I was like, well, now I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I mean, Lay's are good on their own. You don't need dip for that. No, but, yeah, the, but I, the I was dip trying to be considerate, you know, like I wanted to be considerate for anybody who, who prefers it with dip. And apparently nobody did. <laughs> yeah, because only freaks prefer chips with dip. Come at me. <laughs> hey, <laughs> on the chips. I'll, I'll stand Some by chip. I'll stand by our queen here. No, yeah, it's You don't, don't like, like salsa? I don't know. No, salsa's alright. It depends on like the chips. So like tortilla chips that are just like super plain. Or like like the crinkly lays, like those are good for dip. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't even like ketchup on my French fries. I have to be in the mood for it. That is my default. Like I have a burger and fries right now. And uh, like, I don't big, think I've ever connected fries. with you more than I do in this exact moment. <laughs> <laughs> we are the same. <laughs> we are the same. <laughs> We like Digimon and don't like things on our food. Yep. Therefore, we are one in the same. I, I'm a very picky eater. Uh, Me I, too. I used to be a lot pickier than I am now. Mm. Um, I've I've definitely been open to trying a lot more new stuff and surprised with what I what, what I find that I enjoy. But when I was a kid, I I was I was the kind of you know. Um, neurodivergent kid who didn't like his food touching yep <laughs> i was like like yep. if, if that if that carrot touches that apple i'm not eating either of them <laughs> yeah i feel that i feel that in my soul so 300 no 400 offense so 300 uh, for other stats the uh the chip that i was going to mention the worst one by far um Horseradish cheddar. Ew. Ew. That's not right. Fake. It it it's very real. Sadly, it was one of the chips that I found in a just very average aisle of chips. Um, I I was just trying things. I'm like, oh yeah, I love the jalapeno one. Uh, love the pickle one. Um, let's try this one. And like, I ate it and I spat out a single chip worth of chewed food. Mm. And I was like, this is gross. I wonder if it's like I had too much on a single chip or that was just a bad one. No. <laughs> That's just it, how it is. It tastes like 
paint thinner. <laughs> like, oh. it was gross. <laughs> oh. Uh. It's a very visceral thing to say that it tastes like. Yeah. yeah. I got goosebumps from your descriptor. <laughs> but I so, get yeah. it. I totally get it. If you want the worst flavored chip, there you go. How did you... How did it taste like paint thinner? Um... Well, I'm assuming the people went, you know it would be funny? Uh, we're gonna name it one thing, and then actually, like, just flavor like paint thinner. I think that's how it went down. Tell you, tell you uh, something that I think is a hot take of like what I enjoy rather than what I don't enjoy. Okay. Um, I like to eat just sliced cucumbers as a snack. Yeah. Oh, me too. That's so good. Yeah. I know, do, I, most you, most times I do that and people give me weird looks. <laughs> like, do you do you coin them? Uh, like, do I wash them? No, a uh, coin. Uh, it's how you slice it. Oh, so it's coin. Like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I coin. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's how you eat cucumber. This, yeah. So just, a, little, just a bag of just an entire cucumber sliced. <laughs> I, will, I will be Dude, done with it by the end of the day. You, If you have not dread this yet, freaking coin them and then freeze them. It's so good. Freeze them, okay. It's so good. <laughs> and now I'm the odd person out because I hate cucumbers. <laughs> I have a reason, I though. Hate cucumbers. I have a reason, because growing up... Uh, in high school, I would always go to my friend's place uh, after school because my parents couldn't pick me up. And his mom, for some reason, always served cucumbers, like just plain sliced cucumbers as a snack. And I didn't want to be rude, so I always ate all of them and my body just... It oh. was like that way for two years. Oh, jeez. And my body... So, imagine having that as a snack every day for two years. I, my body just eventually reached a point where it's like, we're never putting this in our body ever again. Mm. That's fair. Oh, I've got a question. Hard shell tacos or soft shell tacos? Both. Soft. Fight me. <laughs> Both. You're the fucking commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who... Vixen, it sounds like you made an actual decision. <laughs> soft. Soft. I'll, I'll, I'll say soft. No, no, you you misunderstand me. At the same time, both. <laughs> Hard, just... Oh, like layered. Yes. Like, what? They just they fracture into a million pieces. Number one and number two, um, soft shelled ones. You get that nice that nice soft like mm, that just adds to not the flavor but the experience of eating. But, but crunchy. <laughs> Oh, I'll get chips if I want crunchy. I want crunchy. I want crunchy, and I want it as one package. I don't want nachos. I want one crunchy taco. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like if I have a soft shell taco, I'd rather just have it just as a burrito. You know. Um, I can see and, that. And if I want a taco, if I want like a taco is what I want, then I, I want it a little. Crunchy. I want the hard shell taco experience. And if you're, you know, if, if you're careful, you can you can get away without having it fall apart on you. I most most of the time I can I can eat a, a hard shell taco without it falling apart on me. And that's the beauty of both. Uh, if things <laughs> mess up, it still holds its form. <laughs> it's strange. <laughs> We're all weirdos here. It's okay. I don't know. I don't know. You speak for yourself. I, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm just. I'm just streaming Digimon World for twelve hours straight. Perfect. <laughs> you're right. Perfectly normal react. Normal behavior. This is this is normie shit. Honestly, that's true. Normies always be playing Digimon World for twelve hours on stream as a VTuber. <laughs> Nubby really just said you have to get good about eating tacos. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> like, I don't know what to say it. Holy shit. <laughs> you don't go at it like an animal. <laughs> Went right for the throat there. <laughs> Thank you. 
And then there's me. I'm just flipping through Yu-Gi-Oh cards while in the street. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, finally. 400 offense. Uh, 300 defense, 300 speed, 400 brains. All right. We did evolving. Well, we'll see. Eventually, maybe. Oh, oh boy. 400 brains. All right. Seven o'clock. I could, I do have time. I could go get a burrito from my favorite burrito place. Mmm. Oh. I haven't really eaten yet today, so it might be good. Yeah, that would be a no, good idea. chat. I am not going for Skull Greymon. This is for Mamemon. <laughs> My brain keeps thinking you're saying Mommy Mon. No, not Mommy Mon. <laughs> Ma me Mon. So many of the Digimon names that seem unique are just normal Japanese words. Mame, as in a bean. Like Mameshiba. Oh. Bean man. Because he's just a little guy. He's just a little bean. He's just a little bean. How do you do, Same fellow like beans? Maramon. You're like, oh, what an interesting and unique name. It's just the noise of a fire burning. Oh, so it's like an automatopoeia. Mm-hmm. Meta meta. That's is a fire burning. So a lot of times when people are like, oh, some Digimon have such simple names and some have like cool names. And it's like, no, they all have simple names. <laughs> you just don't understand some of them. Oh. But then you get ones like Armadillo Mon that are very straightforward. I'm becoming Disc. Armadillo Mon. Armadillo Mon. I, lo I loved his accent. Now voiced by Wayne Grayson in the redubs. Very funny. Mommy Mon, sorry. Mommy Mon, sorry. <laughs> That's pretty funny. See, it's not just me. Mommy Mon. Mommy Mon. Mommy Mon. Mommy Mon. Yes, same as edamame. Correct. Mame. <sighs> the grind is ridiculous in this game. Huh. Hmm. I'm just okay, thinking okay. about uh, how to pronounce things, and it would wouldn't it be like Mame Moon? Probably not. Uh -huh. What like, do you mean? Um, in Japan, how O is pronounced is uh, Mo. O. Uh, o. Mon. So it would be Mon. Mon. Yes. Mame Mon. Agumo. Like it's it's kind of o instead of yeah. on. On, yeah. <laughs> so having like the the cross between just like how uh Japan pronounced that and then just mon at the end like really threw me for a second. He's hungry. I feed a sirloin. Ugh, I don't like that. <laughs> it's so weird. Sounds like an Animal Crossing character. Yeah, a little bit. But like a little bit creepier, honestly. I got a brain up. We gotta get 400 brains. A lot of brains. 
Brains, brains, it's okay. Not a matter if it isn't gray. I forgot the rest of the words, but thank you for getting And for if the first the she thinks it's strange, she won't think twice if she don't have, have a, a brain. brain. Brains, brains, I won't lie. I need a brain to a zombify. Sure, she might think it's strange, but she won't give it a thought after I've eaten a brain. I really like that song. I love you so much right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the weight go down. Yeah, well, that's good because he needs to be really light to become Mamemon. Hmm. All right, keep at it. Did we hit the goal? Yes, we did. It's all thanks to you guys. Thank you all so much. You guys did so well. Actual question. Is Citramon in any of the games or is it in the original? No. Um, Citramon is exclusively a Digimon that exists to censor Bomber Nannymon in Season 5 of the dub. Because they couldn't show an amusement park getting bombed. So they turned him into Citramon, who uses fruit to try and drown the water park. Or the amusement park in juice you know yeah. wholesome destruction oh well, you're allowed to show it on tv honestly kind of brilliant on the part of the localization team because like what are you what are you supposed to do with literal bomber nanny mon <laughs> turn him into an orange Fruit. He's an orange. They have not ever put him into a game, no. Uh, you are allowed to show Bomber Nannymon in games, so we've never seen Citramon in a game. I would love it, though. Because, like, there is a another Digimon that was made uh, because of censorship, and that was um, Sistermon Ciel. Because Sister Mon Noir, with her nuns with guns uh, aesthetic, was deemed to be potentially too offensive. Um, but Japan really liked Sister Mon Ciel, so now Sister Mon Ciel is, like, in official Digimon promotional material. So I would love if they started doing that with Citramon as well. Skull Kick Colin, thank you so much for the dono. Much appreciated. I salute you, Moe's. Aw, thank you. Here, here's a salute right back for you. Wait, where's my, my Moe's gang emote? Boop. There you go. So nuns with swords is better? Yeah. It's just good enough to not get... Not be a problem. Us here in America hates guns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta remove them. God damn it, Famously. America. Why can't you be more open-minded about guns? Real fucking sick of all the guns around here. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> Being blue, CL is just legally distinctly not a nun. <laughs> and then I just go and watch Roberta's blood trail from Black Lagoon. Literally. Oh no, she's not a. Well, no, there are nuns with guns in that show. Yeah, I don't know what the, uh, what the rule is. And like some of the names got changed for similar reasons. Like, Daemon or Demon is uh, changed to Creepymon in the dub. And I'm like, is there something wrong with Demon? I mean, we've already got like Devimon. Devimon and Lady yeah. Devimon. They didn't change. In fact, they kept a lot about Lady Devimon, which still shocks me to this day. It's just one of those things. I, I have no idea why. Whoop. So. Uh oh. Uh my controller got disconnected oh. and now oh, it no. is being weird. Uh oh. 
Oh boy, my guy was like running out of my control. <laughs> Good thing this mushroom was here. Yeah, Whoa. actually. But the time's still going though. <laughs> I got too comfortable. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'm not allowed to lean back with my controller. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have it plugged in and it disconnected or did it like Yeah, yeah. The, uh, I, okay. I adjusted too much and my the the plug came out. You got you. How dare I? It's all your fault. Just seeing this game takes me back, right? This game is classic. As much as I am not enjoying how much grinding there is in it, I can understand why me as a kid never got very far in it. How are you supposed to know how to do any of this if you can't look it up? Back in our day, we didn't have the internets. I, mean, I do yeah. remember when the way to get through a game was via finding the cheat codes or finding a walkthrough in like the little magazines you could buy at like the gas station or like at a convenience store. Oh, it was yeah. like complete uh, official walkthrough. Yeah, 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 exactly. Those, those. The game official or something. I don't remember what they were called. Man, if there's books. one thing I could say about my Ojimon, it's that he does not need much. I'm just continuously doing this. 400. Ooh, 400. We got it. So now... Defense speed 300? Wonder if they ever made a strategy guide for this. I know that they did because I owned it. I had strategy guides for all my favorite games. There was a strategy guide like for everything back in the day. Oh, yeah. Nowadays, not so much. Nah, because the internet exists, so why waste the paper? Right. 300 defense, 300 speed. I don't entirely miss the era of those, but I do like those books because they're, like, very well illustrated and, like, formatted usually pretty well. And you got to get, like, sometimes way more context. And when I was a kid, whoa, um, strategy guides were, like, the thing I would read at the table. Like, my dad would be reading his uh, newspaper, and I would be reading a strategy guide. So even if I... I didn't actually use them to beat the game that they were associated with, I still just really liked having them. At, at the table, and usually before I would go to bed, I would read lego instruction manuals <laughs> oh my god <laughs> mostly bionicle but some not bionicle <laughs> that's so nerdy <laughs> it's stupid i know <laughs> i didn't say stupid it's nerdy I that's have, not the uh, word i use <laughs> i also i would also i had a flashlight and i would have to click it on and off a bunch of times before i could go to bed um I would keep it like in this little drawer um and like the because uh, the bed i had as a kid had like uh on like the what do you call it the the, the backboard the head thing backboard is where basketball headboard whatever headboard. the thing you're yeah the headboard <laughs> um uh on that uh instead of one of those i just had shelves and i would store a bunch of uh, all the instruction booklets from all the lego sets that i would have um, as well as, like, a flashlight and, like, some comics and manga and stuff. Um, and my routine was I would flip through, like, three or four instruction booklets, and then I would, like, take my flashlight and I would I would turn it on and shine it around and turn it off, like, five times. <laughs> five or six times. And then, only then, could I go to bed. The only strategy guides I remember buying were Pokemon. And I just immediately went to the Pokedex in the back to spoil myself on all the new Pokemon no. that would be in the game. I I was a very odd child. I was a very odd... I'm still odd. Um, impatient child. I'm very impatient. Because I... My house only had, like, one computer for a long time. And I couldn't always go on the internet to see trailers or whatever, so 
as soon as I would get the game, I would buy the guide right then and there. I actually have some of the hardcover got Pokemon guides like from black and white and stuff. And I I just like skimming through the Pokedex in the back. Hmm. Felt like I was going through a research book. I was a very precious child. <laughs> <laughs> Food. Oh. There's a hurricane coming my way, and I was none the wiser. Oh, no. Hurricane? Yeah. Yikes. Uh, all right, where are you heading? Are going to be a South Florida hurricane, or are you going to be a My Problem hurricane? Uh, Tampa. Oh, it's in, like, Tampa right now. <laughs> All right, 200. So we got to get him to 300 defense and 300 speed. Oh, oh that just uh that just works. Hmm. I saw a little trick on uh, Tumblr where it's like, hey, if you want to read a new site and you don't want the stupid, like, sign up to read more, you can just, like, disable JavaScript through Firefox really easily, and then you can just read it for free. Oh, nice. 15 right, right. weight, so I might we... need to get... I I'm assuming we've all played Mario Party. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, have I, I just played it, like, a week ago. What of any of the games, what Mario Party mini game do you remember the like the most and like would you you would claim you are the best at? None of them. No idea. <laughs> no. I didn't grow up with Mario Party. I thought it Literally, was pretty good. You asked that, and my brain went, dig, 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 which is not Mario Party. <laughs> 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 I used to play a lot of Mario Party DS, um, and the mini game that I was king of, I was just, just de facto the best at, um, was there's a Mario Party DS mini game uh, where you are falling in front of a chalkboard, and the object is to get as close to a um, like a little line as possible without mm -hmm. passing it. Uh, and I was the only person to hit that line perfectly and oh. get mm. zero as my score. <laughs> nice. Also, South Prefrost, first time chatter. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing Digimon World for 12 hours. Uh, this was my first Donothon. And we hit the goal. And now we're just chilling for the next four hours. Now we're just watching Digimon poop. Three hours. Less hours. than three hours. Less oh, did you start it? Did, what time did you start again? I've been going eight hours. Oh, okay. We're at eight right now. Oh. Eight oh, okay. You started later than I thought. My bad. Yeah. I started at 11. I'm going to end at 11. Sounds good. Sorry, I'm eating. How dare you? <laughs> need sustenance within a 12 hour period how dare how dare I love how immediate you were with <laughs> <laughs> eating yeah. we don't pay you to eat <laughs> how far in are we really hard to quantify I have no idea how many Digimon I have gotten and how many I need to get in order to finish the story. I'm just I'm just getting Digimon to come back to to the city, man. I want the redubs to be out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm thinking about. 
I want people to see them. I'm glad some people have seen them, but I want more people to see them. I, I can hear the impatience in your voice. Yeah, I mean, it's not Discotech's fault. I know that no. they gotta they gotta work on it, but I'm just like, I wish I could snap my fingers and just make it so that the disc is done. Hmm. Didn't they just put out a like Cromarty high again? Cromarty yes. high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Advertisement for that. That's a show I always wanted to check out, and then I like I've seen like funny clips from Cromarty High, but I just like haven't sat down and watched the show yet. But here it's good. It's a very specific kind of humor, but if you mm -hmm. like have that, it's really good. <laughs> right. If you think it's funny, then you'll think it's funny. <laughs> Which of these lowers weight? Is it hawk radish? I can look it up. Yeah, people know. Okay. Because uh... I feel like he needs to be below 10 weight, doesn't he? Am I crazy? Yeah. It's Lowering. below 10. Lowering the weight in... Um, carrots and pears. Carrots. Okay. Those help lower weight, or you can also feed it black trout, which does the same thing, but has the added bonus of raising stats as well. Yeah, I have, I have super carrot. I mean, I should buy a couple, shouldn't I? Like 500 bits each. That is a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got almost 10k. I could buy a couple. Yeah, give me super carrot. Give me super carrot. Give me one more. Back to training. According to the internet, playing this game normally takes 70 to 80 hours. Oh my Jesus god. Jesus Christ. Uh, that's that's okay. too long for you a just kid's have to RPG. Do, you just have like to do that. exactly what you did today eight more times. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that's like a whole week of content. <laughs> <laughs> He's sleepy. I remember there being like a Mario Party game that was really good at where you like basically rapidly pressed the A button and then had to like angle your shot right at the end. Oh. Oh. Um, I know what you're talking about. I don't remember what it's called. All the okay. button mashing mini games, my my friend who I would always play Mario Party with, he was always better at those, and I was more about like the precision ones. Um, but like you know, we'd be playing like Mario Party DS, and we'd get to like get the let out, and I had no fucking chance because he he was the kid who we would sit you know at the lunch table, and he'd bring out like the button mashing techniques. And instead of hitting the button a lot, he'd, like, put it on his thigh and start, like, shaking his hand with, you know, like, or shaking the whole DS or whatever. And he'd get, like, the fucking, you know, he, he'd be hitting, like, 16th notes. <laughs> yeah. Three second notes, even. Good Do God. Doing the, like, hit two buttons back and forth, I... I did the shirt technique where you um, put your whatever you're going to be using uh, underneath like your cloth of your shirt, and then basically just rubbing between the two buttons. Hmm. I think I did pretty okay. Those ones where it's like spin the stick real fucking fast and ruin your controller, and you're in the middle of your palms. And your palm. And yeah. your palms. Ah, uh, those were some interesting lawsuits back in the day. I would always blister myself. I think they changed how those work now, because like in the newest Mario Party, it's really just like a here's a collection of all of our really good ones. It's good Mario Party again. It's not that other bullshit one we put out on the Switch. It's the good one this time, we promise. And it was. Uh, but I think they changed how those games works, or, or they didn't include them. 
Uh, the, 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 the palm spinning ones? Yeah. They did not include them. Yeah. Well, didn't they have at least the, like, um, how was that one, like, you're on, like, a skateboard or something, trying to get away from, a, like, a piranha? I think that one was a spinny one that I think was included. Do you remember the name of it? I'm sure if I put in Mario Party minigames, skateboard. They included it. one, but it has a warning on it, according to that. <laughs> Nintendo, like, please don't sue us again, like they did back when Mario Party 1 came out. Uh, it's Piranha crazy Pursuit. How many old Nintendo DS video games, like, asked you to just beat the shit out of your console? <laughs> you <know? laughs> And then our... get you buy more controllers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I feel like controllers were just in across the board much sturdier back then. Now I feel like yeah. things break if I look at them funny. Yeah. Back in our day. Back in our day, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. They blah, made blah, good blah, right. sturdy controllers <laughs> in weird fucking shapes. <laughs> back in my day, I had to get third party controllers from Mad Cats. That's right. Oh my god. And they only worked like sometimes. <laughs> yeah. They I... only worked like twenty percent of the time, which I mean, fuck me, I get what I pay for. <laughs> I uh what Aaron's paid for. <laughs> yeah. I I went through so many like Xbox controllers just trying to do like PC games. Um and I was like, man, these are breaking within like three months. Mm -hmm. This is getting ridiculous. And I finally was just like, all right, let me just, instead of buying a $20 controller that will break super fast, let's see what the other options are. I got one that was like 80 bucks. That was like top of line, big, sturdy controller. I'm like, oh, this thing's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that was like a few years ago. So I, I got my money's worth. <laughs> That's good. So, if you want a PC controller, do not skimp on those. Ooh, I just wait. use my PS5 controller. That works. Hey, if you wouldn't happen to have, like... Because I have, like, GameCube games on my computer, but I don't have, like, a USB GameCube controller. Can you recommend any good ones? Because the ones that look on Amazon are, like, the reviews are very mixed on how well they work. So, I'm like... I would love to just play games on my computer, but like I would want to use, you know, the right controller. That's a good question. I'm curious about if you that happen too. to know. So, uh, no, I just use uh, an Xbox controller. I also just have an Xbox 360 controller I use for everything, but I guess it works well enough. I have not tried to retrofit my P mainly because I don't really like do a lot of um. Rum, what are they called? It's, it's emulators and stuff. Emulators. Sounds like simulator. No. No. <laughs> I I don't really do that many emulators, so I don't spend extra to be like, ah, what is the genuine experience? <laughs> oh, the burrito place closes in half an hour. I gotta go. I'll be back in a second. Bye. 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 The urgency. Man wants his burrito. Yeah. Well, who can buy him? I could. We could, but do we want to? Do super carrots count as food, or am I just giving him something that's not making him full at all? Uh, I can check. It seems to not have the. Oh wait, no, it does. What oh, weird? Okay, well, have food as well. Okay, that worked. I guess it does count, but it's like very little. Okay, mm. now his weight is four. Great. Super cat will boost your offense, MP, and brains. Ooh. Yeah. But does it fulfill hunger? Uh... That's a good question. Um, and Super Carrot will lower your weight by two. If only it was that easy. <laughs> uh, 
I am the little tech support Lombax in the corner, here to answer any questions you have as I gaze deep into the Digimon World Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> I have stared into the abyss and it is staring back at me. Oh, now his weight is one. This is the lightest giant yeti I've ever seen. This boy's about to float into space. <laughs> <laughs> He's a walking balloon. So light. That's what it takes to become Mamemon. We're doing pretty good. We're real close. This might actually be the 300. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so now let me look at... So, I don't really understand what I'm looking at here because it says defense 300, target 500. So I'm like, is it like, oh, if you could get it up there, that's even better? Maybe it's like an ideal stat to aim for. Uh yeah, I just don't understand. That's fine, though, I guess. Um... Nothing for battles. So, should I just keep training until he digivolves or what? I mean, it's pretty I could I could maybe go do some stuff with all these stats. Your defense is 300, target is 500, but why does it say 300? What is target? What is the difference? That's why I don't understand. I'm looking at a guide. I don't really understand what the what the guide is saying. I do have a tattoo. It says "Hail Santa." I'm just deciding, am I done training? Is this good enough? Should I go do some stuff? <clears throat> yeah, the guide had me go to 300 defense. But then it says target 500. And I don't really understand what the difference is. If I'm trying to get Mamemon. I'm also looking at a separate guide. Seems very weird. Um, it, suggesting a digivolving item being the silver ball? Oh, that's... I, I, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Yeah, it could be 300 will get you there, 500 definitely will. That that could be what it means by target. I mean, at this point, I have the stats, technically. Maybe. I feel like I should go do something and not just be training, because... Otherwise, I'm going to waste his entire lifespan. I've also never tried fighting with this guy. I have no idea. Because <laughs> we need to get Centaru on and Unimon. I don't know if I can get Unimon before Centaurumon, though. I feel like maybe we have to go do Centaurumon first. But Moijimon doesn't like being in the de in the jungle. So that's an issue. Let's just go over here see what see what the deal is.
Oh, wow. I have a lot of... Nice. Get him. Oh, I did not bring many items with me. I totally forgot about it. I mean, he seems to be doing all right. He's just hitting him with ice. You gotta love AoE attacks. Yeah, this is this is good. All right. Wow, he just killed them. He got the let it snow redeem. Yeah. Put her back and use the bathroom. <clears throat> Oh, I should praise him as well. Good job. You did it. Oh, you know Spore area. Why is the camera so close in? Oh, spore area. Oh. I don't really remember this area. There are weird drawings on the ground. Are they one of those strange circles? They still look new. Is this by Factorial Town? Is that where I am? Target stats are extra benefits. Any stats over the target are buffed after Digivolution if you've got them over. Oh. Seems like something I'd go for once I have the better training area unlocked. If you're below the target, you get 50% chance, 50% uh, of the difference as a buff. Okay. Oh, God. There we go. Ooh, items. Whoa. Oh Jesus! What's uh, what's the current Digimon you got? Uh, Moyajimon. Oh. Do you want to look him up? Do you want to see look his name? It's it's spelled like this. Moyjimon. Moy Mojimon. How you doing, Thanks. stamina wise? You hanging in there? Yeah, I'm good. I'm eating dinner. Just double checking evolution paths and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It would be nice if he became Mamemon, because then then we'd be in a pretty good spot to like go do a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe fight Greymon. Cause like Mamemon's not the strongest ultimate ever, but I'd I'd have an ultimate, you know. going on over here <laughs> maybe he needs more happiness no uh digivolution is time based so once he has reached all of the stuff that he needs a certain amount of time still needs to pass it, it's not oh hit these stats and then he'll automatically digivolve that's not how it works oh. 
I got my burrito. <laughs> he did it. Yay. <laughs> They're really close. It's like a two minute walk. And I've gone there enough times now that they like know what I want. So uh, I like ran in and I was like, I was like, you know what I need. And the lady that registered was like, I know what you need. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. Oh, hey, there's yes. music in this area. Oh, look at that Shima Unimon. I love Shima Unimon. I'm back. Oh, perspective change. Yeah. We're on the Gear Savannah, baby. Horses. Look how fast I run at this camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whoa! I can see the back of your head! Man, he doesn't mind Gear Savannah, but the jungle is too hot, I guess. It's interesting. Oh, Psychmon. Maybe he just appreciates the natural beauty of Gear Savannah. I mean, fair enough. The beauty is enough to distract him from the... from the heat that should be killing him. <laughs> Realistically. Imagine if Vixen's Digimon dies around here. Why would you say that? He oh god, why is the camera so close? He doesn't belong here, but he's an artful soul. Oh, look at the Electmon! <laughs> There's so many cute Digimon in Gear Savannah. Is this Factorial Town? This iron door is hard. If it doesn't open, we can't get in. Okay. I feel like... <laughs> I still There's love like his car. running animation. He's running with his mouth wide open. You know, I thought the savannah would be too hot for you. You know, at a certain point, hot just feels like hot, and temperature doesn't really matter. Hmm. That was a really good voice. It's a dry heat. <laughs> at <laughs> least it's not humid. After the burrito. That's a really big burrito he got. I'm full. Oh, that Electmon's recruitable? He was just walking around, so I thought he was just an enemy. Okay, hold on. Wait, you can recruit other Digimon? That's the whole point of the game. But how come you haven't... Well, I thought you could only do it, like, one at a time. No, 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 no. They don't become your partner. You recruit them to come back to the city, and uh, they improve the city. Uh, and then when you get to certain levels of city prosperity, um, then stuff unlocks. Hey, Lekmon. Hey, Lekmon. Ow. <laughs> okay, I can take another one of those. Hey, Lekmon. Uh, we can take another one. Hey, Lekmon. Use your electric power for the city. City? What's that? Sounds familiar, but I'll help. I'm a Lekmon. Okay, bye. Electmon joins the city. That's what I that's what I'm supposed to be doing in this game. Is I'm supposed to be finding Digimon to uh join the city. I just I've been training so much because my Digimon kept dying. And you need like a decent decent strength Digimon in order to um recruit. Recruit. In order to just be out and about, really. Makes sense. That Patamon can also be recruited, but you have to fight him three times in a row. Oh. Probably want to heal before that, right? I am a little wounded. He's but a scratch. So many recovery items on me. You want me to come work in your city? I don't know. What kind of work environment do you host? Well, we like to call it a work family. <laughs> <laughs> I felt that Patamon in my tells soul. me to fuck off. Okay, there's a <laughs> toilet here. This is Factorial Town. Or Trash Mountain, rather. Is this is this where the better like training area is? No, leave me alone. Oh Jesus. Oh no. Not three of them. Uh I'm scared. Oh god, no. Oh god. Get out of here. Oh, that's actually...
actually good. I want him to sleep. Sleep. I find the dissonance between please go befriend these other Digimon and just spend the next week having your Digimon get hit by a boxing glove to be very funny. <laughs> <laughs> There's music going on. Ooh. My stats. <gasps> music! Yeah, so now I'm healed. Sweet music. Sweet trash mountain music. It's better than the deafening sound of silence. <laughs> with the occasional uncomfortable grunt from your Yeti. Oh, nice Ramodramon. <laughs> It's a digital boxing glove. It don't hurt. <laughs> I'll just date at the end of the day. Come on, Petamon. Just take another hit. It's all just ones and zeros anyway. <laughs> this Petamon's pissed. Kick your buns. Get the idea of baby Petamon being pissed is very funny to me. <laughs> just like a shitty shitty old 10 year old like why are you mad you're not even real <laughs> oh my god yeah we got this oh, i don't know what moderate does As someone who doesn't, who hasn't engaged in Digimon a ton in his life, I'm sure there's some Digimon villain whose reasoning is, these monsters aren't real. Oh yeah, no, that 100% happens. Yeah. Well, there's, there's, there's villains who actually think that and then are horrified when they realize that they're wrong. And then there's a villain that's like, oh, Digimon are dangerous. Let's just kill them all. Oh. Whatever. Who cares? Yeah. What? What's wrong with you? Didn't Undertale have an effect on you? <laughs> my first... My first route I took was the genocide route. <laughs> Why do they even have health bars if they're not meant to be cold for experience? <laughs> One more time. Okay, Patamon. Yeah, uh, in, in Digimon Savers, or Data Squad, um, the villain like goes on a Digimon, a digital world expedition and uh, sees that, you know, they attack because they are wild animals essentially. And he comes to the conclusion of like, oh, we should just eradicate them all actually. And he creates a fake Digimon that when it shoots real Digimon, they die permanently. They can't reform. Boom. Great. Got him. My, my own created Digimon, Task Manager Mon, who can end <laughs> any task in the program. Don't make jokes. No, surely not. Patamon has lots of time on his hands. If you have too much time, come to the city. Sounds good. My name's Patamon. Bye. <laughs> My name's Patamon. Gotta go. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. We got Patamon. You got we the got electric guy. <laughs> Elecmon. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> 
Is Savers the one where the guy powers up his Digimon by boxing them out himself? That's the one. <laughs> he punches other Digimon in the face, and that lets his Digivolve. It's awesome. It's so Highly awesome. recommend. <gasps> Yay. Hoping we get a Tentomon at some point. Is Tentomon in this game? Don't know. I'll never forget watching, um, I think it was the second Digimon series. I, like, I, I walked in on you watching it. Yeah. And, um, they, like, cracked some egg or something, and a bunch of lights went out, and I was like, oh, it looks like you've activated the friend-seeking missiles, and then that's just what <laughs> happened. <laughs> Little did they know. Ooh, Gecko Swamp. I totally forgot about this. Oh, yeah, these guys. Gecko mine. They blow bobble at you. <laughs> right, Beetle Land. I forgot about that, too. Is that Otomamon recruitable? I think you are. Numbskull, Dimwit, Chowderhead, Dum Dum, Oh, the Geek. What'd you say? I'll just ignore them. I won't deal with kids. Oh, do I have to fight him? Is that what it is? Ooh, a happy mushroom. He isn't, but he'll help you unlock Toy Town. Oh, but do I have to fight him? Because if I have to fight him, I'm not in a good spot for that right now. Yes, you have to fight. Okay, I'll do it later. Toy Town, is that where Puppet Mon is? Um... Not in the anime. I don't know about here. Boost happiness, but risky. I think I'm okay on happiness. You're over child. Weird question, but has a Digimon ever not super died on screen? Like, half the villains have the kills you for weapon, but how often do Digimon die by other means? Like, dying without being murdered? Is that what you're asking? I'm trying to think. I don't think we ever see like a Digimon pass from old age or anything. <laughs> Leomon and Tamers, no, he gets murdered. <laughs> They're like Tamagotchi. Um, if you take good care of them, they'll die from old age in a week. Wasn't one Digimon stillborn? Uh, yeah, that was in the drama CDs, and they have since retconned that. Of course. I just realized Leomon gets, like, no happy ending in any show that he's in. No, nope, that's that's kind of a running joke of Digimon. He's like the messiah. He just can't, he just can't like, live a nice life. I had a huge crush on Leo Mom when I was younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's been a couple instances of Digimon, like, you know, they, they get killed, but then they reform and they come back. And that's that's what's supposed to happen. Um, and then there are some villains who just have, like, an insta-kill, kills you forever beam. Vixen, we're close to three hours left. Feeling pretty good. At this point, I'm just wandering around and looking at areas that I haven't dared go so far, because I have an autopilot, so I feel pretty good. Look, we're in misty trees. It's misty here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, trees. How do you lose with a kills you forever beam? I'll tell you, uh, you don't have friends. Don't have the That's kind of a nice thing to say. There's a Gabumon over here. Hello, Gabumon. Oh, shit. <laughs> what happens uh, when you cannot I... blizzard? I just start attacking normally, I guess. I mean, I guess I don't need to be able to blizzard as long as I have enough health. Yeah, Wormmon did die, but he came back. Because he didn't, like, perma- Because he didn't perma-die. 
Do I have a normal attack? I don't think I do. I think I need MP. Huh. Uh, it won't let me run. Ugh. Oh boy. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I guess I just have to take a loss here. This game's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'll die. Guess I'll I guess I have to die. My Digimon just can't attack without MP. Unless he gets his finisher, which he just needs to take enough hits to obtain oh no, he's done. No. Mm-hmm. At four hundred. That's annoying. What? Some of these numbers. This is... There's like a small period where you can revive them. Oh. Yeah. but I don't have the right items. I was not prepared to have a Digimon that needs so much MP. All right, all right. Yeah, he's pissed at me now, sorry. All right, let me get my items. Yes, I need these MP floppies, clearly. Orange banner. I need that orange banner. So if Agumon and Betamon were on the on the moon and one of them got hit with a rock and died, would that be fucked up or what? <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that. I'm so so <laughs> sorry. I don't know why I laughed at that. It wasn't funny. No, anyway. It wasn't funny. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> it hits uh, me with a rock and I die. Um, I turn on the light. If Digimon die in the real world, then they don't. Get, I don't think they get turned back into eggs. That's usually how it is. Yeah. Well, That's why like Wizardmon doesn't come back. It's 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 just one of my go-to like stupid bits for filling dead air. Just like if blank and blank were on the moon <laughs> and one of them was hit with a rock and died, would that be fucked up or what? It's if one of them hits the other one with a rock. You know, I Isn't just it? I just I don't like to I I just I don't like to um to cause blame. You know, we weren't <laughs> on the moon. Okay, we don't know what happened. I'm just telling the facts. Hmm. I'm just speaking my truth. Just speaking my truth. God, I'm not. I'm truth, not. To, am I to assume that Agumon <laughs> murdered Petamon because what? He was the only person who possibly could have. I mean, I don't know. I wasn't there. We don't know the story. So what well, if it shit. was just them on the moon and nobody else? And, you know, maybe we have, you know, uh, a motive and, and, and reason for malice. And maybe, you know, maybe there are fingerprints on the murder weapon, but I didn't see it. Well, shit. How so, can I raise his happiness? Because he's, he's a little too upset right now. I don't want him to be up this upset. Uh... I don't know. I wish I knew the game better. Internet, make me learn game. <laughs> Internet, help. Internet, make me good. How make happy. Digimon. Praise? Yeah, but but I can I... I feel like if I just praise him randomly, then that's gonna make his discipline go down. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, well, I, 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 just, I guess I, it doesn't I, matter. Hey, man. Hey, I just... 
I really love how big your feet are. <laughs> he gets more upset. He died. It's um. fine. <laughs> oh. Oh, is that what's happening? He died? Yeah, I think he's dying. Oh right my now. god! <laughs> he melted! Right. Well, sure loved having that Digimon for no time. That was horrifying! Yeah, that's what happens. All right. Here we go, guys. Yeah. What egg are we taking? Listen, oh. my vote's always going to be for green. That looks like a Yoshi egg, and I like it. <laughs> I like that logic. I... You know I'll vote green. I'll vote green, too. I went blue last time, and... Uh... No. Green, green is the color of LCD screens. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that, that, is my, that is my logic. All right. How are you supposed to have any time to do anything in this game? You spend all this time training the Digimon, and then <laughs> they die. I mean, I guess I got Alekmon and Patamon recruited, so, like, that's not nothing, but Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm I guess I'll just make another champion and then run all the way back to Gabumon. <laughs> Okay, according to this one thing online, yeah, you just sit there and praise them until their happiness is maxed out. Yes, our discipline will be basically at zero. Once they do anything that is scold-worthy, scold it. It will actually um, uh, increase their, like, discipline, but also increase their happiness a little bit, depending on, like... Like, you try to give it an item, it goes like, no, and then you just be like, don't do that. And be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's the strat, apparently. <laughs> okay. I I wanted to make more stupid dead air jokes, and what my brain cooked up in the bank was the progression of if Gabumon got to go to a championship dinner and none of his friends could come, would that be fucked up or what? To if Gagu if Gabumon had zero trigger discipline. <laughs> Would that be fucked up or what? <laughs> Why does Gabumon have 2,500 <laughs> HP? He's a he's a rookie level. All right. Uh, I'm looking at the results. We have a tie, so I need more votes. Mm -hmm. Oh. I need at least one more vote for one of the top tie uh, colors. Oh, I forgot to vote in the thing in chat. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, how do I do that? Break the tie. Uh, it's exclamation. exclamation point vote and then the color oh. that you want. Make sure there's a space oh. in between the vote and the color. Oh. There. There we go. I'm not seeing any change on my end. And low? you guys voting, but it's not doing anything. I mean, well, can you just, like, mentally tally our votes and, you know, make a green win? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. There I think my go. vote should be at, worth at least five votes. I'm just saying. <laughs> Poll completed. It's green, baby. Woohoo! Yeah! Wow. Green. I hope he's really cute. <laughs> it's just Yoshi. <laughs> Whoa, what it's the Bodemon. fuck is that? It's Bodemon. He looks like a sack of beans. I want a new name. Alright, what's this one's name? Sack O Beans. Stillborn, oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> Beans. Hello, beans. Beans. The Digimon have been named after people on the stream this entire time. Why stillborn? What are you talking about? Beans with an umlaut. 
<laughs> Everyone is very adamant on beans. No Mistake. Beans. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go nubby. <laughs> there were enough people suggesting it, but that's what I'm going with. Yes. This one is you. Look at him. Your new Digimon walks up. <laughs> Two people were on the moon. <laughs> Man, he's already he was born with care mistakes? What is this? You know, it's it's really hard being a sack of beans. You might not realize how hard it is out here for a sack of beans, but, you know, it's just, this world wasn't made for me, and sometimes that that hurts. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what a care mistake is. <laughs> All right. What the fuck are you talking about? Ten brains, let's go. We've already got ten brains. We're fine. I'm gonna be real. I don't think I have ten brains. I think I'm lying to you. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Care mistakes carry over from Digimon to Digimon, but do not affect its current life. Oh. Well, okay. And I'm going to buy some meats because when I feed babies sirloin, it's too much food. Pokemon remembers your sins. Yeah. I'm just saying that if you dropped the curb of the sidewalk like just another inch and a half and my little bean body could hop onto it no problem it wouldn't be so hard please you've been kind of weird when you got turned into a pet it's just a pack of beans <laughs> <laughs> yes Bodomon is implied to be fuzzy He's got fur. The that's texture. why he's got that. That's what that. That's what the texture is supposed to be. I it think it's steel wool. It looks so nice, though. Look at the shape of that boy. Love it. Yeah. To me, it just looks like burlap, which is why I think sack of beans. Although burlap would be more like a sack of potatoes. But I have ten brains. What do I know? Are you putting beans in burlap? I mean, I guess as long as they're not wet beans. If they're dry beans, they're just that's dry okay. Beans. <laughs> they're dry I was thinking beans. of like. Um, there's like this thing that from like that's like a childhood memory of like it's like a heating pad and what it is is it's like a little tiny burlap pouch but it's full of beans and you microwave it and it gets hot and you can do that a lot. Oh. Okay, so we can go Agumon or Gabumon. I mean, I'm fine with either. Agumon is the only one I know. Everybody knows Agumon. Everybody loves Agumon. Big Agumon stands. All well, right, let's know, see. I'm nothing if not a rebel, so I have to go for the little guy. 10 HP, 1,000 target. One offense, 50. Oh God, I don't know what I'm looking at. 50 brains. All right, let's just start from the bottom. Work our way up. And we're here? Yeah. Nice brains. Nice brains. Dude, nice brains. Okay. Oh god. He's got poop, he's hungry, and he's sleepy. The worst living state. <laughs> I 
have some meat. And now you're sleepy. Go to sleep. Aw, that's adorable. But Bodemon's cute. He's he cute. Is. It's weird that he turns into Gabumon in this game. Because normally, I mean, I guess later, Punimon is uh, Gabumon's um, in training. Yeah, that is true. They've never really been consistent with the evolution lines across media. That's what they do. He's hungry again. Yeah, this is pre-anime, so they were just kind of, you know, doing whatever the V-Pets did. And we're digivolving, gamers. Is Coromon... You gotta love Coromon. Wow. Pink. You have to think more. More. Have you considered getting Kunimon? As an in-training any, you sleep at Kunimon's bed and there's a 50% chance it digivolves into Kunimon. But why would I want Kunimon? Is he... is he good? Okay, 50 brains, 50 speed... Nah, Kunamon is if you're looking for a bug champion Digimon. I see. Why would I need that? For Beetle Land? Do I need a do I need a bug to go to Beetle Land? To get to Beetle Land, you just need a fishing pole. Ah. Also, if you want Bakemon, because why wouldn't you want Bakemon? I mean, <laughs> why would I want Bakemon? So I can get Solmon? The best Digimon? <laughs> Easiest fishing pole to get is in Trash Mountain. Oh. But I got totally jumped when I went to Trash Mountain, so... Now I'm a scared to go back. So you can get Hat Bakemon. That's Solomon. Go to sleep. My baby's not sad. Look at him. He's happy. He's fine. Let's go get some food. Thank you. 
Okay. So that's that's good for speed. Now we got to do 50 defense, 100 offense. Right now, I'm not even going for specific Digimon. I just need a Digimon that's good enough to get stuff done. We'll think about the Beetle Land tournament and getting to Freeze Land and having virus types and vaccine types. That's all later. You don't have to say sorry. I appreciate you helping me and giving me ideas. Whoa, was that I, uh, me? That's you. That's me. Oh my gosh. I look so cute. Oh, did you just get back from something? No, I um I didn't I didn't want to disrupt anything. I um played a little mini game of a thing on my own. Uh so I looked away for a bit. Uh, and it's just like a it's like a fun little squirt gun simulator in my gun shooty game. Um, and now you're a Coromon. And now I'm a Coromon, and I'm I like it. <laughs> Coromon's a cute little guy. Mm -hmm. Go sleepy. Go sleep. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not talking to Gigi Mon. I don't want Greymon to show up. Um, who have we recruited? We've got Agumon, um, uh, Palmon, Vegemon, Marimon. I should be counting on my finger. Uh, Agumon, Palmon, Vegemon, Marimon. Bakemon, Betamon, Elecmon, Patamon, Monochromon, Celamon, uh, is that it? That might be it. Okay. Unless I'm forgetting somebody. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit, just once. But I'm playing a game in the background. Uh, Warframe uh, gun shooting game. They're having an event right now, currently, where you're just basically you just have like an all out water fight with a bunch of like NPCs. It's like very wholesome. You're just like doing like a non lethal squirt gun fight with a bunch of characters and stuff. Um, and it's it's framed like an arena battle. Um, so there's like an announcer who comes in uh, at the beginning of each round. And has some funny line to say. And there is a line that just played that I really like. And it's, all right, now get out there and show me some H2O. <laughs> 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 I just really like that. Yeah, I just started playing Warframe recently. Yeah, it's fun. It's a fun time. Yeah, I, it's a game I really like. I've been trying to get some more of our friends into it. I'm still very near the beginning, but it is fun to play. Well, hey, if you ever want someone to play it with, uh, like maybe you know, I'm just saying, like, uh, I got, I got perks. I got like, you know, if I can slide you my application, I am a Korumon, whatever that is. Uh, Koro. Kor Koromon. I'm sorry. <laughs> Said that so angrily, like Koromon. I've told you a hundred fucking Get times. Get it right. <laughs> it's like, oh. 
I'm sorry. I mean, I'm I'm surprised I got as close as I did. Because <laughs> I did genuinely forget as soon as I heard it. Oh, he's digivolving. Mm, getting through this fast. Yeah, the early stages are quick. It's once, up. Sorry, once it becomes a rookie, that's when we're we're in it for the long haul. Mm -hmm. This is Gabumon, really right? Do I have legs now? I, I got Gabumon. Oh, ho, ho. It's lazy. We did not get what we needed for Agumon. It's okay. Gabumon's a good boy. Gabumon is a good boy. I don't mind having Gabumon again. I just it changes my plans a little bit. Um, Gabumon. What do we want to go for this time? Unfortunately, this is the time of the night where I must bid you all adieu. All right. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good, night. Talk to some it was good you. meeting you. Likewise, I'll definitely try to join more streams from now on. Of course. Yeah. See you around. Yeah. Peace. Bye. Only took us eight hours to get right back where we started. Yup. <laughs> Hopefully he's slightly stronger than the Gabumon we started with, question mark. <laughs> what Digimon should we go for, though? None of these are really helpful. I mean, I can aim for Garurumon and just see what we get. 100 speed, 1000 MP. Let's just... Start with it. Only one care mistake, though. Yeah, I mean, listen, we're going to aim for the stars and, uh, land amongst the stars. It's fine. Because even if we don't get Garurumon, we'll just get, you know, something else. That's fine. We weren't really aiming for anything specific when we got Tyrannomon. Something more sinister. And Tyrannomon was great. I wouldn't mind having Tyrannomon again. He was strong enough that I was actually getting things done. So the stat target thing, your HP became 330 because you had 161 pre-Evo. Target was 500. So it gained 500 minus 161 divided by 2. Huh. I don't remember. Is there a Digimon that's basically Gabumon's pelt? It's Garurumon. It's who he turns into when he has the pelt. Well, I have one clear evolution path and then a bunch of random ones because it's fun. <laughs> That's the nice thing about Digimon is that it's very customizable, your, your gameplay experience. 
In Pokemon, if you've got a certain Pokemon, it only evolves into one thing. Digimon? It's a little more freeform. A little more loosey-goosey. That is pretty cool. Digimon has something that Pokemon doesn't. Customization. Tyrogue? Well, yeah, but it can still only become one of three things. Digimon. Going from rookie to champion, you usually have at least five options. And then further branching paths from there, whereas, like, with Eevee, you're done after one evolution. You can also backtrack in the later games. Not in this one. But yeah, in the later games, you can extend your Digimon's uh, growth power by devolving them and then re-evolving them. What? You mad about something? Doing too much training? What's up? Okay, what does it want me to do now? I'm just gonna keep training. Let's see. Hundred and fifty, two hundred, hundred and fifty, hundred and fifty, fifteen hundred. Okay. What's under my happiness bar? Is that my nerd bar? <laughs> it's discipline. Oh. I believe the nerdy glasses means he's pretty well disciplined. Um, there's like a blue face with shades that I believe means rebellious. That's fun. I'm on track to pass my entrance exams. Okay. We're tired. Oh, and we're hungry. Digimon world. Why is Digimon? I do love Digimon. Uh, listen, I, I'm having a good time. It's just a lot of game to play at once. Sure, sure. Stretch. Thank you. I know. It's right here. You're fine. Just, I gotta wonder what... I guess it was that that era where all the all the video game pets had to poop, but like, why? Why is this a mechanic? You know. Hmm. 
It was the 90s. Everything had to have the functionality to poop. Because <laughs> that's not what mom and dad would want. This is our time now. <laughs> this is our time. <laughs> you ever heard of the book Everybody Poops? Well, guess what? So do we. I agree with you, Cloud Meow. I think, like, old models just look good. Like, compare this to some of the more modern Digimon games where it's like, yeah, it's high fidelity, but, like, I don't know. Some of the monsters just don't have any personality. Whereas, like, these guys got so much personality. How's the Digimon going? It's going. It's going. I've got the exact same Digimon I started with. I'm a Gorumon. Gabumon. Go Gabumon. <laughs> <laughs> Bobomon. That's me. Boo -boo I, mean, I guess you could say anything and uh, and maybe land. I have a chance. <laughs> I'm the like it. This isn't even like a. I'm, I'm I I lean more one way than the than the other with the um, raise the funny monsters to fight games. I don't know anything about Pokemon either. These are just this is an entire genre of video game where I have no idea what I'm talking about. This is my favorite genre. This like I only play raise monster games. <laughs> I noticed the year tracker and I'm suddenly worried about this kid. Yeah, um, this kid gets stuck in the digital world for years. But the good news is, at least at this point in time, the flow of time between the digital world and the real world is not so different. So It's like Narnia. Or it is different. So he could stay here for years and still end up back home only like a couple days or weeks later. The only problem is he's experienced years worth of time in the digital world. Yeah, did anybody else like the first time they watched Narnia think it, it, or read the book also? I think it was really <laughs> fucked up how that one ends. <laughs> Where they come back after they've had entire lives in the other yeah. world and they're just, they're just the same, they're, they're in the like same old spot. And, yeah, and like, there's kids again. <laughs> I mean, I guess he gets love twice, so that's interesting. But like, like, fuck, man. But like, what do you do after you've lost so much progress of yourself and your life? I mean, you still remember all this stuff, that? right? Yeah, like you remember it, but you're like, fuck, I have to do puberty again. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're doing right this time. I I don't know. Maybe I'm the only person in the world who, whenever I'm presented with the hypothetical, like, you could go back in time with. Oh, All the knowledge either. you had, I wouldn't do it. I still wouldn't do it. I'd, I'd fuck no, something up terrifying. and I'd miss some important event and then I wouldn't be here talking to you guys, so. Yeah. You know, I'd end That's up true. some fucking where else. Like, I gotta do everything exactly right again? Like, shit, man, I don't know what I did a month ago. That's I was supposed to know exactly what I did and when to so much end up pressure. here. It wouldn't happen. There's no way. I... I mean, it's one of my favorite, like, angst angles for Digimon is... Rio goes through it where he's been in the digital world for so long and even when he gets to go back to the real world he goes back to the wrong dimension so oh. like his his parents his family he doesn't see them again in canon wait what do you mean the wrong dimension How so Digimon canonically has multiverse um so every season of Digimon takes place in its own universe and so the real worlds of each of those universes are different, but they all connect technically to the same digital world. Um, so there is a character who starts in the season two real world, gets stuck in the digital world for a long time, and then comes out in the season three real world and never sees his family again. <laughs> Does he realize that? Yeah, he knows. Oh, oh he knows. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's so scary. <laughs> He's also in the digital world for, like, years, I feel like. So he just loses a big chunk of his life and then never sees his family again. Yeah, the guy right. with Cyberdramon. That's him. Oh, my God. That's Rio. I love him. He's great. Sure, because what this franchise really needed was multiverse. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yo, it's been so long since I watched Digimon. That's so fucked up. Yeah, you you won't know that just by watching the show. Um, they do not explicitly state that at any point. But if you have played the Wonder Swan games that only came out in Japan, um, you get all this real backstory where they're just like, yeah, his life's pretty fucked up. Is this original lore? Or just dub. That's his original lore. We're tired. Is aging in the digital world ever addressed? Yeah, you don't age. I don't think so. No one's ever there long enough that they ever have anything to say about it, but I mean, like... I don't think Ryo ages while he's there? He also has to deal with his partner having a chance to become an evil god of pure destruction. That's true! Because, okay... So Ryo's fated partner is Millennium Mon, which is basically like the most evil Digimon that ever existed. And Millennium Mon is also immortal. So Ryo can't kill him. Um, so they're basically stuck in this never ending dance of Millennium Mon wants to be his partner, but Millennium Mon's evil. Um, Ryo doesn't want an evil partner. Uh, and so he teams up with other Digimon, and one of those is Monodramon, and Monodramon is eventually like, I'm going to merge with your partner so that we can be proper partners, Dio. And Ryo's like, that'll turn you evil. And he's like, I don't care. Except I don't think Ryo says anything about it, because I think that's the game where Ryo's not talking to anybody because he feels so betrayed by everyone tricking him in the previous game. Anyway... Monodramon merges with Millennium Mon. So now Monodramon is like half evil and he basically goes feral and doesn't talk and is tortured by having this evil thing inside of him. And then they can bio merge. And when they bio merge together, they become Justimon, who's like great. He's like a spirit of justice. But I'm pretty sure while they're bio merged, they are no longer immortal. That's like the only way that they could die is if they die while they're merged together. I think, I think, I could be fudging some of the details, but basically Ryo's backstory is fucked up. <laughs> uh huh. Wasn't there a really old dude, Jedi? Yeah, he's a, he's a digital person. He's not human. So like beyond the initial premise of kids get stuck in the digital world how many through lines do you think there are between digimon and cyber chase <laughs> i don't know a damn thing about cyber chase damn all right <laughs> isn't millennium on ken's fault because he made chimera mon no chimera mon happens way later millennium mon has existed for a long time um, no, Ken, as a baby, or like as a little kid, goes and fights Millennium Mon with Rio, and then, um, Millennium Mon tries to shoot his dark spores out, gets Ken in the back of the neck, and that's why Ken becomes evil in season two. He gets hit with the dark spore. Ouch. So that happens, that happens before he makes Chimera Mon or anything else. Um, offense, 150. All right. So what I'm getting from this is, like, getting a Digimon seems like a surefire way to ruin your life. <laughs> yeah, but then you have a best friend forever that can talk and defend you, and he's great. This is worth never seeing my family again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is it? You tell me. Remember the guy who tried to kill the world so he could have a Digimon? Yep. And then when he redeems himself and helps the main kids, they finally find his Digimon and his Digimon's like, you finally found me. Just step into the digital world and we can be partners forever. And then the dude fucking dies before he manages to make it over. He's like two steps away and he fucking dies. Oh. 
Digimon is a fun show for the kids. You only get a Digimon if you're already stuck in the digital world, right? Not necessarily. Sometimes Digimon come out of a computer and you just live with them in the real world and it's fine. Until an evil tornado comes and turns one of them evil. Imagine how heartbroken that Digimon must be. Oh yeah, it's really sad. So close. Is the digital world an alternate dimension or is it like a video game Sword Art Online kind of thing? It's basically so... Um, Kind of taking from all of the canons, someone creates basically little Tamagotchis in like a digital space and then they start independently evolving and the digital world becomes a whole world. It's its own universe. Um, it is a world that is digital and it is born of our internet, but it is its own thriving ecosystem that is parallel to our dimension. So... It's kind of both. It's kind of an alternate dimension and it's like a video game. But no one no one programmed it to be the way that it is, you know? It sort of evolved that way. Yeah, it just evolved that way. So, like, there are some Digimon who are like, oh, this Digimon is, like, based on a certain, like, app or, like, thing that you find on the internet a lot. And then some of them are just like, I don't know, he's a fucked up little guy and he just evolved like that. That's why there's so many Digimon that are just sexy booby ladies. You better believe there's a ton of porn on the internet. Think about it that way. If you die in the digital world, do you die in real life? Yep. There's actually a character who is um, in the digital world while he's in a coma. And if he dies, um, he flatlines. <laughs> And the other characters find this out, like, while they're interacting with him. And they're like, dude, we gotta go back to the real world and save you. And he's like, I, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> All right, we got to 150. 200 defense. All right. Oh, right, Frontier. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love uh, Frontier's got this hilarious side plot where there's these two characters who are twins. One of them knows about his brother. The other one doesn't because uh, their parents divorced. And the mother told her son that he had a brother, a twin brother, but the father did not. Um, and also told his son that his mom was dead. Um, so by the time they finally meet each other, the one is like, oh my god, I had a brother this whole time and you've been living with my mom. That's awesome. Can I meet her? And the other brother's like, no, she died right before I came to the digital world, actually. You just missed her. <laughs> oh, Digimon. <laughs> Oh, we're digivolving. Digimon, child trauma and death for kids. Finally, a show for me. <laughs> I, I mean, that's why I love the show. It's so raw. Oh, we did get Garurumon. Hey. Let's go. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm a fucking dog. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! We got Garurumon! A woof woof bark bark! I'm gonna fuck you up! Look at him! Let's Doge! 11 brains. Metal Garurumon doesn't exist yet, no. Let's see what our options are. We can get... Skull Greymon or Mega Seedramon? 
Uh, the Mega Seedramon would be fine. What are what do we got to get here? 3,000 HP, 4,000 MP, 500 offense, 400 defense, 300 brains, or 300 speed, 400 brains. Oh my god. No Wergarurumon in this game, no. Very important. Get tons of brain. I feel like I should just go, like, fight stuff, right? Because there's no way I'm raising all this stuff enough to have him be <laughs> ultimate. Like, it's just not happening, right? Uh-huh. Go fight stuff. You yeah, I gotta recruit a new person. Now. But if, Gob if that Gobamon has 250... 2,500 HP. Like, what am I... Who can I even go recruit right now? Recruitment guide. Real quick. Uh... Greymon, Airdramon, Airdramon. That's way later, isn't it? Seedramon, Ninjamon, Edamon, Dramojamon, Ogremon, Betamon, Vegemon, Centaurmon, Pixilon. What order should I go in, though? Airdramon needs plus 50 pro pros prosperity. Prosperity. Wheatley, thank you for resubscribing. Four months. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Kunimon, Palmon, Agumon. We got all of those. Merimon. Did this already. After beating Merrimon, the lava floor will have cooled and can be walked on. You'll see Dramojamon that drilled the tunnel. Talk to him. He'll say that he's almost finished. Come back three days later and talk to him again. Creates the treasure hunt shop. We haven't done that yet, have we? Should I go do that? An ultimate is easier after getting a fishing rod and getting Seedramon to take you to Beetle Land. So should I do that? Okay, well, come on, Garurumon. Let's go do something. Let's go do some things. Because what, Trash Mountain, you said, was where I could get a uh, fishing rod, right? Ippy Blockhead, thank you so much for the donos. Much appreciated. Gambare, thank you. Oh, he roar. Uh. Trash Mountain has the fishing rod. We could go get Dramojamon. Let's get Dramojamon. Oh, he's sad. Why is he sad? What's the matter? Oh, do you not like... Do you not like Drill Tunnel? Is that what it is? He doesn't like it here. It's because you're a cold boy, huh? You don't like it in there. I mean, we could go Trash Mountain. And just get the fishing rod. I can do Dramojamon later. It's not like I'm really jonesing for Dramojamon. Do I have enough items with me? Yeah, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh. Oh, 
All right, Garumon, let's see how you fight. Oh, you also have this attack. Vixen, have you played the Digimon Smash clone? Yeah, I love it. Digimon Rumble Arena. Oh god, you're out of MP. Here you go. I need that, please. <laughs> You gotta give me my MP back. You got him, Garumon. I love Garumon's model in this. He's so cute. Axolotl, thank you for subscribing. Oh, oh, thank you. Here's the mushroom. Yes. Are you still hungry? You're still hungry. Of course. Very good. Very good. Ugh. Just trying to get to Trash Mountain, man. Leave me be. Have you checked out your attacks? You can equip more than one. What? Oh. Well, shit, man. That would have been really helpful. Thank you. <laughs> there, now we have a non-MP attack. This dog can megaton punch. Oops. Well, we're learning. <laughs> Only 10 hours into the game and I'm still learning stuff. Crazy how video game work. You gotta be like an expert at this point, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ten hours is not enough time to understand Digimon World. <laughs> Digimon demands more of you. Back to Gear Savannah. Oh, why the camera angle changing every screen? Because this game's cinematic. Beomon? Where? Why is this screen so close up? Yeah, Psychmon! <laughs> From where you found Patamon, go down. Oh, okay. I'll go back. are not happy with me. Please, I'm too young to be old. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Beelmon. No way. Ah! Okay. Beelmon, come back. I'm here again. Uh. 
Man, this translation's real bad. at her from this direction. I don't know, Garurumon. I don't know. corner and tell your Digimon to chase Biomon to you. Oh. How do I... Maybe I'll wait. Oh, okay. Wait. All right, Nubby. Get rid of Beomon. Okay. You got it, boss. <laughs> we got you. The ambush is a success. <laughs> Don't panic. We're not the bad guys here. We just scared the shit out of you for no reason. Are you the famous Digimon kidnapper? I think everyone has the wrong idea. <laughs> <laughs> Tried the to convince famous them. famous Digimon kidnapper. We love that guy. <laughs> I see. It's my mistake. I'll go to the city. Okay, I'll go bye. <laughs> All right. Well, there's another Digimon. Is there anything else on this screen? Is that my ugly son, Garurumon? He's not ugly. Garurumon's great. But yes, it is Garurumon. Not to be confused with Gururumon, which is a different Digimon. And doubly not to be confused with Garuda Village, which is a location in The Legend of Zelda. Not to be confused with Garudamon, who is a Digimon. <laughs> mm. Stay away. Everybody stay away. Okay, just Psychmon. I can handle that. So as long as I don't proc all three of them. That's the big problem. There we go. Now we have a variety of attacks that don't eat all our MP. Was that a shiny Gabumon? Yeah. <laughs> this is Psychmon. He's a completely different species. I can't. Oh no! Oh no! Bro, what the hell? I was. I was getting into the. Bro, I'm pissed. I was going into the menu. <laughs> and think of what what that cost you the next time you want to go in the menu. Is it worth Karurumon's life? <laughs> oh, boy. 
And there goes a bunch of my items. There goes all of my meat. Oh, oh no. God. Oh. That sucks. That's a little doo doo water. <laughs> Gotta say. Oh, another rain plant grow? Thank you for the five pieces of sirloin. I appreciate it, Vegemon. <sighs> Well, shit. What is, what does protection do? What does protects your condition in battle mean? Is it just like no status effects? Can you rearrange inventory? Um, yes, I can. There we go. Well, I guess we just walk all the way over there again. This is rough, gamers. <laughs> I'm gonna post this VOD and someone's gonna, like, point at this point in the stream and be like, look at this idiot, doesn't even know. <laughs> Ten hours in. I don't think they know what they're doing. <laughs> I think they have no idea what they are doing. I think I figured it out. <laughs> Who let them cook? <laughs> Rain plan is now an MP restoring item you can only use outside of battle. Oh, I should have grabbed it. Who let them mod, dude? <laughs> Get them out of here. Get them out of here. <laughs> oh, he like kicks his little feet. That's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> Think this reindeer knows what she's doing. <laughs> Top speed run for this game is one hour. Something tells me this is unoptimal play. Yeah, you think? <laughs> Oh yeah, Clown Meow. I could never hate this game. It's my childhood. And the vibes are immaculate. Listen to that File City music. Ooh. Did I miss the rain plant? Is it going to be gone now? Because it's not... Is it still the 15th? It is the 15th. Okay. Wait. Yeah, I'll take it with us. All right, Gurumon, we can try this again and hopefully not fucking die to a Psychmon. Who planted that Palmon and Tanamon? They planted themselves. Vegemon showed up and they were like, we don't have to work anymore. And they, now they don't work. <laughs> I like maracas. Oh. You just shake the shit out of them, dude. It's so easy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you go a little boom boom, maka like a boom boom. You just chicka chicka chicka. You know, you just you shake it and it goes, it makes the noise and you do it. Anybody can do it. A five year old can play a maraca just as well 
as an adult me can play a maraca, and I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty tight. <laughs> Let's go. I love this game. Hey, Octo. Good to see you. Octo, that's you can jump in voice call shaken. if you want. That's How are you true. doing, my friend? If you dare into the lair of us. <laughs> The fellas squad. Hey, what's up? I love Digimon World, the first one for PS1 so much. And one time I tried to catch Seedramon for like three hours and couldn't do it. And I cried. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's like really tragic. Yeah. Bro, I've been Thank playing this game. That vulnerable moment with us. Listen, I've been playing I've... this game for 10 hours now. Let's dude. go. I can't think of a better way to spend 10 hours. Oh my god. I, I'm so... how? What's your prosperity rating at? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about in the game. I don't know if you can really, like, quantify prosperity in real life, but let's just stick with Digimon World for now. I think it's called I... your bank account. Hey, your bank account. What's your prosperity account. rating right now? What's your bank account rating on a zero yeah. of one to a billion dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm around like 15 right now. Okay, uh, yeah, you got a few. You're rocking Garurumon. Yeah, I got a Garurumon, dude. Okay, all right, all Finally right. Finally, a okay. good Digimon. Like the 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 first one I always go for is Palmon and then Vegumon, like as soon as I possibly can. Oh yeah, because Any particular reason? Oh, they give you the better meats in the in the meat farm. Uh, oh, 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 like to recruit. I thought you meant like as a partner. I was like, no, Why? fuck those guys. They suck. <laughs> They're ass. But like, as far as like city people that I want to get, I get them. No, so. yeah, I, same. Yeah, yeah, they give yeah, you the better Yeah, we've got meat. Vegemon. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, yeah, so you get the, the, yeah, you get the big meats. Gotta get um, those big meats. Yeah, the, it was so funny because this game is so kind of reliant on you either just trial and erroring the hell out of it or buying the strategy guide, which I respect from a marketing perspective. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This game this game really wants you dead if you don't know what the hell's going oh, on. Oh, 100%. I saw you had a Numamon earlier. I'm appa I'm sorry for that. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I... I'm, yeah. So my, my Digimon so far have been mm. Tyranimon, okay. then Numamon, okay. then... Uh, Moyajimon. Okay. And now Gururumon. Okay. Um, you, uh, I remember you were wondering what you do with the Numamon. Usually if I end up with Numamon, I take him to Toy Town and just get the Monzaemon. Right, yeah, but I don't have, I don't, I didn't have Toy Town at that point. He was oh, only oh one. it was early. That's right. Okay, yeah, never mind. Don't worry. Don't listen to me. Never listen to but me. But yeah, I, I went and did, I went and did Monochromon while I had the Numamon. Oh, fuck that. I hate that one. I hate that game. Wow. Is this trash file? I didn't know there's one in Digimon World. Damn. Damn. <laughs> is this oh, is this trash pile? Man, that would be a good like um uh text box to get, like print it out and put it on the entrance to my apartment. <laughs> is this trash pile? Wow, is this trash pile? <laughs> this is interesting. I've never seen anything like this. Oh my goodness, the poop are moving and talking. It, Bro. It sounds what? like the first half of clickbait. Is this trash pile? The answer may surprise you. And then, like, it is. Yeah. <laughs> and you're What's like, the name? where's the surprise? <laughs> What's the name Should of this Digimon again? Should we ask him to come? Uh, Sukumon. <laughs> yeah? Is it? <laughs> Suka these nuts. <laughs> anyway, Should we sorry. ask him to come to the city? We shouldn't be prejudiced. <laughs> God, I love the translation in this game. <laughs> This is a paradise only for the Sukumon tribe. Others can't live here. Then you can't live in other places? Of course not. What do you think? Were you stupid? Come on, man. You can look around. Oh, just to look. Okay. Great. I like how, I like how Sukumon has like the hot topic wristband and rings on. That's a very it's a very powerful look and I kind of wish I could rock it. Can I get this? Can I have this? It's an old fish rod. Let's go. Oh my god. Old fish rod. Let's go. Um Yeah, there's like there's a tr there's there's training here. Yes. Um people I think people use this in the speedrun. I don't remember. <laughs> um I know that the, this dude can just turn your Digimon into a Sukumon, right? Yes, I think I think that is a thing. Yeah, I think that he can do that. 
training, hide in trash. Explain. Mental training by putting yourself in dirty trash. Max MP is greatly boosted. Mm hmm. We okay. love that. Do I want to do that? I mean, you can I... always use more MP. I think it makes you sick, though, or it increases your, your sick meter. I don't remember um, if that's 100% true, but, you know. Damn. Do, do what you feel is right. You're the Digimon trainer. That's what you're doing. You're, it's your companion. Oh, other way. He de-digivolves Sukumon back to what they were before they digivolved. Mm -hmm. So when they say he'll turn you into something miserable, they mean not a Sukumon. Right. I see. I yeah. see. I see. Um, did you ever have an actual little Digimon, like, virtual pet? I had the Digivice-shaped ones okay. when I was I, a kid. Yeah. And I then have, yeah. now I have, like, the little anniversary V-pet. Um, I have, I used to have a little yellow one, the square one, um, an original release one. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, I think I know where it is, but yeah, I never, I only did, the, I don't know if they ever made the other generations here. Because the first one was, like, Greymon... Um, Mamemon, Monzemon, uh, who else? Um, Numamon was in that one. Um, yeah, there were a bunch of, there were a bunch of them in, in the first generation, but I don't remember, like, if the other generations ever came here. I always wanted them, though. Hmm. Yeah, I remember for Christmas one year, I got, um, the Vmon D3 and the Hawkmon D3, and I was Let's so go. excited. Let's fucking go. We love that. Good old right. Vmon. So now we get out of here and we go try and get Seedramon? Oh, God. I think is the play. I hate Seedramon. The, the fishing one? Do you, yeah, the fishing. It, yeah, yeah, because that's over by... Um, that's how you get to Beetle Land, right? He takes you over yeah. to Beetle Land, yeah. And, and apparently you... getting to Beetle Land is what needs to happen before um, getting ultimates is going to be really viable well i think the training devices on in b land are like more efficient so right. people you'd like to unlock that as fast as possible because <laughs> it makes everything easier not to power game or any digimon <laughs> world one for the ps1 but you know it, the Listen, option is there i need help I, i've been doing this for 10 hours oh my goodness um i always thought that like the different areas in this game were kind of cool just because like it does feel very like digimon adventure like how mm -hmm. just like every everything's kind of there and um it's uh uh like they don't explain anything like if you if you just show up in the factorial town factorial town or whatever like they don't tell you what to do you just kind of have to like look around and figure it out through context clues it's pretty cool yeah i, I do like it i would love like I would love if, like, this configuration of the island was, like, canon more. Mm, mm, mm. Like, Fair. I would love to see some of these areas in, like, the anime without yeah. it being, like, stupid and fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Do they call it File Island? I can't remember. Yeah. In, in yeah. Adventure, it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the Digimon you recruit in Beetle Land will also improve your home training setup to be better. Oh. That's right. If you recruit, I think it's Kuwagamon? I think, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, um, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've played through this game a number of times. I've never beaten this game. I've only You've never beaten, beaten it? I've only beaten Digimon World 2. Um, I love Digimon World 2. Uh Digimon World 2 is awesome. Yeah, which team did you join? Uh, you got to go Black Swords. What? No, it was Gold. Was it Gold Falcons? Is that what it is? That's the gold the Hawks Blue gold Falcons. Gold Hawks Blue Falcons, that's right. Yeah, the 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 vaccine ones. Yeah, I always joined the the Gold Hawks. Yeah, I love Digimon World too. I loved the like the digi buggy building stuff, like getting the parts. Mm -hmm. That was always a lot of fun. I like that you have got to have a team of three, and yeah. I really, I really love the graphics in that game. It's like yeah. this game, yeah. but like a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, that game's tight. I love that game. Um, I also love the expanded roster. There's, like, so many Digimon in that game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and I I love the the Japanese only attack call out. Oh yeah, that's right. That was always weird to me. Um, I don't have yeah. the money to dub this. Yeah, are you kidding me? So many call outs. All those Digimon. Yeah. Well, that's here. why like the opening cutscene of this game is just Mona Marshall as every kid. Yeah. Whoa! It's Digimon. <laughs> yeah. God, this game's so good. God, this game rules. I also never beat this game. You never beat it? Uh, it's it's no. worth a playthrough. Getting 100 percent or getting like 100 prosperity is. Um, some of the little mini games are tough, but overall, it's it's a worthwhile game to play, in my opinion. Okay. okay. We've made it all the way back. Now we need to go to the lake. Is it? It's specifically the part of the lake that's like not top down, right? Yes, it's it's sort of like a um mode seven sort of flat view. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you can see Cedramon's shadow. Oops. Um, okay, well, kill it. Yeah, sorry, Betamon, or whatever this Digimon is. Madoki Betamon. Sorry, Madoki Betamon. My bad. Um, did you get Celamon? That's I like, did get Celamon. Yeah, that's like an a early one that you kind of need to get. Yeah, we got Celamon. I've got Monochromon, I've got Patamon, so the shop is pretty much done, I think. Okay. Um, Patamon, Silamon. Does Gobblemon work there too? Am I wrong? Maybe he doesn't, I don't know. Um, I feel like Unimon? Yes, it's Unimon, you're right. It is Unimon. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, the, the ones that I usually go for first are like, Palmon, Vegemon, Birdramon is also really helpful. Yeah, I don't um, have Bergeron. Yeah, Bergeron's the fast travel. And that's so nice. Um, you could probably get her right now if you if you want to after whatever after Cedramon. Um, but the fast travel is so helpful. Yeah, I I just I haven't fucked around over in the canyon much. Sure. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, um, Gobumon does treasure hunting with Dromojamon. That's right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because that does the you can pay them in, and I think they can like sometimes bring back random items for you. Hmm. Um, one of the things that always made me upset is that there's items, there's Digivolution items in the game for Digimon that are not actually in the game. So by what, by that, I mean, there's, um, a Digivolution item for Weregururumon, but I don't think Weregururumon's in this game, actually. But he the, is not. Yeah. yeah, but the Digivolution item exists for him in the files. You can actually get it by hacking it. Um, oh. By hacking it in, but yeah. Where's the other does... fishing spot? Okay, so you have to go to... I think you have to go through the forest, if I'm not mistaken. Is it like down here? Yeah, I think it's south. You'll know it. You'll know it when you see it, because it's got like reeds and lily pads and stuff. Oh, I know exactly what I'm looking for. I just oh yeah 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 there. yeah yeah yeah. I'd have to. I had spent a long time. Oh, is it over here? Maybe. Yeah yeah. I think you're going to the west. Gaburimon. Not Gaburimon. Gaburimon. Yeah. Um. Do you know? Oh, I wonder who Gaburimon's gonna digivolve into. I wonder who you gonna get? If he up. does digivolve at all, yes. My options are Mega Seedramon or um, Skull Greymon. Both okay options. Both fine options. Get him. Come on. <laughs> they just freeze like that. I love the little flip. It's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. We love that for him. God, there's something about the aesthetics of, like, PS1 games, you know? It's just so good. I, I was saying this earlier, but, like, I really wish more indie games, instead of doing, like, Pixel art would do yeah. this. There's Here we been, are. There's yeah. This is what we're looking for. Yep, yeah, that's what we want. Um, let's see, is he swimming out there? You should see him swim by. And actually hooking him is really hard, or like like fishing him. It's just tedious. Hmm. I don't see him. You might need higher prosperity, but. 
Yeah, we might not be able to do this yet. Yeah, yeah. You'd he's got a pretty big shadow, and he'd be he'd be far out there. You'd see him. Um. Anyway, I gotta go take care of some stuff, but I want to say hi and also wish you good luck streaming uh, this game because it's awesome. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by, friend. Of course. I'll see you later. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 -bye. Oh, it's a specific time of day that he comes by? Oh, boy. Well, what else can we do? Um, we can also do... We haven't done Centaurumon yet. Haven't done... We could do Bergeron, like like Octo mentioned. Bergeron would be nice to have. Some fast travel. Oh Jesus! No, I don't want to heal you. <sighs> I could use the autopilot and just get out of here. I might do that. Bergeron's pretty tough. Make sure to stock up on gags. Oh, I gotta fight him? Ugh. Ugh. I don't want my guy to die. I love him so much. Please don't let me die. I don't want to do Dramodramon because he hates it in there. Hmm. Yeah, we could go do Centaurumon. That might be the play. I'm so happy. Okay, Centaurumon. Um... Yeah, I'm going to need to bring some items with me. Some more medium recovery. Upon machine here now? It's a Digimon card vending machine. I think you can get a card for 100 bits. Okay. That's to get... Oh Jesus. I knocked I knocked my headphones out. <laughs> oh, my favorite burrito place. They sell desserts sometimes and today they were doing chocolate cheesecake. And it's good fucking chocolate cheesecake. <laughs> Cards look neat, but you can also trade them to Shogun Gekomon for a better rod and an easier Seedramon. I see. Man, this game is so much more involved than little me could have ever imagined it would be. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right, let's go do Centaurumon. Wait, he's gonna hate it there too because it's gonna be hot. At that point, I might as well do Dramojamon. Hmm. 
I mean, I guess it, I mean, you gotta go do it eventually, right? Let me go heal. I'm gonna use chair to heal. Like, if I think Garurumon's gonna be alive for a while, then I, I still gotta go do these things, even though they're in hot environments. Mm. Could try fighting Greymon. I think he would show up at this point, right? Don't know if he hates the tropic like he hates the hot tunnel, though it doesn't take too long to get in and out for Dramojamon. Hmm. You can go get Dramojamon really fast. Oh yeah, we could autopilot out. That's true. Oh, poor baby. Oh, we're so upset. The world is fucking ending. Which one is that? That's Moxie. It's always Moxie. It's never Koo. <laughs> Moxie That's... needs some fucking help. Have He's you upset. no heart? <laughs> She does this all day, every day. <laughs> what do you want? I uh, I had a cat. We we basically bring in like a cat. There was like somebody's like I gotta move somewhere. They don't really have like an animal thing. Can you like basically take care of our animal? Um, and they usually do it at the at a very particular point in the cat's life, which is like sixteen years old, which is old for a cat mm -hmm. um so i'm very much expecting them to be just like take care of the cat until they die oh. but we always like take care of it and they just live for years mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're like hey it's been three years your cat is 19 years old Can can you get your cat? <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning of this, you said it was temporary, and it has been three years. <laughs> uh, and one of those cats was, like, super, super needy. Like, would wail constantly. Aww. And, uh, <laughs> and, like, if you ever allowed it in your space it would like jump on you and then sit there for hours um like six hours and then it will like jump off of you and then just start meowing at you again <laughs> and then you'll like go like all right you want me to go somewhere and like i'd follow it and then it would like go to another spot for it be like sit here <laughs> and then it'll jump on me and just lay there and I'm like I can't do this every day <laughs> <laughs> I like Guru Oman's little strut as he comes out of the toilet it's really cute he's just like I'm done how's that for you I'm strutting <laughs> Who's gonna stop me? Okay, we're gonna go in the drill tunnel and we're gonna get Dramojamon. I know you don't like it here.
they said we have to go to where the stuff is like where the where the lava river used to be so in here I love cats I feel like I uh, maybe our family has a special touch with cats because the first cat that we had that grew up with us um, was the same age as my brother uh, and uh, she died at the age of 26 Oh, wow and at the time it was five years before the world record like the, the oldest cat at the time was 31 I think it is like 30 I think it's like mid to high 30s now But we're just like, we took a very good care of this cat. <laughs> yeah, damn. Somewhere in here? That's a fucking geriatric cat right there. Yeah. Her back good legs life. were not, like, the best at the end, but, like, she, she still did really well. Like, I think even, it, like, when she hit 20, she could still, like, jump up on counters pretty well. Oh. A different spot? Am I in the wrong spot? What? <laughs> she has nothing to say about that. <laughs> I just love the... What? What? <laughs> just go all down when in lava cave. There's so many... Oh, the Demi Marimon are harmless? Oh, that's nice. There's so many screens where it's just like, you gotta run straight at the screen, and I never imagine that that is the correct direction to go. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. All right. It'll be open soon. Okay. So now I come back in three days? Open soon? You gotta be shitting me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. There's no way. Now we can come back in three days. Okay. Great. Well, that's set up. Uh, I guess now Centaurumon. He's hungry. Let's get you out of the drill tunnel first. Yeah? This is why I have an emote on my stream that's just this cat screaming. Because <laughs> this is what she does. <laughs> I I've accidentally flung my fork off of my um my plate that I was eating the cheesecake with. And it went like pretty high in the air. It went like almost out of arm's reach, but I I reached out and I just caught it. I just snatched it. Ooh. And uh it didn't touch ground. Impressive. It's like one of those moments that make you think you might be Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had one moment like that that I can actually like pull um, is uh, there was a um, a time where uh, my brother with, with his uh, girlfriend at the time um, went over to me like hey yeah tell, tell you do, you're really good at video games I'm like I have no idea what you're trying to do like, yeah, I was just saying you're really good at video games. Like, all right, I'm pretty good. Like, all right, uh, can, can you prove it? I looked around, saw a fly, grabbed it out of the air, and then opened my palm to have it crawl around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've shit. done that to a few flies in my life, but they've never survived. <laughs> it's always a, it's always just like a monkey grip be gone. <laughs> I haven't. To this day, no idea why they asked me that. 
They want to um, know. You're, you're like good at video games, right? Go to the clearing east of the beach. Take the east path and follow the screen north to reach Amida Forest. We receive a warning that Centaramon will shoot you for trespassing. Duck and weave between the three alternate paths until you reach the circle sign. Centaramon will greet you and congratulate you. Oh, it's ghost leg. Okay. But in Digimon World, the player must travel to the Amida Forest, the forest being in Amedakuji. Traveling the correct pass will eventually see them recruit Sentarumon. Traveling the incorrect pass will cause their Digimon damage. Okay, but but what is it? Sentarumon path? You are very correct, Axe. That's basically how it went down. <laughs> so, um, the other day, um, I don't know how the conversation started up, but they're like, ah, oh, these, there are television shows that are, like, really bad. Um, they mentioned, like, um, God's somethingville i can't remember that one but um the other one was velma and i'm just like oh, i remember people liking velma and they're like what the hell are you talking about i don't believe you i'm like what, what I mean, did i say i mean what the hell are you talking about that show's see? horrible <laughs> see that's like everyone's reaction i'm like hold on there has to be something okay what is this i looked at it and i'm like Oh, no, I was thinking of, of, um... The character. History, Inc. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I see. So, I had to f then figure out what the heck Velma was. So I went into, like, an hour's deep dive, not watching it, because it's basically recommended by most people to not watch it. Uh, but just, like, reviews on it. Um. Oh, I see. Okay. You have to zigzag, and which path is correct is random each time. Okay. I... Go ahead. So I'm, I'm figuring out what to do in my game. Don't worry about me. <laughs> so, um... I watched a fairly lengthy, I think, four or five hour video on it. Um, I, I watched the first one of just, like, here is an angry British man that has their own general, like, lens of what's going on and very loud opinions about things. Yeah. Um, which was fine. Uh, but then I, there was a person that was much more level-headed that was just like, yeah, this is actually just really bad and hear all the things about it. Um, and it, it was very eye-opening to see, like, the two differences were like one person like just went in depth and tried to like kind of say what it is as is instead of just kind of kind of just yelling about it uh-huh um how do i get to this forest huh. serves as the entrance to the ancient dino region from tropical jungle Passing through the mangrove. No? No? How the hell do I get here? <laughs> I don't know. How to get to? I don't understand. Meta Force is to the right, two screens from here. I think what happened to the the like two videos that I watched was I think the the person who in the second video just lives in a um 
Well, basically lives in, uh, I think, South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, so they got to have the perspective of being an outsider looking into what's being usually given in that show, since it has a lot of, like, um, American hot buttons. Yeah. And, like, pointed that out a lot, and I'm like, that's fascinating. <laughs> I, I kind of love that. We're like... Oh. Uh, it's showing it right there. Sorry. Uh, I found it. Cool. Um, I, I just love the concept of just being able to see things in another perspective, because I'm... To be perfectly frank, I am very, like, ingrained into the, uh, American culture and how, like, we perceive things and so on and so forth, so it's very nice to kind of step out of that for a second. Yeah. But you're about to get shot. <laughs> that would have scared the hell out of me as a kid, just the, I will shoot. I'm just like, oh god, please. Please don't. Oh, no, it's not that. He's gonna shoot at me. Uh, Ow. Stress so it, it should be this one. I'm just, gonna, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna heal my Digimon real quick. No, you gotta eat it. Eat it. That's so weird that it makes them happy to be scolded. It's amazing that you made it through the forest. I am Sensharumon. I'm sorry for what I did. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I did. <laughs> I didn't test you for fun. I want to work with you. Go on. I'll stay in the city. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Me when I'm 12 and I lied about eating the last cookie. <laughs> I feel really bad. I'm sorry for what I did. I'm anyway, sorry. ancient dino region. <laughs> oh, he doesn't mind it here? This doesn't count as a hot area? It is cooler in the shade. Uh, oh. Oh. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, get him. Oh god, he's got a lot of HP. Uh, you got some good hits, though. That's... Oh, oh god. Oh, Jesus. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, you got him. That's a nice stun. You got him. You're fine. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, maybe the mana thing might be a problem. But we'll get, get him with there. Some healing. We got it. We got it. Uh, do I have any uh, mana recovery? Uh, do I not have any mana recovery items on me? You do have the banana. I can't use the banana in battle. It's only for outside of battle. Oh. <laughs> Shit, dude, this keeps happening to me. You can heal him though and then get a finish, maybe? No, I can't do the finish without MP. I'm fucked. Oh. Rain plants only for outside. Oh no, it's his for inside battle. <sighs> Shit, man. I fucked up. I should have healed him. I'm so mad. He's got one more heart. I just, I won't fight anybody anymore. Peaceful route. <sighs> I'm sorry. Now we can go recruit Unimon, but what if... <laughs> oh, 
sorry. I'm sorry, did I disturb you? <laughs> She's mad because I moved my chair. Ugh. Should I go do Unimon when I've only got one heart left? I feel like that's dangerous. Or should I just train and see if he digivolves? Hmm. What does your heart tell you? I don't know. I really enjoyed having a Garurumon, but um, I got my shit beat so many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Unimon is in a fight, but like, if there's enemies, ugh, I'm worried. Let's go buy some shit. Let's actually have MP recovery. Oh, I've got like oh, no bits, dude. Oh, God. What about Greymon? He's just gonna come and kill me. <laughs> hmm. Greymon will murder. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring. Uh, can I afford an autopilot? Probably not, right? What if I sell orange banana? and buy autopilot. I want to be able to get out of there. Do you not have any items in storage? That's a great question. I have no idea. I don't think so. I think I took them all out earlier. How's my Digi Destiny? Uh, well, I thought it was going pretty good when I got a Garurumon, but now my Garurumon's on his last life and I'm not feeling so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all I've gotten here are bandage and medicine. Oh, I if I'm going to Unimon, I do need to take these with me, do, with, with me don't I? Cures wounds and some sickness. I don't need all of this with me. Oh, does the medicine not work? Do I have to give him a recovery? Those are my recoveries, though. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I give him the medicine? I'm sorry, Guru Remind. Gonna try and digivolve them soon would need to be the time. The stat thresholds aren't low. Yeah, I know. There's no way I'm getting to ultimate with this. Like, I've gotta... I've gotta unlock Beetle Land so I can get the more efficient... training. Beat up Madoki Betamon for a 40% drop chance of small recovery? Okay. Yeah, like we could, I could try and get Unimon and just see if we can get through there without fucking dying. So, in this game, can you really only have like one Digimon at a time? Yeah.
You got this, Garmon. He can't do anything to you. Yata. Just start saying shit. <laughs> Omerito, Yata, Oyasumina Sai. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so me is good night. Okay. You know, that's that's fair. I, I didn't climb. You're right. <laughs> can you just... Can you... Do you need MP? Can you just attack him? Do you have regular attacks? No? You need MP? There you go. I've forgotten Stump. Thank you for subscribing. Much appreciated. Ah, nice subscribing. There you go. I will stretch. Don't lose what? a heart. I'm trying. <laughs> Give me that small recovery. If you lose one, if if you lose one more of my hearts, I am so done. I only got three of those. <laughs> Played this as a kid. Many a lost Digimon. Yup. You can unequip higher MP attacks while you're grinding. That's so smart. Then he only has the lower MP attack. That's so smart. I'm learning so much 11 hours into Digimon World. <laughs> Equipping attacks. I completely forgot about that element of this game and also Monster Rancher. <laughs> we have to have like specific attacks and specific distances when fighting people. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Long range, close range. The shove. The shove. I love Monster Rancher. It oh, yeah, I said Tarumon <laughs> now. I said Tarumon heal me. Is it better than the chair? I mean, the chair the chair doesn't do tiredness much, but it, it does heal my HP and MP, right? Would you stream Monster Rancher? Maybe. Oh, no, it doesn't heal. Ooh. Where's Centaurumon? Very funny that the, the like doctor Digimon that they chose was Centaurumon, considering he only has one hand and his other hand is a cannon. There he is. I think you mean his other hand is the anesthetic. <laughs> hey Silmon. When a rookie Digimon comes to the city, it's plus one point. When a champion Digimon comes to the city, it's plus two points. If an ultimate Digimon comes to the city, it's plus three points. However, there are three champion Digimon that are not very useful. Whenever one of them comes, it's only plus one point. Okay. 
You really that talking like a about? champion Digimon who's fed up with the system. <laughs> when an ultimate Digimon comes into the city, it's plus three points. But when I come into the city, it's plus one point. <laughs> it's bullshit. Get rid of his tiredness. Sell me some medicine. Nothing. When he doesn't feel good, come see me. Staying in cold or hot places for too long can cause illness. Whoa. I see. I do remember that. What if I just want to heal his HP and MP? Do I just have to wait until he's ready to sleep? Hmm. I don't know. I'm starting to get sleepy, gamers. It's happening. I'm, 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 I'm 11 Wait. hours in. On the 11th hour. One more, gamers. One more. One more. One more. By the way, the VOD is probably going to be shorter than 12 hours. <laughs> I'm just going on record that it was a 12 hour stream. One. More hour, hour stream. One more hour. The chant continues for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> One more hour. I have not played store some items. too many, like, m raising monster games. I've played a lot of, like, monster, like, JRPGs. A lot of, like, the kind of Pokemon esque games. Um, but not a lot of the ones that are just like, train up your dude, have them, like, um, uh, competing tournaments, or, I guess in this game, rally the troops. <laughs> like, a, a, a side objective other than just having a team and beating up other teams. The only one I can think of that I played that came even a little close to being that was, I guess, like... Uh, when I was a kid, there was like a, a Geopets game that I had. Uh, I don't know, maybe Geopets? Score. Yeah, it was like knockoff Neopets, but like they instead of like going to a website like Webkins or something, you they came with like a chip that you pl could plug into a controller, which went into your TV via the audio video auxiliary cables, and then it, it had mini games on it and like and, and stuff like that. My grandma gave it to me. <laughs> oh. I had, I think it was like a scorpion was my pet. Oh. Had, had a Neopets, I, I recently got a Neopets game for the PlayStation 2. It's called like the Darkest Fairy or something like that. Oh yeah. Nothing to do with like racing, it's like a platformer. <laughs> I had, like, a lot of plug-and-play games like that as a kid. I had one that I fucking loved that was, like, a plug-and-play mini-golf game. Um, and it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. I liked it a lot. It, it sounds was, not great. It had, like, a, it had one of those, like, sensor bars on the golf club. And oh. a little mound that would be, like, where the tee was. And you would swing it. You would swing the golf club over the sensor on the little mound, and it would it would judge like trajectory and like how fast you were swinging it to see how to, to calculate where the ball would go. And it and it didn't do a very good job at that. <laughs> oh, where I want the room on. When I get sleepy and I want to go to sleep, I do a backflip. <laughs> yeah, you know, just the last stretch before bed. God, I wish there were more games. <laughs> I I want more chows in my life. <laughs> I thought that was like your full statement. I wish there were more games. I wish there were more games. Not that many of them, really. There are more games than you could probably ever finish in your lifetime. Yeah, I, I found that out the hard way. 
It's like go. It's like seeing the one million channels on like cable TV and be like, "There's nothing on." Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, but sometimes it's, there is nothing on. You can have too many options. Like sometimes if you just have like two kinds of cookie to pick from, it's like, well, I can have this cookie or this other cookie. But if you have like a billion fucking cookies, and it's like, oh, man, I don't fucking. Uh, then you don't even have cookies because you're overwhelmed by the, the the absurd number of choices you have. There's no Wait. food. The fridge is full. Yeah, full of shit. There's no food. <laughs> I, I feel like back in the day it was feasible to be able to play every game that existed. Now, no. Yeah, no. time. I there weren't know. as many. Maybe? I mean, if, if when you're a kid you have more time to play games, and there might not have been as many coming out. Like, I don't know the release schedules of games, but there probably wasn't that many games. And, like, the games you got were games your parents got you. And, like, how often is that, you know? Yeah, but, like, like, I don't know. like if, if we're saying, like, it was possible to play every video game, like, even in so far back as, like, you know, early 90s, you have a lot of, like, like strategy games and, MMORPGs and like, like just little, 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 I guess like indie projects and stuff. And then not to mention all the licensed shit. I, Hold on, I feel like it would 90s? be a lot. Well, okay. MMORPGs probably not, but like, <laughs> like you get what I mean? Like I'm, I, I said that, but I was thinking of like, um, what's it called? Uh, Myth. <laughs> that's that's completely it's different. It's not an MMO. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> like I have a uh, Vixen VTuber. I have a question that wasn't answered earlier. Will there be any swearing in the Digimon movie redubs? Like mild language? Um, the most intense language is Davis says this sucks. Yeah, and... that makes sense. What the heck? And Brian Donovan, like, had a reaction to that. He was like, oh, back in the 90s, you could not have an anime character say, this sucks, if it was, like, a kid's show. Like, oh, that's a little racy. And I was like, really? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, yep. Yeah. Just, you can't do that. And I was like, that's so funny. Well, this dub is being done in 2023, where this sucks is really not that bad anymore. So, mm -hmm. Davis says this sucks. Sometimes shit sucks. I don't know when they started saying it. I, I want to say... I know they said on like a regular show, like, that was like 2010s, I think, before that. Adventure would be very funny sucks. if he said shit sucks. <laughs> it would be shit like sucks. out of out of fucking <laughs> nowhere. Be, He's just like shit better. sucks. Shit sucks. Shit sucks. Like, yeah, man, shit does suck. You're right. I can't even uh can't even argue. Sucks Wonder when those eggs, are coming dude. out. Uh, hopefully soon. I mean, again, the dubs are done. Like they're done. We're, they're dusted. We showed them at Otakon. Um, it's now it's just about uh, how long it takes for them to put the Blu-ray together. I'm very proud of them, and I hope people like them when they get to see them. Yes. But yeah, no, I, I wasn't gonna add swearing to Digimon. <laughs> I think it wouldn't be. Too inappropriate if you were to add like, like fake swears that you make up when you're a kid, just like stand-in expletives. Crab you know, snacks. Aw oh, shucks! Instead of my shit. Well, you know that kind of idea, but like, you know, I like crab shacks is a little more creative, and I like that. <laughs> make Hawkmon say fuck. <laughs> I would say rats. I don't know rats, because I couldn't say crap, so I said drat, and they're like, you can't say that either, and I'm like, what the fuck? Rats! What am I supposed to say? Oh, uh, rats! Or no, I think, it wasn't that, but I think people were getting tired of me saying drat instead, so they're like, say something else, I'm like, <sighs> it's gonna be a big deal if you just let me say crap. Sometimes I legit everything's didn't know crap. you were involved in those, Vixen, that's amazing, I'm really looking forward to those. Yeah, I was the... ADR director and uh, the project lead and one of the producers and I was a head of script reversioning and I'm voicing Sora's mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, no big deal. Just all those things. Oh, it, it, it's it's my baby. Those projects are my baby. I really oh, drew everything by you know? memory. <laughs> <laughs> I drew every frame. <laughs> I made all the sound effects myself. Did all the music. 
I just made the show again. Drafted every script. Uh... Drafted every script. <laughs> the scripts are based on the original movie script. I I did what I called script reversioning is what I credited myself with. And it's basically just, I decided what lines would be stolen from the original dub and which lines needed to be rewritten. Mm -hmm. um, and it's based on, it's just based on what the Japanese uh, script was. So in places where the dub, original dub script is very similar to the Japanese script, I kept um, the dub line. But in places where the Japanese script is completely different, I wrote a new line. Mm -hmm. I know the like the one scene that everyone has been asking, like, oh, is this gonna be really different? Is like the Davis and Willis like talk on a on a cliffside scene where in the original dub, like Davis seems to stop crying like stupid fast. Um, and yeah, it's completely different in the new dub because it's based on the Japanese script and what they're saying in Japanese. I actually really like, I'm really proud of the way my Davis dialogue came out because he's my favorite character and I, I wrote a lot of fan fiction about him. So, you know, <laughs> I finally got to put it to good use. All of my, my Davis characterization and then... Uh, I like the the dynamic that him and Willis have in the movie. Because uh, in the Japanese version of that movie, I don't know, they have a good dynamic, but they, they also kind of don't. It's really weird. They're very sterile in the Japanese version. I feel like we've got this good, like, banter going in the dub. Mm -hmm. Is Ty's mom still a lunatic? No. The whole, like, Ty's mom is a bad cook thing is completely a dub invention. It's not there anymore. No, she's not bad at anything. Well, she does still fuck up her cake, which is where I assume the joke came from, like, the idea for the joke. Uh, but no. She she gets some new fun lines where she's mostly being sassy to Ty because Ty is like a little shithead in the Japanese version. Mm -hmm. Um, like there's a bit where she's just having a nice conversation with Izzy, and then Ty walks over, and his mom says, "Oh, are any more friends coming over?" And he goes, "Get me some tea, mom." And she, her response Wait, is, you? "Her response is sometimes I wonder where I went wrong with you." <laughs> Which I think is pretty funny. <laughs> That's where the three bean salad joke used to go. Oh. It's the same scene. Yeah, yeah. That is my favorite line, is the, I only have two beans anyway. Apparently that was like a joke that Jeff Nimoy and Bob Buckles put into a lot of their scripts. It's just that the Digimon example is the most famous one. Oh. <laughs> Apparently they just loved that joke and used it all the time, which I think I, is very funny. I, I would too, if I'm being honest. It's like how I've written Son of a Whore into multiple, uh, <laughs> multiple scripts. The mom definitely tells Kari in secret that she's their favorite. Oh, no doubt. Remember that flashback where Ty takes Kari out to the playground when Kari's sick and then his mom finds him and fucking slaps him across the face? Oh my god. <laughs> she, that's her piece of shit son. <laughs> Kari, I really look forward favorite. to a more accurate hurricane touchdown. I hope you like it. I'm really proud of the hurricane touchdown dub. Um, I do know that, like, at Otakon, people were like, oh, this movie is boring, um, but it benefits a lot from the new dub. And I was like, well, I'm glad you think so. Sorry you think it's boring. <laughs> he needs to rest now. <laughs> what scripts of Son of a Whore? Uh, so... He's still tired. What did you do? You didn't do anything. Oh no. Yeah, no he he's not, not actually. He's fine. Oh, okay. He's fine. Oh, okay. Um 
So we did a show called Full Dive, right? And the full title of Full Dive is Full Dive, this next gen uh, Full Dive RPG is shittier than real life. All right. So we were under the impression that it would be okay to curse because we thought it was like a like an M-rated show. And so the first episode had a ton of cursing. And then Funimation wrote us back and was like, hey, this show's actually TV-14. And we were like, oh, no. We were bamboozled by the title. And they were like, yeah, you're going to have to change all of the um, cursing to something else. So every time there was a son of a bitch, I was like, oh, what am I going to put here instead? And I looked at their, their list of, like, words that were okay to use and son and uh whore was on there so i just changed every son of a bitch to son of a whore even though that's like not a phrase people say um and so, people so thought it was so funny that it became like a catchphrase for the show so it's it even past that first episode people kept saying son of a whore in full dive like in later episodes just as like an ongoing joke essentially <laughs> And so there's other shows where a character has to quote unquote curse, but the show is TV 14. So you're not allowed to have cursing. So we would just have them say son of a whore as the curse because son of a whore is apparently okay to say. Really? It's, it's wow. crazy. Cause like, I would almost say that that's arguably worse. It yeah, sounds like worse, worse doesn't it? Like it does I, I'm, I'm more uncomfortable saying whore than bitch. bitch. You know? Yeah, it's so funny. But, okay. but so like in Tribe Nine, there's a moment where Taiga needs to say something that prompts Shun to say language, and so he ends up saying "son of a whore." Who plays Drunk Dad that they cut out of the first dub? Uh, Doug Erholtz, who also played the dad in Adventure. Even though his design is completely different, I figure it's still supposed to be the same dad and not that Ty's mom remarried. So, uh, same voice. Where's that dub being released? On Blu-ray from Discotech Media. Make sure you pick up the Blu-ray. It's probably not going to come to streaming. All the people saying that they're going to wait for streaming are going to be sorely disappointed. So pick up the Blu-ray if you want to support it. Is the music Japanese or the American OST? It is the Japanese OST on the uncut dubs, but the American dub is also being included. It's just, there's no way to put the American OST in the uncut dubs. There, it, that was never gonna happen. This has been on my mind for a bit. Does anyone else remember Vimon having a lisp? He does have a lisp in English. So in the uncut dubs, you get Butterfly and Braveheart. And in the original dub, you get, you know, Rockefeller Skank and uh, <laughs> All Star. There's just, there's no, way to, uh, there's no way to edit either of them to have the other one soundtrack. It's just not possible. So we're going to have to track down the Bare Naked Ladies and be like, let us put the song and the show. Let us put the song back in. Just this That's one. Everything is, else is the Japanese OST. All of the songs that were licensed for the original dub, you'd have to repay the licensing fee to use them again. But mm. as long as you are just presenting the original dub the way that it always was, you don't have to repay the licensing fee. Hmm. We still Digimoning for one more hour. We're Funk Soul Brothering right about now. Would be great if they do a theatrical release for the uncut dubs. It's not going to happen. We'd have to pay an extra fee, and those dubs were already over budget so badly. Um, it's really expensive to get union voice actors back. I'm glad we did it, but it was expensive. But how are we going to get the 4K Blu-ray HD re-release of the Angela Anaconda bit from before uh the movie? <laughs> Uh, that also can't happen because the <laughs> rights to that are completely inaccessible at this point. What? <laughs> oh, darn. Angela Anaconda Short's not going to be on the Blu-ray. Um, <laughs> the original film dub will be re-released on this Blu-ray in HD. So the way that it's going to work is the Blu-ray is going to have the original film dub upscaled into HD and the three uncut dubs. 
as well as the Japanese version of the uncut movies. So if you buy it, you essentially get like three. four movies, four. kind of, and three of those movies are bilingual. Um, but obviously the, the fourth film that's on there, quote unquote, is just the Amer original American supercut. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, you know, you get stuff. So y'all check it out. Or else. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah, I, I really hope that... Um, more people to buy it. I'm, I'm doing this to help you out. <laughs> I really hope that we get to um, do more Digimon-related things with Discotech. Because I really love working with the Discotech guys. And um, they are the only ones who will acquiesce to all of my strange demands vis-a-vis -vis Digimon where I'm just like hey we really need to get so and so and do such and such and they're like yeah whatever go for it oh so in theaters no this stuff is not going to come to theaters discotech can't afford that kind of thing I was on the uh, offense for uh, buying the, the movie but now that I've been threatened uh <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> I don't know yet. It probably okay. won't be that expensive because it's a it's a movie Blu-ray. Okay. So a standard, probably standard, uh, movie Blu-ray. Probably, yeah. Probably. I can I can probably afford that. But if you want the Angela and Anaconda special dub, it's gonna be an extra fifty bucks. You could just buy the DVD at that point. Shh, no, no, don't, 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 don't. Buy the movie. Buy Maybe the movie. I'll give it back. <laughs> buy the movie so I can steal it from your house. You have to buy the movie again. He's tired. Tired. He's tired. Sleepy. Oh, Discotech has so some great sleepy. shows in their catalog. They, they do. do. You should buy some of the shows I I directed and worked on, like Gunbuster and Kimono Friends and Re Cutie Honey and. Um, I, I have actually no, that's been not planning Disco to Tech. pick up Gunbuster. I got Gunbuster. It was pretty interesting. But have you seen the dub starring Chula? Yes. Oh. That, that's why I bought it. Oh. <laughs> I, otherwise, I never would have touched Gunbuster if one of my friends wasn't in it. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know what this is. I mean, it's neat, but, uh, you know. Honestly, pretty good. Yeah, there's stuff I like about it. Um, overall, it was a pleasant experience. I need to get Kageki Shoujo, but anytime I think about getting it, I, I befall some sort of money tragedy, and it's like, well, oh. I guess some other time. Like, this this one kicked my ass as far as money goes, but it'll be okay tomorrow when I get paid. But it's just been, like, one big expense after another, and it's like, ugh. my birthday month, I didn't get to buy a bunch of crap. Oh, well. My birthday Where's all my crap? Where's it's all my, my birthday. It's my birthday crap. But uh, I definitely plan on getting out. There's some, there's some disco. I can't speak. Some disco tech stuff I want to know. They do a lot of loop on the third stuff that I wanted to get. Um, they do all the loop on the third stuff. Oh, well, there you go. Like I definitely wanted to pick up um, a, like season or like part four and part five at least on Blu-ray or something. But, uh, I like those a lot. Like the blue jacket stuff is really good. I love the idea of some snot-nosed little shit. On like his twelfth birthday, walking down the stairs and being like, "Where's all my crap?" <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Hello, it's me. And their no nose is always running, which is probably why they're upset all the time. Like you know, I would be yeah. too. And just give up on it's, being a good person. It's a at that hard point. life. The world isn't built for them. <laughs> no, you're just like congested and stuffy all the time, twenty four seven, three sixty five days a year. I would, I would just give up on being a good person and be like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> can't, I can't live like this. I just can't do it. It's too much. The only thing that brings me joy is making you suffer. It's my crap. <laughs> give me my crap. Give me my cr just like, give me my crap. I don't care anymore. Just give, just give me something. What are these Legos? Thanks, dipshit. Give me your crap. Sneezes, sneezes all over them. Ugh. 
What are you guys talking you. about? <laughs> no, like no. If you're congested all the time, right? So you're like you're like snotty and gross, and like like you just can't. It's not your fault, right? Like like it's just genetics or whatever. I'm, like, I'm just making you a funny it. voice. You're the one who's bringing the snot into it. <laughs> no, I'm saying if you're congested all the time, then like there's snot involved, okay? Like that happens when you blow your nose. Oh, like there's snot. It's they go together like fucking PB and J, okay? And, Ew. I'm not saying you should eat it. I'm gonna Ew. cycle back to a, a no. wholesome topic. What is like? No one is. How would you rate yet. uh presents? Because sometimes you get ones that are like, I don't like that as much. Like as a kid, you don't want socks. You don't want underwear. Oh. They, you don't want those. <laughs> it's not it's not really socks. I like getting clothes because I need those. <laughs> Yeah. I still oh, don't want socks. Don't give me goddamn socks. I'll kill you. I'll take socks. I wear through my socks so fast just with my job. So like, yeah, man. Oh, I'll take I'll some take free clothes. Socks. I, yeah. I, I'm gen. I'm so easy to please. Why am I here? Like, if I'll I get a anything, gift, really. if I get a gift on my birthday, then that means that you thought about me exactly. on my birthday, and that and that makes me like cry. All right, that's a good how feeling. I'll here? take anything. How about this? <laughs> My own personal worst present I've ever received. Ah. Um, Red a... Vegemon. <laughs> Got it. Sorry, a... I'm trying to remember what I'm doing. Huh. Um, a box of grape nuts. Oh. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I assume they didn't taste very good. No, I, I get... <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> it, I like again just wrapped in in a present form. You unwrap it and it's just a box of grape nuts. Again, I, I'm happy to get anything. The only th birthday thing I can think of that I was like upset about is like all the times my grand my 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 mom's mom uh, uh like would call me on her birthday, which is right after mine, and be like, "Why didn't you call me yet?" And she literally always forgets about my birthday <laughs> and i'm just sitting there i'm like you were so selfish <laughs> that's fair my least favorite gift i mean it was probably more useful in the long run but as a kid i was like man this sucks we didn't like really get gifts all of us got like me my brother and my sister got a bank account <laughs> like we each got a bank account and like a little checkbook oh. to keep track of finances and it's like we don't have disposable income <laughs> not like enough to worry about keeping like a checkbook where you like keep track of all your transactions like <laughs> and none of us like and none of us like empty it. bank account or was there like starter savings in there no it's just like a bit no it's just empty or if there was money, it was a not, like, I don't know if there was any in it or not. It wasn't enough for me to remember if there was. But, uh, I was, I was yeah, none of us liked it. I would get, like, a pack of crayons on my birthday. And I'd That's be like, saying. fuck yeah, crayons. I'm going to draw the shit out of these. And then I would, yeah. and then they'd be gone in, like, two days. <laughs> what were great. you doing, smashing them? <laughs> He's an <laughs> avid drawer. He draws really hard. drew a lot, you know? <laughs> I also, really I also had like, like crazy gorilla grip on all of my drawing utensils. I would, I would mm -hmm. press those things into the paper. <laughs> if it doesn't make oh, a these are the wrong red Vegemon. dark line, then I'm not doing it good enough. <laughs> the one near Dragon's Eye. Okay. I'll go kill them. I'll go murder them. I need bits. I need bits. And I can't go do more dangerous stuff. Uh, because this Gurman is on his last leg. All right, and I don't Chad, want him to die. Her, she needs bits. There are portable toilets in this game. I, I'm just trying not to waste them. Oh god, are they like a one-time use thing? Yeah. Boo. Should be able to like put them up somewhere. Sorry, go ahead. I should be perfectly frank. Um, most of the time that I've been growing up and things like that, 
the people have been like very kind they've been thinking about me they gave me gifts and things like that and a lot of them have been really really good and even the ones that are technically not good have been really nice nowadays i wish people like not everyone but generally my family not to get me things because it is usually a thing that will take up space and mm -hmm. i can't like easily like then remove it like right because you don't want to you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings but you only have so much room for stuff yeah um i recently i got like a um a little like light up cube box thing where like if you connect them together they light up and i'm like that's that is a fun idea. I don't want to physically have it. It's not, I'm not going to be using it. I don't know what to do with it. Um, that, that sounds ungrateful, of course. But like... Well, to make life easier on my family members, I just have a wish list that I keep updated year-round. And whenever I want something, I put it on there instead of buying it for myself. Um, and it works really well, but of course sometimes people will be like, oh, I forgot it existed, and I'm like, well, <sighs> shit, man. I just get things for myself, and when my birthday rolls around, I'm usually just like, just give me money, or like, just give me a call. Yeah, but yeah. some people don't like to give money, so I prefer to not buy things for myself and give people the option to buy me something I wanted. Yeah. Um... I, there's been a, a few times that I have done that, and I, unluckily, uh, they have not been, uh, utilizing it super well. Well, that's the thing, is, like, if, if people forget that the list exists, then it's like, oh, well, shit. Um, but, like, they will, they will have, like, a blanket gift, like, a thing that they will get everybody. They'll just get multiple copies of that one gift and give it to everyone. Mm. Um, which can be nice, but I don't know. I'm I'm not quite sure if I can happily accept a replica wand from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fair enough kind of fucked up that digital creatures need to shit why would you program that into the to, into a being well they did not program it into they them evolved. they evolved this way it, maybe maybe there was a time when they didn't need to shit but at some point at some point it was important it had to happen it just had to, had happen. to happen this way I mean Digimon do eat so I'm very weird about her days because like i'm always happy to get like a call or or to receive a gift or like you know just get like any sort of pleasant small acknowledgement but if i'm thrown a party or i'm like in any way like observably celebrated on my birthday i feel really awkward and bad about it <laughs> so, that makes sense <laughs> I think uh, nowadays my the the best gifts that I've been getting have been just like here's just like a gift card for food. <laughs> like hell yeah, I got a Food's good expensive, meal. Expensive man. <laughs> yeah. It's like you you mean I need to I need to have this shit every day. And it costs how much? Yeah, Kamiao, that's really weird. It, I got 500 bits from that red Vegemon, but only 100 from the one on the other screen. Hmm. Strange. Yeah, like socks or like underwear, like things that just like wear down really easily over time. Like those are good gifts for me. Like yeah, because I don't have to go buy those for myself. Like cool. Shouldn't buy me socks because I'm almost constantly wearing sandals. Oh, well, there you go. 
I burned your socks like no tomorrow, so I am all your socks. I'll take all your socks if anyone gets the DM. <laughs> if, it's not, my wife. if it's not the deed to a house, don't even bother. Don't even bother. <laughs> Yeah, even though this is grinding, it is so nice to finally have a Digimon that can kill all of these guys. Yeah. How long did it take to get that? 11 hours. 11 and a half hours. hours. Oh my, my god. god. We made oh it. God. And it's only got one life left, so we have to be so careful. Yeah. <laughs> Like, if it dies, are we just at square one? I feel like the baby Digimon would still have slightly better stats than just normal, but yeah. Um, you definitely don't want your Digimon to die. That's, a, that's, that's, um... Oh, that one's sad. That's He's a, gonna run away. That's a fucked up penalty. <laughs> you let your Digimon die, start over. Don't load, don't load state, start over. <laughs> oh, oh. Have fun spending another five years in the Digiverse getting this thing back <laughs> to where it was. Yeah, this kid's stuck here. <laughs> so why doesn't, like, enemies turn 2D? Because I can't inflict that on them. Oh, oh, it's a status. Oh, neat. It's a status, yeah. I'm just grinding money right now. I need That's money. A good idea. <laughs> Because I had like 30 sirloin and they all got taken away from me. Who did this? Tyrannomon. Ugh. It was either Tyrannomon or Gabumon. Somebody, it was somebody I fought didn't go well for me. This is really not what I expected a Digimon video game to look like. I mean, they don't look like this anymore. <laughs> this one's from 1998. <laughs> now they're all sleek. Maybe we'll play a new Digimon game on stream sometime. Ooh. But this was one of the uh, charity stream uh, right. things. That one of the one of the rewards that I promised was that we would play this game for twelve hours, and then I just converted it into the Donothon. That's smart. There's still a few more promised streams uh, from that charity stream that we still need to do. Uh, Gurumon was injured. Oh no. Oh no. What the heck? Oh, he's hurt. Well, I have a medicine. Does that help? No? Do you need a bandage? Is it different? Medicine's for only when you're sick. Do you need a bandage? Using autopilot, let's go back. How many of those charity rewards do you have left? Uh, I believe... Medicine works for injuries, he's just refusing it. Oh, okay. Take it. You brat. <laughs> you have to take it. No, I want to suffer. <laughs> Take your medicine. I will not. Don't give me that fine, whatever. Yeah, fine. There you go. He's fine now. 
I believe the charity reward that is still left to be fulfilled is the Digimon Watch Along. Cool. Maybe I can finally learn. Yeah, we're going to watch the first 12 episodes of season one. Ooh. Digimon games cover so many genres, I don't really have a clear image of what a Digimon game necessarily looks like. Yeah, I feel like this genre of game, like the, like, raising sim type thing is the most common one. But yeah, they've, 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 they've been JRPGs, they've been hack and slashes, they've been dungeon crawlers, all kinds of stuff. Hack and slash? Yep. Yeah. What? That's like the worst <laughs> one, though. <laughs> yeah. Big stretch. But yeah, we, um, what were the rewards? We did the Pokemon make a type with meat type. That happened live on the stream. This was one of them, the 12 hour Digimon World stream. Um, we did a Digimon tier list stream. That was also a charity reward. Uh, the pride emotes that are available on my channel were a charity reward, and then we're gonna do the Digimon watch along, and I think that's the last thing I have to fulfill that I promised. How many bits do I have now? Okay, I'm in a I'm in better shape. Get out of here, cat. She's gonna step on my Go XLR and then the, the stream would get funky. Didn't Jello during this stream say that if you reach the swimsuit goal while he was streaming, you'd do another make a type? Yeah, we'll probably do it as a stream later. It wasn't gonna be live during this stream. Because this stream was always intended to be uninterrupted Digimon World for 12 hours. I think he also may have mentioned another thing of just like, oh, it has to be like... Within like two stream. hours or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have no idea if that was technically fulfilled or not. I'll talk to him about it later. There was a few statements that may have counteracted each other. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I tried my best to stick it out to the end, but I, I, I got, <laughs> I got to tap out. I'm like, <laughs> when it gets to the point when I notice that I'm like closing my eyes and not enough, <laughs> I need to leave. So you guys Fair are enough. Fine. <laughs> bye bye. Oh, I, hope, bye. I, I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> Me too. Only time will tell. I mean. We've only well, got less than like, thirty minutes. Less than thirty minutes left. Yeah. Just have to keep him alive for that for that long. I mean, I could just do training. Yeah, where's but the fun in that? He could also die. I mean, he's what? He's ten. I fully admit when I saw a friend of Jello plays Digimon World, I wasn't expecting such an interesting time. Well, I'm glad you popped <laughs> over. It's been nice All having right. you in chat. He's a sleepy boy. Go to sleep. Oh, yes, yeah, me. I have no idea how memory cards work on this. I'm going to have to figure out later. If I had to guess, it might still need a save state. Yeah, I, uh, I'll i do that before I turn it off. Can't remember what happens if they die of old age. Uh, I mean, it's literally just when they reach a certain age, they either digivolve or die. Those are the only two options. So if they have not fulfilled the digivolution requirements, they die. That it's more normal for them to die after being champion than to digivolve because it takes a lot to get them to ultimate level stats. Hmm. 
I did not get any sun today. No, I did not. I just sort of accepted that. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, I mean, we could try and do Unimon. That's kind of all I can think of to do that's not, like, super involved. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Did you just get here, Flair? <laughs> yep. Um, there, there's pooping in this game. It's Digimon, baby. <laughs> Is that a signature Digimon thing? Yeah. Huh. Digimon has kind of a preoccupation with characters who are shit, who throw shit, just whatever. I had to mention, there is quite a few poop Digimon. <laughs> With your stats as they are, you could probably get revenge on Tyrannomon, you think? Oh, but I only have one heart left. That f I, I think I'd rather do Unimon, because then at least it's just normal enemies rather than a boss. But even then, yeah, I really don't want to risk it. I'd rather him just pass peacefully so I can get a good next Digimon. Yeah, you can at least run from normal enemies. Exactly. Yeah, like a couple of these. Oh yeah, there is the Otamamon outside Misty Trees. But again, like the recruitables, I'm pretty sure you can't run from them. So if you if you get into a bad situation, you're fucked. You're losing a life, dude. Unless I'm crazy and like you can run from that one, but I feel like you can't, right? Like, if I go do Unimon, at least I could run from the normal encounters if I run into somebody. So Unimon is where? Gear Savannah? Mount Panorama. Okay. And I have to bring him a recovery or can I just give him a bandage? Is is bandage fine? I mean, I guess I guess I can use bandage. It's fine. Right after the Goblimon and Oraramon. Oh, he's right there. Okay. That's not so bad. What's up? She doesn't have an answer when I question her. <laughs> yeah? Oh no. Not them. Not row. Not row. Not me well. I'm so glad we have the cat screaming emoji. <laughs> oh, there he is. That's a good one. 
My wing hurts. What happened? I hurt wow. my wing. Fucking dumbass. Do you got something to treat my wound? It looks bad. Hold on. What should I do? Here, have a small recovery. It's much better, thanks. Can you fly already? I don't think I can fly far. There's a clinic in the city. You should go there. It isn't far from here. I heard about the city. It's bigger than I thought. Go to the city and rest. Thanks. Maybe I can help you someday. Okay, goodbye. We got Unimon. Nice. Tricked him. Okay, that wasn't so bad at all. All right. I was worried I'd have to go several screens. I do love like the the giant wires and shit. It's such a cool aesthetic of like we're in the digital world, man. Like, do you see that? I looked away. I'm sorry. Here, look, look, look. It's all very digital. Right here at this entrance. You see, there's like oh, chips yeah. laying on the ground and like oh. cords. Yeah. It's a yellow composite cord. Oh. I love it. I think it's such a such a cute way to design the digital world. Mm -hmm. Such a shame all the modern stuff is just Matrix nonsense. Yeah, that's what I hate about modern Digimon is it's just like, look at all this blue glowy shit. It's the Matrix. And I'm like, bro, Digimon was so cool when it was all like hardware based. Mm -hmm. And it's like kind of grungy. And that's what's good about this game. Real. Like this game sucks affectionate insofar as it's way too hard but the vibe i love the like grungy tech turn of the century kind of vibe it's such it's so good mm -hmm. modern technology is bland yeah like Time. cut down trees being unplugged from the ground absolutely see now unimon's here i miss like technology that was like here's a colorful case and it's see-through so you can see that like the inside of your phone or whatever Man, or like it's your so game cool. controller it's just cool you have to do that much now it's just like oh here's a phone it looks like every other phone probably the fucking sticker on an idiot i guess it's like yeah whatever whatever i know it's like sleek and anyone can have it blah 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 and commercials yeah fuck it Well, got Unimon, got Centaurumon. Pretty much all that's left that I could do requires fighting, and I don't want to fight with Garurumon, so I think I'm just going to train Garurumon until stream is over. Very fair. But hey, guys, um, as we're getting to the last 20 minutes or so of this uh, Donothon, I want to say, number one, thank you guys so much for being here and for sticking around for so long. Um, number two, thank you for making the Donothon a success. I will stretch. Thank you for making it a success. I really appreciate it. Um, we will have more streams very soon. Probably not tomorrow after such a stream as this one. Uh, but... I will be back soon. Um, we'll play more Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Maybe more of this someday. We'll see how I'm feeling about it. <laughs> um, I would like to beat this game eventually, so streaming it makes sense. I, I definitely know that feeling. There's been so many games that have just been like, I didn't beat this as a kid. I'm doing it now. <laughs> yeah, I want to beat it, you know? Monster Rancher was very much that. I've beaten Monster Rancher 1. And I think I beat 2. I don't think I've ever beaten 3. I've definitely beaten 4. I don't even think I played 3 and 4. What does the Let It Snow Redeem do? It makes it snow on the stream. And if like 3 or 4 people do it, you get like a really cool amount of snow. Yeah, they stack. Yeah. Probably not for snow. Maybe. Please. 
because it, it did snow last time. I do not. And we will have a Digimon watch along eventually. That is still one of the promised streams. We will be doing that. So, for people who just joined us for the first time today, if you are a Digimon fan, uh, definitely come back. We will be doing more Digimon streams. And also, I love Digimon and I want to talk to you guys. <laughs> If too many of you do it, you can kill stream. Yeah, which is why I had to make it more expensive. Digimon, digital monsters, please don't make it snow too much. <laughs> Change into digital, digital champions, champions to do. make it not snow so much. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hard to see with the... Uh... With just like how the stream looks in the in the color because it's a bright background. But yep, there's a little snow. There's there just a little is. snow. You there's see it? Snow. I think it's cute. It is cute. The weather outside is frightful. The weather outside is frightful. <laughs> the weather outside is frightful. Stay inside. Stay inside. Stay inside. Thoughts on Skylanders? I love Skylanders. I've beaten every mainline Skylanders game. Do you have any of the little figures? I still have all of my little figures. Nice. I have a number of Smash Bros. Amiibos, but I didn't, I didn't get all the ones I wanted. I really wanted the Charizard one. I never got around to getting it. I guess I could still get it, but they're, you know, expensive. I've done none of those. They do look really fun, though. Like, just being able to have, like, toys that also do thing in your video game sounds great. Yeah. I was a big fan of the idea when Skylanders was still new. Unfortunately, it, it petered out, and now it's gone. Hmm. <laughs> Garurumon's so fucking cute in this game. I cannot get over how cute his little animations are. They're good. They're really good. I love Nighttime File City. This is the best music in this game. Just this. Mm -hmm. So good. It's very nice. Very music box like. Four thousand MP. Even Garurumon's taking a dump animation is cute because he does the little dog kicky feet at the end, which I think is very funny. Oh yeah, Files City at Night is excellent fall asleep music. It's weird. I keep thinking about like, oh yeah, little statues and things like that. Where do I keep them? I don't have any room. Looks over. <laughs> I barely have any room for my actual video games. <laughs> Duolingo's yelling at me because I haven't done it yet today. You're busy. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine Duolingo. I'm going to have a whole hour left before midnight. Screaming at you to do your omelette du fromage for the day. No, it's Japanese. Oh. Lily, French thank you for like the Japanese, bits. But not at all. You're here for the last 10 minutes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. First time trying alcohol. How did that go? Positive, negative experience. Do I have any of the Christmas Skylanders? I honestly don't remember. I feel like I did. That sounds like me. Yeah. 
I hear ya. Hi, John. You feel me? I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I they don't air that episode on TV anymore because of uh, the panty raid. <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> yeah, that's what I don't know how true that is, but I've heard it enough from like different people to where maybe it's true. I wouldn't be surprised if, like if they just took that one out of circulation. Like if you buy the season DVD, you know, it's on there obviously, but just like how they cut out uh it's so weird how just like they cut out scenes due to this or that and then just like never put them back in. Like after no one cared anymore. Like uh like the one where Squidward tries the Krabby Patty and he you know, he's breaking into the Krusty Krab to, like, get some, and, like, the security system is a bucket of water, but it's really gas, and then, like, it falls on him, and then a match comes out, and it, like, blows up, and it's, like, funny, right? Mm -hmm. um, but now, he just, like, they cut that whole bit out for some reason, and now he just walks into the paddy vault, like, and the rest of the episode happens, like, normally. I mean, it's cut pretty well, so I'll give him that. Like, if you, if you had no idea, then you'd never know, but, um, yeah, it's just weird. I wonder if put it's... that back in and it's fine. I wonder yeah. if it's y yucky. <laughs> no, I was just saying no one would care if they put it back in. That was all good. Oh. Go ahead. Sorry. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? Right. I wonder if it was <laughs> cut for um, like commercial time because I remember that there was a specific time in television that they're like, we're extending the length of commercials. So the actual length of uh, like TV shows will be cut from like 27 minutes to like 22 or something like 23. And the rest of it will just be like commercials. I don't know. You just keep training this guru, Ramon. I, this this is what I got, baby. Oh yeah. So, so midlife crustacean is the panty raid episode. Apparently, that's been out of rotation since 2018. That's Damn. not a new thing. I don't even. I mean, I haven't watched TV in forever. So, okay. But why is why is the Squidward on fire scene taken out? Uh, probably because it gets set on fire. Well, he's not, like, but they blow up all the time. Like, there's always, like, random nuclear explosions. He's not, like, literally on fire. It's just, yeah, like, he's... it happens off screen, and then he runs into the next room, and he's, like, covered in, like, ash or whatever, because he just got blown up, like, in the Looney Tunes cartoon, and then it happens again, you know? He's not, like, it's not, like, morbid. Have any of the Dark Edition nuclear... Skylanders? Yes, I did. I remember that. Okay, You're I've heard that there. this is the reason. Is this true? Why wouldn't they put it back in then? No one would care anymore. Hold on. Did like some was there like a like a current event that was happening around that time? 9 11, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like I I've heard that was the case, but I've also heard that it was like just a rumor. I'm trying to see if like what's what's the truth. 500 offense, okay. I mean, that happened to Digimon. There's a bit in season three that was cut out because of 9 11. Mm -hmm. I know there's that, um, you see it in the intro for like classic Pokemon with like the the, the giant tentacle smashing the tentacle, building. Yeah, yeah, and I don't they think don't they show ever that episode anymore. That mm, no. The thing is with Digimon, there's literally two towers that get set on fire. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Oops. Like, is uh, it's a wah, little, wah. it's a little explicit. How many bits to make you stream for another twelve hours? No way. <laughs> no way. You gotta sleep. I can't believe I, I did 12 hours this this time. I, I need to stop doing this. This is too long. <laughs> I remember when that event happened and they actually removed the uh, second book in Lord of the Rings. 
<laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's just Lord of the Rings. The. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Man, we almost got through an entire stream without talking about 9 11. This happened a lot? Is that like a common thing? Yes. Aaron, oh. oh, and Aaron and Jello bring that. it I'm up sorry. fucking constantly. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I wish sorry, I knew. I would have brought it up. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> and it told me there's no, there's no, like, here's the rules. Don't I talk thought about it was 9 tasteful. I'm very sorry. Tasteful. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I brought it up first, technically, because I brought up Spud Bob. They removed the second book in Lord of the Rings. I think that's pretty tasteful. It's, it, that is pretty funny. It is, it is really funny. It is why I laugh. <laughs> it's very funny. God. We've changed. We've changed it to the, the, Lord of the Rings. The. <laughs> when you're doing a 24-hour stream, never. Not unless half of it is me sleeping. There you go. Just I leave the chat. stream on while I'm not even here. <laughs> See what weird pose your avatar ends up in. I feel so bad when I get up and it's like, I'm gonna eat, and then I like will be away for like half an hour because I have to cook it. <laughs> well, yeah. But then you're just you're just chilling down there, mute, sitting by my side. Chilling armor written by Seth MacFarlane. I feel like they'd be insulted if they heard that. They were like made it like adjacent to Family Guy or something. I don't know. If only they were here to have their say. Yeah. If only they were still with us. Uh, one minute remaining. It says eleven fifty-six on my end. Shouldn't that oh, be? Oh really? Shouldn't oh. that be four more minutes? Am I For crazy? Me it's Twelve fifty-nine. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Nubby's tiredness is very high. He needs to rest right now. <laughs> right now. It says twelve already. All right, baby. Well, hey, and he's sleepy, so I'm gonna put him to sleep. I'm gonna save my game. I'm I'm done, go. gamers. Now it's 1 a.m. for me. My tiredness is also really high. Let's go. <laughs> to bed. To bed. Can I? Oh wait, hold on. How does the oh. guide the raid work? Like, do you set up a raid and then I'm like, no, or do I just do that ahead of time? Because I have you a friend do it streaming. Ahead of time, but I, I usually, I usually only do that when um, no one I know is streaming. I just, I, I haven't even looked yet. Ah, uh, groovy. Okay. Who's streaming? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh well, Octo is streaming, so I could just send everyone <laughs> straight over there. Well, there you go. I'll do it. Perfect. Everybody, thank you so much for coming to this Donothon. Why am I not on my ending stream? Hello? Hi. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry, but Vixen can't join us for this. Uh... Oh, there you go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, God. oh, it's, oh. Because, it's because of all this crap that happened earlier that I had to fix. There we go. When did oh, I get no. left out of jail? I, I just... <laughs> You're free. Run. Oh, life is hard. Scuff is eternal. I'm doing my best. Okay, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you yeah. for hanging out with me for 12 hours. Thanks for having us. I'm Eepy. You did let's, it. You did 12 hours. Um, I'm going to die. Okay, <laughs> everybody. If you are new here, again, thank you so much for being here. I would love it if you came back. We'll do more Digimon themed stuff soon. Um, uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for making the Donathon a success. Okay. Uh, I'm, we're we're going to raid Octo. Okay. Woo! Let's fucking sleep. Let's fucking sleep. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go sleepy bye. Woo! All right, Raiders, go give him a Merry Christmas from us to him. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.